putting in over here, bro. It's yeah. been great work, man. That's why everybody yeah. got to subscribe when y'all um, come to the channel, man. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell over here so y'all are getting updates uh, whenever they dropping content. We always got content coming out on this channel, man. So, you know, uh, <clears throat> make sure y'all do that. Sometimes y'all don't, y'all forget to do that and y'all forget to hit the like button. You know what I mean? Make sure y'all hit that like button. That way you'll get the uh, notifications because sometimes YouTube will take you out of an algorithm. If you guys aren't liking the videos or, or subscribing to the channels and all the other brothers that got channels on here too, man, Mars, Dub, Fluent, Chill, myself, Bob, Damo, everybody else, y'all go subscribe to everybody else's channels too, man. You know, everybody yo, yo, else ticket, doing ticket. Uh, yeah. I, I want everybody to set their channels right now. So ticket, obviously, you you just hit the uh, a mean benchmark. You just got a hundred k. Uh, drop drop your channel for those of you, those are the people in the chat that don't know what what's your channel and where can they find you at. Oh, it's, it's, I got, I got two big channels right now. I got Ticket TV, Ticket TV, and um, also I got Pro Basketball Updates channel. So those are my two main channels I got right now um, here on YouTube. Bet, bet. Yo, Mars, you, you, you got some things going on over there. What's, what, what you got going on? Talk to us. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not as successful as Ticket, but, um, yeah, I got Mars. You don't ask me capping, though. I seen you over there capping the other day. I wanted to pull up on your ass. <laughs> Lucky you, you had it set up for two people. I, I, I went mean, over there I, I, I be center. capping, but people enjoy the cap. So I man was, people they want. Talk all kind of crazy shit, shit. You think I don't be listening? I be listening to y'all. But I study your style, man. Believe that, Mars. I, 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 I appreciate, appreciate you listening. Your man. That's one view that I appreciate. But yeah, Mars Talk Sports. Um, I go live every week with the Hoop Talk podcast with me and Dream Hoops. Um, I appreciate everyone who taps in, everyone who watches. Um, I just got monetized as well, so. I appreciate everyone who's been supporting. Fluent, where, where can we find you at? Where can you know we what? become more fluent? My 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 YouTube channel is is stagnant. It's a it's a house for for archive stuff. Like you can go back three years and see when I used to do uh, my show with Coach uh, Hugh Jackson every week. The original Fluent and Chill is all on there. But but starting June first, we finally got we finally got footage. I, I teased this two weeks ago. So starting June 1st, there will be daily content starting in 1947. We're going to recap every single NBA season with footage, as much as we can find, um, as well as a bunch of conspiracies. So we'll not <coughs> the grid, Le, Le PED, and more. There's going to be a ton of conspiracy stuff on there, too, starting June the 1st with the 1947 season. So that's, oh, and that's a sports fluent, at sports fluent, like everything else. On on socials and stuff too. Every yeah, it's sports underscore fluent everywhere. YouTube is just sports form. All right, you heard it first. You heard it first. Uh, Damo, what's what's what you working with? What you got? Uh, well, of course, well known for the Let's Keep It About podcast. Uh, with a plaque from y'all yeah, can definitely go check that out. Or my personal channel, that's Damo on YouTube, or that's Damo on Kick. Uh, I'll be streaming uh, inconsistently, but I try to get at least three or four streams in a week over on Kick. Uh, yeah. So if y'all trying to find me, my YouTube channel. Super random. It's not going to be just basketball. You can find me reacting to Kevin Durant. And it goes back to, I've been doing YouTube for like 10 years. So it goes back to when Kevin Durant went to the Warriors. You can see old footage from that. You can see games, all, all that stuff. Random skits, any type of stuff all over on there. Cool, cool. Chill Town. It's exactly that. Uh, Chill Town Hoops. I'm a, I'm close to 30K right now. Um, my, my channel consists of just basketball, pro basketball. I I do the same thing I do up here. I go live probably once or twice a week. Um, Chill Town Hoops. That's where you can find me at. Or you can find me on TikTok. Cool, cool. Big Ox, where can we find you? Uh, man, you just, you know, Big Ox, Big Ox Bob on YouTube. I, I just recently started my channel, you know, probably three, four weeks ago. So I got the smallest channel of everybody up here, man. Uh, but, you know, it's it's solid. We do, we do a little late night show. I'm mm -hmm. not yet monetized, but I'm very close. And for everybody that doesn't know, as soon as I do go monetize, we are going to do a 24-hour straight, 24-hour straight pod on my channel. So, you know, y'all look out for that. I want everybody to tap in at some point. Y'all come show some love. I'll bring the pizza. I got you. Yeah, please, <laughs> do, please do. Hey, hey uh, Fluent, you bring, you bring the coffee. I got you, brother. I got you, brother. <laughs> Yo, so you didn't just heard everybody up here, what they do, where you can find them at, what their schedules typically are. I want everybody that's watching. If you haven't subscribed to Player's Choice, do that. But go subscribe to these two or all of these dudes up here, too. 
uh we we try to put in a lot of work we try to you know provide content for you guys that's relevant that's entertaining and that's informational as well uh go go support what we're doing because we we're trying to bring it to you guys we're trying to give it to you guys and we're trying to you know just uplift the basketball community on youtube in general and you know on other other platforms as well but with no further ado it was a major weekend it was a lot that went on where where, where chill town where do you want to start at um, <laughs> where you want to start where, og i, I, I want to start with what happened last night that's what i want to start mm. with I, I wanted, I, what I saw last night was I saw a broken team. That's what I saw. I saw a team that their coach, they're out on him. And once you lose your crew, just so you know, as a coach, once you lose your crew, you're not getting them back. And they are out on him. The effort was terrible. Not only was the effort terrible, but I don't really want to talk that much about Boston more than I want to talk about the Miami Heat, who, I'm straight, who I was straight sleeping on. I had Boston handling these dudes in five games. I had them I had them straight smoking these dudes. And I had them simply because I was looking at Boston's talent level. I was looking at what they did on the offensive end and how much better they could be on the defensive end. Only except the exact opposite was going on. When you got a when you got a team like the Miami Heat with a leader like Jimmy Butler, it's real difficult to match that if you don't have that gene in you. So this Miami Heat team, just so you know, they've won 10 of their last 12 games. This whole season. Four games is the most games that they've won in a row. They've had three four-game losing streaks, three of them, and a, a three-game losing streak. So what they're doing right now, they haven't done this all year. And I think about what Jimmy Butler is doing for this crew when he's getting these guys open shots, when he's attacking the basket. He's exuding so much confidence in them. It reminds me of when Giannis in Milwaukee was on that 17-game winning streak. Everybody looked at the 35 game that he was averaging during that time. I was looking at the almost seven assists that he was averaging because how wide open the floor was, how he was getting everybody else involved in the game, and how that how much confidence those guys had. I'm looking at this Miami Heat team. Everybody that does one thing, they're doing it. Duncan Robinson, who Damo was out on. Duncan Robinson, absolutely cracking the long ball. Uh, Max Struess, walking in, walking in the jump shots, looking like a pro. These teams, they look like a cohesive unit, and they look like they broke the Boston Celtics last night. I think they're out. Can you can you fire first off? Shout out. Uh, this is for Mars. Uh, today's Victoria Day here in Canada. Shout out to your former queen, bro. Um, it's a holiday. What's up? How you doing, bro? So, how can Joe Mazzula, as a head coach, tell me after Game Three, give him a flex, give Ox a flex? What up, yo? Oh, yeah, what up, dude? How do you say I didn't have my team ready? It's Game Three of the Eastern Conference Finals, and I'd f- fire him today. Don't even let him go to Game Four. You can't. I didn't have my team ready. So, but you're right. We always talk. You know about what he said, that fluent. Uh, there's no way he said that, fluent. Yes, he did say he that. Said, he said, oh, there's no way he said that. He absolutely, not only did he say that, Jalen Brown said it the best. See, you get a lot of guys in post game interviews who, you know, they'll say the politically correct thing. Jalen Brown was 100%. This was an embarrassment tonight. Oh, yeah. This was an embarrassment. I got, I, I got nothing to say about what happened. We got our ass kicked all the way around. Tell him, coach. Oh, I just didn't have him ready to play. Oh, you can't say I believe that, my, my, my generation would say, get to step in. Go, oh. be, be gone. I mean, you didn't have ready to play? This isn't, this isn't a game in January. <laughs> this is game three being down 0-2 in the Eastern Conference Finals. It's an embarrassment, but, you're, but Chill's right. We should be talking about how great of a coach Eric Spolstra is, how Jimmy Butler is doing everything, everything this team needs from hustle plays to scoring to assists to defense to heart, just every, and how a bunch of undrafted players, double-digit scoring out of like three or four of them. Like this Miami team is clearly the best eight seed we've ever seen in the history of basketball, but they are playing inspired, and they're going into each game thinking – we can't lose. And that's that's a dangerous team. That's a d- dangerous team. Tone, are you sure that they're the best? Like, you think they're the best? You think they're better than the 99 Knicks? Well, yes, I do. I do. Mm-hmm. I do. I I about, well. I you were going to bring up you were going to bring up those ones that I had to think, but no, I think they're better than the Knicks. Nah, Cuz they got man. something that the Ooh. Knicks don't have. Hey, me Butler. That- <laughs> 
<laughs> Butler's just built like I, I I I told you I love this guy. We always sleep on him. We don't talk nearly enough about how how good of a player he is. Mm. And it's those stuff that you always talk about, the, not the things that show up even on the box score. It's those, the stuff those that just, the other things, the other the other <laughs> stuff is 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 what he does. The, the getting on guys that when they don't do their job, but also holding himself accountable too. That was my fault. I'll get you the next trip. Or encouraging guys, not just that diving on the floor for loose balls. And Jimmy Butler's different. Not not di- I'm not gonna say different. He's not he's not he just he know he listen, he's he knows when to step up. Look, mm-hmm. he's not he's not a perfect player. He's not gonna like you're gonna, you know, you try to compare him to certain people and you'll be able to nitpick stuff and see where he comes up short. He's doing what he needs to do with mm-hmm. this team. He sees an opportunity and they are seizing the moment, which is what you need to do to make a finals run. We always talk about this. To make a finals run. You need a cohesive team. You need to get lucky. You need to be playing well. You need to get a couple of bounces. They're getting everything, all of that and more. So shout out to Miami. No one, no one, no one had them going to the finals. And unless something miraculous happens, um, that's where they're that's where they're gonna this be. This series is over. This series is over. I just yeah. I will put it listen, I will put it out there. I will put it out there. We know in the NBA, no one has come back from a 3-0. The last time the Eastern and Western Conference Finals have been sweeps, they only played five games, and it was 1957. I told you to you guys this in the chat when the Celtics uh swept the Syracuse Nationals and when the St. Louis Hawks swept uh the Minneapolis Lakers. Mm-hmm. The Celtics would go on to beat the, the Hawks in seven that year. But that was the last time, 1957. So do we think we're going to get two sweeps? I don't know. I go back to no one was able to run the four-minute mile until uh, Roger Bannister did it in 54. There's been 1,600 people who did it since. The Toronto Maple Leafs were down 3-0 in the Stanley Cup final in 1942. They came back and won since then. Three NHL teams have done it. Five have forced a game seven. So it's never happened. Just saying, it never happened until it happens. You never Yo, know. M- Mars, mm-hmm. how many games does Boston win in this series? Four. They win four. I have to oh, they, they win four. Mars, they win four. Look, 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 Mars, Mars, Mars. I know it's a good old saying, stick to your guns. I was, yes, pick, er, yes, when I know it's a good old saying, stick to your guns. But at some point, you might have to just put your guns away. It's other ways to fight. It's other ways to combat, Mars. You can switch it up. You can make the, the coaching adjustments that you tell the coaches to make. You can make an adjustment and just say, hey, I was wrong. He oh, was no, wrong. I'm 100% wrong. I know they're going to lose. But me switching up at, <laughs> me switching up at 3-0, like, I might as well just say Boston is still going to win until they can't win. Okay, so, so me how switching many games up at do you point. believe they're going to win? Would you bet on them to win? Oh, uh, if, I, if I actually have to put money on it, I think they lose mm-hmm. in five. But... I wouldn't be surprised if they got swept. But the the fact that it's, it's 3-0 and I'm like I'm not going to switch up now. I might as well just stick to the position I had. So Boston Boston are going to win the series in seven games. But and how then, ludicrous is it that we're at this point that we're talking about Boston getting swept? I did not ex- I did not expect this. I thought if Miami had a chance, it was still going to be a very close series. They win a couple close games and like six or seven games. That's the only chance they had. Then I stopped watching this game last night at fifty six to eighty three. Max Struess, I think, made a layup, and then Boston called a timeout. I just turned off the game. I had nothing more, no more interest in the game. So I don't know what happened after that. But this series has been, it's been shocking in the way that Boston just seemed to live and die by this three-point shot. And it is like Miami are making a very conscious decision. They're running you out the corners. They're giving up above the break freeze, and they just don't provide any sort of threat at the rim. Like. Miami get deep in the paint, collapse the defense, and that's how they create their threes. Boston get one foot in the paint, no one collapses, and they're still kicking it out. I'm like, what are you doing? And I don't know if that's coaching or Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown not being comfortable getting all the way downhill. I don't know what it is, but I'm extremely, I'm extremely shocked to how this series is playing out, and I did not expect this. But it's coaching, Mars. It's coaching, yeah, Mars. Yeah, it's 100% coaching. He admitted it. He admitted it. I didn't have him ready. It's a hundred. I feel like yes, it's coaching. I do feel like the players need to hold some level of accountability as well. Jason Tatum hasn't been good in this series. I don't know what his stats are for the series, but he hasn't been good in this series. Jalen Brown's having one of his worst series because if you don't allow, if you collapse on Jalen Brown at the right point, he ends up getting confused and don't know how to kick out correctly. He always finds himself jumping in the air, looking for people to kick out, throwing it to no one, and then he's not great around the rim, like in traffic, because. 
I don't know what it is. He just seems to lose control of the ball quite a lot. But the issue I have is they don't seem to change anything up. If these above the break threes aren't dropping, maybe try and finish at the rim. Maybe operate in the mid range. Maybe play in the post. Do something. But they just seem to just stick and they live and die by the same game plan. And they're dying repeatedly. And it's very Mark, disappointing Mark, to see. The, the coach got a cock at. What, what you <laughs> think going to I had a little bit more faith. Someone is, can, chill. Can you explain to turnover? Like, is he broken? Yes, he is. <laughs> yes, he is. And he's broken primarily because <laughs> the coach is. He's out. He, not just him. Like I told, like I told you before, Tone. Your leader. He is who he is. Who the rest of the crew is. He's out on Missoula, so he's out on Missoula. That energy exudes the rest of them dudes. They out on him too. So whatever Coach Missoula says, go in one hand out the other. These dudes ain't listening to him. Add that to the fact that he got Jimmy Butler in front of him, basically giving him everything he's looking for, and he can't counter that. Not because he doesn't have the talent, but because it's upstairs. Yeah, but that's just, that's the difference. What I told y'all about email who strokes you. I told you guys that that dude he had a he demanded a different presence in the mm -hmm. locker room with those guys. It's a different type of respect. And then Missoula made the mistake when you take over, you're an assistant coach. You saw what Ime was doing for the most part was working. You come in and change the whole philosophy. And it's like, bro, what are you doing, dog? You bring in, you bring you, you bring in Malcolm Brogdon to get better and you, you get worse. You you have more turnovers as a team. Like uh, the turnovers with these dudes are alarming how many turnovers they have, bro. Uh the point guard, you think that they would put the ball in Brogdon's hand more, allow him to run the offense more? No, it's more so. Uh, uh, by committee, and everybody's just acting like wild chickens with their head cut off. It's, and then one night it's either, or oh, is it going to be you tonight, Tatum, or is it going to be me tonight, uh, uh, Jalen Brown? And it, it doesn't work for them. It's time for them two to be split. Jimmy Butler is effectively going to break this team up uh, after this season because they're not going to be able to function going forward with those two. They need to have Tatum there. Either you're going to be the man or that's it. Because those two, they're not able to work as a tandem. Uh -huh. Uh, on a on a on a consistent basis, I, I see that a lot with those two. And last night, both of them was bad. It was like they was both guessing. Oh, who gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. You gonna do it? Shot five air balls in the game last night as a team. That's just a team who quit, bro. That's a team who ain't ready to play basketball. I told you guys, Kai got to go, man. He came in there struggling <clears throat> with a tough look, man. That dude wanted to break down in tears in that press conference last night. I watched him, bro. He wanted to break down in tears and just all that tough little fake look he got. It, he's he's a broken man. Eric Spoelstra has broken this man, and he don't have no answers. And, and 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 it's sad to see because he's out in the game slamming the clipboard on the ground and everything like that. Guys ain't listening to him no more. They can say, hey, man, we got coach back. They said, y'all don't got coach back because if you got his back, you go out there and lay it down on the court, and you're not doing that. Man, these dudes is done, bro. So this is the last game Tuesday night that you'll see from the Boston Celtics as his team. You probably won't see uh, Rodman there next year. You probably won't see Robert Williams there next year. You probably won't see Jalen Brown there next year. They're just going to be a whole different team. Right? That, that was going to be my yeah. question for you, Ticket. So, Coach is gone. Jalen Brown, you think Jalen Brown gone too? They, yeah, they gone, man. Bro, it's mm. going to be – listen, you know how this goes fluent. As soon as they get – when you get swept like this, as soon as the season's over, it's going to be internal stuff that comes out in the media that's going on we didn't know about with Jalen Brown and this, that, and third. There's going to be a lot of beef, internal beef, and things that's going on. You know, it's always going to have to be, why did they lose? It's going to be things about they didn't respect the coach or they didn't trust the coach and what he was preaching wasn't right. I hear him all the time talking about offense, but they can't stop nobody. So, I, I, I mean, like I said before, man, the dude has a cock eye. I can't keep telling y'all this, bro. A man that can't see straight, you think he can think straight. So let's Go just home. be let's just, let's just let's, I'm, I'm being real. Let's just be honest, bro. It's amateur hour over there. And Lowe said something last night that made a lot of sense. They gave this dude an extension before he proved anything. You gave him you stuck, you mm -hmm. gave him an extension before he proved with a champ with our championship level team that went to the finals. Before the playoffs, they said, Oh no, we're gonna fully they did that out of spite of Ime Udoka. Instead yeah, of yeah, they were trying they were trying to change the narrative from him to the other, but it's funny that you said about the clipboard, because I was saying this to to Jay on Fluent and Chill last week. I said it's one thing when you respect your leader or respect like if it's Tom, I use Tom Brady as an example. He slams down the iPad, everyone's like, Okay, he's serious, let's get behind him. 
if when Coach Missoula does it, it's kind of like, well, that's corny because you don't believe him in any way. He hasn't proven himself. He's like, what's he doing? Like, you, yeah, exactly. You, and I think I did. I think that hurt more than it helped. They're looking for the adjustments, Tom. <clears throat> One thing he may would have did was he'd have made defensive adjustments in this series. You saw what he did to KD last year. You saw what he did to Kyrie last year at the game one. You, you think Jimmy Butler would have been doing? Listen, he would have made adjustments. So first of all, he would he everybody that hasn't done this in the playoffs to Jimmy Butler. Nobody's gotten rough with Jimmy Butler. You seen you seen a little bit from from Grant, but they really haven't really taken it to Jimmy Butler, man. They took it to KD when they played KD. They took it to Kyrie when they played Kyrie. Nobody has really challenged Jimmy Butler like that. Grant tried to do it, but he ain't he don't he's not on the level of Tatum and Brown. Those two dudes is running from that matchup. Why those two dudes? Why one of those two dudes? I'm gonna tell you why, Ticket. I'm gonna tell you why, Ticket. For the same reason, when LeRon asked all of us up here who was gonna win this series, and I told y'all Miami and six, and y'all was up here like, come on, bro, come on, no, no way, no way. And I told y'all Jason Tatum is terrified of Jimmy Butler. I think y'all underrate. I, I think y'all underrate how being scared of somebody. Over it supersedes your talent. It doesn't matter how good you are. I'm trying to tell you, it doesn't matter how good the Celtics are. If they're scared of this man, they will not be able to to compete. I thought it was going to be in six, but obviously it's going to be in four, maybe five. I don't know. I, do I was, also gonna say, I was well, I, we're supposed to go to the NBA. There's a new NBA restaurant here in Toronto. We're there for Game Six. I'm gonna be sitting there watching reruns. I don't even know what I'm gonna watch. God damn it. See, see but it's just it's like bro. I, I on top of that, I got a couple things to say too. I can't I can't cut Jalen Brown any slack for this series as much as as much as y'all know I want to. I can't do it because he he showed he showed the same thing. He didn't want no part of Jimmy Butler. Nobody wanted to see Jimmy Butler, and that's and that's what I, I seen coming into this series. Like I, I was saying with the Celtics in Miami, they both of those teams were trying to lose because then nobody want to play Jimmy. And it's and I also want to say once again, Eric Spoelstra, I'm sorry. I know I said what I said when I was saying it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eric Spoelstra, you got it. <laughs> you are the guy. <laughs> you are the guy. But then <clears throat> I, I still thought it was going to go six, but I'm happy that they're getting swept like this. Now I do think Jalen Brown is actively, actively looking for real estate and granted back. I just want to I just want to say, when it, come, <laughs> when it comes to Jimmy Butler, um, Chill said something earlier, and he recanted it, and I don't know why he did. Jimmy Butler is different. Uh, he, he is. In terms of what players are in this era of basketball, in terms of what this generation of superstars do, how they move, how they act, he is different. He has that Kobe mentality, that Jordan mentality, that old world mentality of I'm going to – I'm going to take it to you on the basketball court every chance I get. And if you look me in my eye and you say something, whether I'm down 10, whether we're tied, whether we're up 10, I'm going straight at you as, as much as I want to, as much as I can. I've never seen somebody go out there and put up 16, 8, and 8 and instill clear fear into another team. I've never <laughs> seen that before. You, I would... I thought you would have to drop 30, 35 to put that type of fear in something. Jimmy Butler gave you 16 points last night, and them boys, you would have thought he had a classic Jordan performance. He really might be Jimmy Butler. I was wrong. I can admit when I'm wrong in certain series. I can admit I'm wrong when I'm not having no bias or anything like that. I was wrong about this Heat team in this situation. On paper, this Boston Celtics team is supposed to be deeper. They have guys that are that are touted as these six-man bench guys, these interchangeable combo guards, all this, that, and the third on paper. But when it came to being on the court, all it took was rolling that ball out on the court, and I wanted more. That's all it was. It was, I wanted more, I'm going to take it to you. And that's all, that's all it took. I'm not even going to lie to nobody. I didn't watch this game after the second quarter. I did not care. I turned it off. I turned on Coco Miller for my baby. I was sitting there watching, watching <laughs> shorts on my phone, man. I'm like, I'm not watching this. I'm. It's over. When Jimmy pointed, when Jimmy Butler pointed and laughed at Grant Williams, and Grant just, I said, man, these these dudes is done. These dudes is done. This, this series is over. This should be heat and four. And if it's not heat and four, I'm gonna be a little disappointed because these guys don't want to play with them. My guy B Souls has been telling me all year. If it's one team I don't want to see, whether they are one seed or a seed. It is the Heat. I said, huh? Really? The Heat? Throughout the season, they seem cool. You know they got the Heat culture. They're a tough team. 
but they're an eighth seed. They weren't as good as they were, obviously, when they made a finals run, and they have the, they've been in previous years. So I'm like, bro, y'all might have it this year. This is different. Y'all got Brogdon. Y'all got uh, y'all, y'all got the Williamses. Y'all got all this, all this other stuff. You got it, man. I'm watching and the Williams and the Williamses are healthy. Because that's always always right, been the knock, right? right. Oh, right. They, when they're not healthy, the healthy, interior defense. Right. This is the healthy right. still sixteen, yes, and they is. are getting dominated by a bunch of dogs. And it's not yes. just Jimmy. And that's another thing. This is a great case of from top to bottom. If your organization is ran a certain way, it it is going to be you're going to be fine in the long run. It yes. doesn't. You do not need a bunch of lottery picks. You don't need a, t- a bunch of one through five picks that were your picks. You can literally get guys, and as long as your coach puts them in the best situation to win, you will get the most out of them. Eric Spoelstra has made it a routine to get as much as he want as, as he can out of these guys. Gabe Vincent, you're an undrafted guy. A lot of guys don't know you. That don't matter. Guess what I'm about to do? I'm about to put you in the best situation, give you that battery in your back so you can be the best version of you you can be. You know what that looks like? It looks like a guy that's better than former rookie of the year, former six-man catalyst, Malcolm Brockton. And it's crazy. Bam Adebayo gets so much slack. I gave him so much slack, so much heat. Bam came out here this whole series. Ready to play. Congratulations to you, Bam. You actually proven you, you're actually proving you're that center now. The center people have been asking you to be for years. You're finally being that guy, and I'm glad. Say the, it, Tom. Say it, Tom. Say it. Like, say it. Say it, Tom. Say it. 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 So I, just, so I, so I, so I, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. I, I, I said Bam. Need to, they need to ship him out of Miami. Bam's not that guy. He's overrated. He can't be the second best player on a team. Bam. Damn, Bam. And this is the, it, and this and this logic and the same thing that what Ticket is talking about. This is why I did. This is why I disagree with you, Tony. And this is why I disagree with you, Ticket. And here's my example. You talked about yo Jimmy Butler's gonna break this unit up. I want you to rewind the clock back to the 1983 season. The 1983 season, the Milwaukee Bucks walk into the Boston Garden, sweep the Celtics out the playoffs, sweep them. Now, Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, Robert Paris, they all on this crew. If we playing today, from your logic, them dudes is all out of here. They did one thing. Let's get this dude out. Let's get this dude in. KC Jones comes in. They end up winning the NBA championship the next year. They go back to the NBA championship for four straight years. Fast forward the clock to the 2000 season. The year before that, the Los Angeles Lakers get swept out of the playoffs by the San Antonio Spurs in the West Finals. The year before that, they get swept out in the West Semis. They get swept out of the playoffs again in the West Finals by the Utah Jazz. They do one thing. They, they, they take out Dale Harris, put in Phil Jackson. He demands something different. If that's going on today, Kobe and Shaq ain't together because we're breaking this unit up. We don't need to break this Boston Celtic unit up. We need to get this guy out, and we need to get exactly what you were talking about with Kudoka in. Here's where you're wrong, brother. They We went that path last year, and what happened? They got their ass mopped in the NBA Finals. They showed but we was on to something, no ticket. They, those two showed you. Those two showed you they're not made of that stuff that you need to win the chip. They can get you to the water, but they can't make you drink, baby. They can they get to the water, but they, they don't want to drink. So when they play a real good team, they're going to continue to get exposed. That's in their DNA. Jalen Brown is a is a two, acting around here faking like he want to be a one. Jason Tatum is a two, faking like he want to be a one. He can get you to the to, to the to the water, but his ass can't drink, and that's the problem, man. And we've seen this over and over and over again. I ain't gonna wait till they too old to get up off of them. I'm gonna get up off of one of them now, and try to use the other one to get me. You know, him, package him with Robert Williams and somebody else uh, to try to get me a mega, a major asset to come in. Oh, you want to blow the whole unit up, Ticket. You don't want to just split them up. You want to blow the whole unit up. Al's older now. Robert Williams always hurt. Uh, You know, Marcus Smart, how long are you going to go with that experiment? He's the biggest flopper in the league. How long are you gonna how long are you gonna roll with the train? And, 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 and I, want I, can, this, I, I want to say this because I wanted to say it before, and then you put me on ban, but it this Miami Heat team is showing something that we we tend to forget. It's more about the team than it is about the names. We keep trying to throw like when you look at Boston, you read their names, right? Smart, Tatum, Brown, Brogdon, and you're like, oh, they're good, but they're not a collective unit. Miami is proving that a 
a team that plays basketball the right way will beat a bunch of names, will beat a bunch of superstars. This whole superstar collection thing isn't as good as a team that's that's solid one through ten that plays together. I'm sorry. I've been saying that for years. You might get it here and there, but overall for 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 a long period of success, it's it's yeah. a better team versus a couple of stars. And it's interesting you mentioned that, Tom, because last year they were more of a co- they were more of a cohesive unit, and that was because of the coach. Yeah, I think that we got I, I think we got robbed. Doing, what I'm doing, what I'm doing is basically saying this Philly may lose James Hart. If I'm Boston, I'm packaging Williams, I'm packaging uh Brown, I'm packaging uh Smart, smart. And, I'm going, and I'm going to get Joel and B, and I'm teaming them with, with Jason mm. Taylor. Oh, I, I thought you were going to say, big, 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 say hard. Oh, I want to put a guard. No, I want to put a guard with a big. I want, put, I want them. I want to put a guard with a with a, with a big because see, the Boston Celtics only play oh, one way. It, the, they're them not having post presence inside. They can only play one way. They only play on the three line. If they don't play on the three line, they're trying to drive all the way to the basket. That's it. They, there's no in between game with them really. And Jalen Brown should be able to give you that, but it's just, bro, they need to make, they need to change that up now. If that, I'm him and Joel Embiid yeah. is unhappy, he's that's unhappy why, right now. But, and, 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 that, and that's the, that's the, re, that's, that's Embiid exactly. And Tatum, Embiid and Tatum have the same flaws though. They no, have the same, I'm, they have no, the same saying, flaws right, because right. What, what's your, what's your criticism about Tatum, right? He untimely turnovers, doesn't like step up. What about, what about Embiid? Untimely turnovers doesn't step up. Got a little guy on him, and he's you know and he's shooting fadeaways instead of posting up and go. Like they both have that issue. Like who's going to be that guy? I don't think that solves their problem. Right. It's exact same. And Tatum's just a fraud. The great teams in Boston have always had a great big man. <laughs> These are, we know this. So right. if I'm Boston, the teams in Boston and LA always go after the great big. That's the one thing we know about the Lakers. We know about the Celtics. They have if gritty Boston, bigs, huh? They have gritty bigs, yeah, not just bigs, oh, 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 not, right, just, right. not skillful, talented bigs, I'm guys with, that will do I'm dirty with, work, play I'm defense. With, There's I'm a with, hold on, I'm with you, but with, what I'm saying is, I didn't, you didn't hear me say Al Horford. I'm saying you still keep that wild event beside Joel and B. To me, that kind of helps out because now you're gonna have Horford. He's gonna be on the perimeter. That's gonna force M B to be in the post where you need him. See, what I'm saying. For so for me. I would rather see Jason Tatum and Joel Embiid together than Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown again. That's not mm. going nowhere with those two, bro. Those if, two. If, if someone forces Embiid into the post, then I'm with you. Then I'm. Then I'm with well, you. Right. No, Al Horford does that. Al Horford does that because he he stays on the three point line. So Al Horford he does that. He forces Al Horford being on the three point line as much as he he forces and and I play a one in four out with Joel Embiid, and I have a tandem of Embiid and Tatum. And I, I I do a a, a low budget Kobe and Shaq type of thing. You understand what I'm saying? I, I I I just when I think about this crew, I don't think that they're that far away. They was in the NBA finals. Tony, I mean not Tony. Ticket, you talked about that DNA that it's not in there. It's obvious that it's in there because they were in an elimination That's game right. last year. Going backwards. Right, they're going and, and they're going backwards now. And the, 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 the reason why they're going back, the reason why they're going back, I think is because of that. Not just because of Jason Tatum as their leader. I think it's at the top too. Missoula is not the guy for them. I think that for them to get somebody in there different to change the schemes, not just to change the scheme, to change their attitude. We saw a team quit last night in the Eastern Conference Championship. I never thought that I would see the Boston Celtics quit. Any Boston Celtic team, I they never thought that I would that. see. Chill I would never see them quit. Chill, oh, I mean, tickle, we just we just saw we just saw them last year. Don't forget, we saw a team with Udoka as the head coach. At one point, they were in tenth place. They go from going they they go from being in tenth place to making a run to the NBA Finals. So it's obvious that it's there. The problem is at the helm. It's the way that they play and it's the attitude that they have. We have to change that. Because I don't, in terms of players and personnel, I don't think they're that far away. I do think that you need to get a league guard because I because I'm out on Marcus Smart. I'm out on Marcus Smart. I, I think you do need to get a lead guard, and I do think that you need to get some more interior presence offensively. But other than that, I'm not breaking up. Jay, I'm, I'm I'm not breaking up Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. I'm not doing that. The line. You hold on. You do what you supposed to did at the beginning of the season. You move Brogdon into the starting lineup as a permanent starter point guard and get White out of there. Get White. White should be a backup. And and like I said, I think you need to go with the big because the way the NBA has been going. If you look at the champions outside of the Warriors. The big men have been ruling. So you got the ADs that was in the finals. Then you got 
Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then look, now Jokic is coming up. So you're going to need bigs to me to offset these bigs that's going to be dominating the league. Giannis is is is, is at the helm right now. Right. So the, the bigs are, they, they winning the MVP awards. They are kind of controlling this thing as far as the championship, you know. And, and I can see Denver being at the top of the West for the next few years. You understand where I'm coming from, yeah. Chilltown? Yes. So when we think when we think about it like that, brother, I do think you need to move on from the Jalen Brown thing. His heart ain't in it no more, bro. His heart, when you quit like that, bro, last night, bro, when you quit, bro, you quit, bro. Bro, that's bro. Magic Johnson is a Los Angeles Laker. He bleed the purple and gold. When he tweets out how he was ashamed and disappointed that they quit like that after 44 years of watching the Celtics like that. And this is a team he hate. This is a team on, he hate that he flabbergasted. Quit, Yo, Yo, watch I, hate, I, I hate the Celtics. I'm a lifelong Laker fan. I hate the Celtics. And I was messaging you guys. It's Yo, that great weather you, I, I it's said that, what? It's that great weather, Floyd. It's that it's that it's that it's that it's that glum, you know. No, but the, I was clouds. So mad. I was embarrassed. I was sunshine. embarrassed. No, no, I was embarrassed for them. Not having your I don't care if you're down 30 or 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 a hundred. It's the third or fourth quarter, and your starters are out, and y'all are sitting there with your heads down like that. Yo, you're playing for game four. So even if all you do is outscore them the last 10 minutes of the fourth quarter, the last five minutes of the fourth quarter, you show something that gets that might work. To take into game four, you don't just give up and put you. That's why I say I don't even play game four. Which don't they even... did, by the way, Tony. They, they won the fourth quarter. And, and I'm watching dudes like Pritchard. Pritchard, yeah, Pritchard was, was out. It, it, the game was already over, was, but was, you, you, you did see some fight. The guys that needed to do it. Hey, you did see some fight from some of those guys. 100% you did. But when I, when I look at this Boston Celtic unit, I'm looking at a team that's broken. And I said to Big Ox before this game on Saturday, Big Ox, can you tell the folks what I told you at home? About how I feel about going back to Boston. Not going back to Boston. I didn't think we. I I, mm-hmm. I didn't think that we was going back. When I saw after game two, I'm thinking to myself, I don't think we coming back up here. I think this series is over. And yesterday just stamped that. Yesterday just completely stamped it. I think this series is over. I think that. I, I think come Tuesday night, you're going to see some fight early. I think they stomp them again. I don't think they beat them. I think they stomp them again. Yo, so uh, I put up a poll, and the chat got on my head. Because <laughs> I said, how many games is Boston going <clears> to <throat> win? One, two, three, or four? You missed the accurate all I started, uh, yeah, All I started seeing was L host, L poll, L poll. Zero, 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 zero. <laughs> So now I have to ask, because I'm under the impression that Boston is going to get a game. Why, Ron? Now I have to ask everybody else. Because they're going to get four. How, what do you mean? <laughs> how many games do you sincerely believe, Mars? That they're gonna win, Mars. I already asked you, but I have another question I want to ask you after this, Mars. Damo, how many games do they win? None. Their soul is gone. They got Shane Sun, bro. Their soul is snatched. Their soul is gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's, that's, that's a mortal combat, mortal combat reference. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mortal combat. Mm-hmm. Ox, awesome. How many games? To the Boston. But call, hey, call call me crazy, Ron. I wouldn't be surprised after what. And I didn't feel this way until until Fluent uh, uh, showed me that clip. I wouldn't be surprised if if them boys don't even play. If if, if Jason Tatum, if Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, Al Horford, no, 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 I, 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 I Horford ain't going out like that. Al Horford ain't going out like that. But I wouldn't be surprised if Jalen and Jason show up in street clubs. Mm. Mm. Chill. I think this series is over. Wow, everybody. I, I listen. I'll, I'll say this. I don't think they're winning any, but I'll, I'll say this because I need them to go to game six. I'll say they get two because I, I need to have a game to watch at the NBA restaurant. So I'm, I'm going to go with the Celtics. <laughs> it's it's my birthday. We going now. We need, we need a game. Jalen's going to be in Granite Bay, Fluent. It's over in the sweep, bro. If, if it's not a sweep, it's going six. It's over winning the sweep. And yeah, Mars, you said – Five. When when Boston win in seven, I want you guys to apologize <laughs> to me because I'm the only guy who stays. I will come up that. here and say, Mars, you are the guru of basketball, 100. Okay. Yes, That's I right. will say that. If you if that happens, I will so I will admit up. that. Mm-hmm. And so we talked about it a little bit, uh, chill and, and ticket. They had kind of a back and forth, but Damo and Mars and you as well, Ox. I want to hear what moves do you make if you're Boston? You guys get swept out of the playoffs. It's been years and years and years of you knocking on the door but not getting over the hump. Mars, what do you do as a team? Do you run it back? Is it a certain move that you would like to make? Um, 
I think it depends what's on the market. Um, if you could, you probably do need a play initiator of some kind, but it seems like the only ones who are going to be available is James Harden and Chris Paul. And I'm and I'm I'm good with both of them, so I'm no yeah. thank you. So <laughs> I don't I don't know what, what they really can do because I I would keep Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown because I don't think you get anything of close value back for either one of them. So I think I think missoula has gone. You have to get rid of Missoula in my opinion, but I don't see what you really can do to really strengthen where you need to strengthen. So I think you probably just end up having to run it back with a different coach as long as it's not like Doc Rivers or something. No, so, not not no, Doc Rivers. No, no, don't do that. No, no. Doc Ben back in Boston? Oh. No. Hey, no. He won a, he won a ring. Run there. Back. Hey, run it back. <laughs> Finish what his legacy started, man. Your legacy really started. No, Damo. No. And oh, I'm not. I'm no. not hundred. I'm not hundred percent out on Doc yet. I'm not hundred percent hey, 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 out. On Doc. Chill out, man. I'll see the hundred back. Out on Doc. No, no. no. <laughs> I, I will say. I will say. I gave Doc a lot of slack, and I don't know if people seen that Coach Nick video where he broke down basically from like 04 or 05 all the way to now all Doc's blunders in the 16 game 70 uh, coach. Mm -hmm. uh, looking back in retrospect, it's easy to blame Doc here and there. A lot of them weren't just Doc's coaching mm -hmm. inabilities. A mm -hmm. lot, of, a lot of the slack Doc gets, I will say, it's not on him. I'm gonna call him a terrible coach. I just will say he's probably mid. At best, I think he's mid. I don't think he's a terrible coach. So but he's not he, a terrorist of a coach. Oh uh, yeah, he's definitely not terrorist. He's not on terrorist <laughs> okay. watch. Yeah. Be he's better than Mike. You know hey, you know what coach I got on mm. terrorist watch? But hey, when it comes to the Celtics, I I feel like I have a. Very hot take when it comes to what they should do. I'm saying the same thing hmm. they should have did before they went to the finals. Um, Trade Justin Tatum. I, I've always said when it came to JT, wow. Jalen Brown, hey. yes, JT's. Oh, listen, oh, listen, 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 yeah. listen, listen, listen to me. I mm -hmm. was the one that came on this platform and said maybe they don't have a number one. They have two twos. I, I was the one that came but why, Hold on, Dama. Why hold, on, hold, on, hold on, ticket. Because I'm going to get to it. Yeah, he's going to gonna it. say, well, it's yeah, gone. You have two guys that, again, in my opinion, you have two number twos. You take Jason Tatum, who the stock is higher on. You'll get more for, and you could probably get another all-star, all-NBA caliber player back for. And I'm thinking if you trade, in my mind, and again, I'm not, I, I don't work for the NBA, so I'm just working off the straight 2K logic, if anything. In my mind, I would say just for example, you trade a guy like Jason Tatum, and you go to the Timberwolves, you get a guy like Cat. I'm just saying a guy like Cat, regard mm -hmm. a guy like Cat, you take Al Horford, you move Al Horford and use that contract to get a plethora of role players to again extend your depth, your bench, and you move on and do whatever you have to do. That's just what I would do. What? Jason hold on, you, 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 you can you hold can on. for sure he get Cat for Jalen Brown. Okay. He said trade Tatum sure for Cat. That's yeah. all I said a guy like that. Was just, that I, was just an example. It's an example. Oh, just very, 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 very I'm not saying do it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. But you just can't say that. I was hoping for a bet. I was hoping for a better name. Okay, let me ask. Let me ask. Let me ask. If it's not Cat, give me the center that you feel. Hold on, hold on. That's what I'm trying to say. Hold on, hold on. I wouldn't trade him for a big. I wouldn't trade him for a big. No, well, I'm saying trade him for a big because I'm bro. saying trade out Horford too. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'd, run, I'd, I'd, I'd use Robert Williams. Or, Robert, Robert Williams would be hey, Damo, That's Damo. fine. I'm when just using an example. Damo. That's cool. When, when you talk to the first team all NBA performer like Jason Tatum, a dude who's led his team to the finals, Cat ain't it, bro. You can go straight up and go get a guy like Joel and B for that. That I ain't. We, if we that's talking fine. that trade, hold on, hold on. If we talking like that, we talking Joel and B. We talking. We talking the creme de la creme. We ain't talking the second Demontis tier guys. Sabonis, we talking. Yeah. We talking. We talking. We talking, <laughs> the top level, I'm talking the top level players. We talking AD. We talking players like that. We talking the first. I don't see, so I guys, don't see so guys, so guys, you can you can scratch your face up all you want, Bob, because Sacramento will hand over Sabonis for Jason hey, hey, Tatum. Hey, hey, they would, they they would hand him right over for Jason Tatum. Hey, hey, Here well, you go. Well, let's be honest. Why, let's be honest. Why, Boston, Boston, and Philly. Listen, there's no trade in in the Thank world you. that Boston is trading anyone to Philly for MB. That's not just know, that's right. never going to happen. But but Domo brought up an interesting point that made me think: if you're keeping Jalen Brown. If you're keeping Jalen Brown and you're going to say, hey, we're going to build this team around team depth, defense, kind of versatile players, whatever, you need a playmaker, you need a big, would like Jason Tatum being the, the next version of Paul George to Indiana for like a Halliburton and Miles Turner? 
you, you nasty tone. That yeah, makes more sense. No. That makes more that sense. That makes more 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 sense. That Hold on, guys. You got to keep having right to play with Tom. Tom. You are a sick individual pushing that, pushing that talk right there. You are. Why is that? Why is that, Tom? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Why is that? Let's be honest now, right? Why would I want to keep Jalen Brown when I know he wants to be a number one when he's really a number two? So then, do you, hold on, hold on, so then use Jalen Brown. So then use Jalen Brown and and Marcus Smart. Hold on. So then use Jalen Brown and Marcus Smart and other pieces. To bring those two guys to Boston with Tatum, I got. But hold on, listen to this. I got my hand on the most versatile guy already, and Tatum. I got my hand on the dude who showed me he can close in certain situations in Tatum. So what I want to do is I want to use Brown to go get me a legit other guy that doesn't that doesn't play the same type of game that Tatum plays. Because even though Tatum and Brown, their games are a little bit different. They kind of both do some of the same things. They who need who are you getting for Brown? Who who you legitimately you think you're getting for Brown? That's what they need, which is a playmaker and a. Oh, I can go get. Come on, I can go. Come on, no, no, no. I can go get Cat for Brown. Who? I can go get a big. Listen, I can go get a big because you know. Listen, what I'm saying to you. I want to kind of put a big with Tatum. I don't want to put another guard with Tatum. I want to put a big with Tatum. That way, I got a combination. I can play two different ways. I don't just have to play one way. I can play in the post when I need to, and I can play from the perimeter. The Boston Celtics' problem is they can only play one way. Look at the Miami Heat for one second. We watch them. They shoot threes and bomb from everywhere. But what do they do every three or four possessions? They throw it to Bam in the post. He facing up doing his Chris Bosh stuff, jab stepping, driving, attacking. They don't have that option right now because Big Al. What about DeAndre Who's getting them the ball? Who's getting them the ball in the fourth quarter? What do you mean? Who's getting the ball? I said, who's getting, the, who's ball getting ball? them ball? Who's getting them ball? Because I that's said, the problem, right? To turnover, to turnover, to turnover in the fourth quarter. Security person. Affluent. I said the biggest problem the Boston Celtics had is you got a starting point guard and you made him a backup in Malcolm Brogdon. That's he, a fact. He should be moved. You want Brogdon starting? Right. He should be moved to the starting mm. spot. So that's the that, to me. That's another problem with this cock ass coach that he's messed up the team because you have a starting point guard, but you're starting white. Over a dude who's supposed to be starting in Malcolm Brown. If Malcolm Brown was starting, he's easily an eight, nine, ten assist game guy. And he's gonna give you around twenty a game. So you uh, eight? Yeah, I, I, I don't see that. Easy. Hold on, hold on. Easy. This I don't see no, that no. Brogdon. Ma- Malcolm Brogdon is not a playmaker. Well, no, no. On this team, to on, on, because on, when on you guys asked, because when you guys asked before, who's a playmaker that they can get? Right. They're, the list is short. So that's why I, Halliburton was the first one that popped yeah. into my head that he, so, you know, he's not too old, he's not too expensive. He, I think he's gettable. I think Indiana really underperformed. They, they'll, they'll do anything to get someone in there. So, so ticket, so ticket, so ticket, so ticket, your, lo- so ticket, your logic, which I, I, I'm, I'm trying to get on board with it. You looking at Malcolm Brogdon as more of a distributor and a playmaker with another big, not with this present unit. So yeah. if you put him in, if you put him in the start, if, if you put him in the, if you put him in the start lineup, but yes. we got to get another big, would, not with this crew chill, right chill. here. Chill, chill. L- l- listen, what I'm saying, if I'm getting Brogdon in a pick and roll or pick and pop with Cat, he's more dangerous. Why? Because he can attack the basket and he can shoot the ball. So now I got a dude who I know I that can get to the rack, shoot the ball, and he's a good decision maker with the ball in his hands. So now I got that ash- action going on, and then I got a dude like Tatum who's versatile, who can shoot the three who can break down a D. I don't have to worry about having two guards like him and Brown always running into each other and being in the same spots. That's why you don't see them on the same wavelength all the time. They always kind of running into each other and running each, into each other's spaces. They need, to me, they need to go take Brown and try to go get their hands on a guy like Cat, a big dude like that, or what's his name said, Aiden, but I like more so Cat because Cat can right. kick and pop. He can spread the floor and he can roll to the basket, excuse me, and post up. I like that they don't have that option on Boston, bro. That kills you when you can only play one way. Because when a team like Miami takes that away from you, they have you have nothing else. You can't go in the post and play inside. Look, look at the different Nuggets. But I when think, you- I think honestly, guys, I think whoever said this might have, is is more accurate. You look at Smart, Brogdon, and Horford. Uh, and draft picks to get yourself a playmaking point, and you run it back with Tatum and Brown and a new coach. I, I think that's the most. That's the best. Recipe for success, but we'll see. We'll see. They might well, want to. What if they went for like? Okay, so there's a couple options. Um, 
the like the big big name option that the chat's been saying and someone actually sent me a trade was to try to get Dame for Jalen Brown and I think it was like a pick or something. Just try to get Dame if the Portland are trying to move off him. I don't think that would happen because I don't think Portland. I think Portland. Portland, Portland is shopping the third pick to get Dame help. So I, yeah. I, so I think they're I think they're in yeah. denial. So I don't think that will happen. Then the other the other option I was thinking of, what if you try try to get Dejounte Murray from Atlanta for something? I don't know if they really have the pieces to make a Dejounte Murray trade work. And then the other option I was thinking was instead of going after trading for a big, why don't you try get like a Brook Lopez or a Vucevic in free agency, and then you can package Jalen Brown well, for the guards you need, and then just have a guard, thing, Jason Tatum, works. and then Mars, the free agent. Let me, answer, big. let me answer that question because they need uh, once again. I understand what you're saying with that, but they need a post presence too. They, Brooke Lopez well, can play in the post. He well, just doesn't no, because Giannis no, no, is there. No, oh no, no. Well, he, he, listen, to what I'm saying. Look at look at this situation with Miami. Right? They can play two ways. Look at the the Denver Nuggets. The Denver Nuggets can play two ways. They can play inside and outside. Mm-hmm. The Boston Celtics can only play one way. If them niggas ain't hitting threes, they gonna get their ass whooped. And they turn the ball over way too much. You know why? Because they can't really settle down and throw the ball into a big guy when the but game ticket, is out. Brook, 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 that's, Brook, that's what Brooke Brook Lopez, Lopez is the solution for that. No, 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 he's not a real post. He's not a real. Brook Lopez that's because he, he's, he's, he's with Yanis. It's because he's with Yanis. Brook Lopez back to the basketball basket game is nice. He's not. It's nice on the block. But he more to me, he more so want to shoot threes, y'all. Well, no, he did that to stay in the current league. He had that down in the current league. He came into the NBA. He was a post player. Yeah, he was. Block, and you, you can see you can see it when Giannis isn't on the floor, he gets back down to business yeah. in the post. Like he's, he's a very good post player. Yeah, but he's <laughs> older though. That's the only thing I want to. I, I agree. He doesn't fit the timeline. I agree with that. And, and, and that. the reason why the reason why I'm not feeling cat is because of what's going on in this series right now. What's happening with the Boston Celtics? What what is what is yeah, Miami doing? Today? Like like one, one more time, nah, Dom. You're, you're saying cat soft. You're saying it's Dr. Cotton. But chill. But what I will say though, what I will say though, yes. Cat is definitely a cat, but I did see when they did put a dog in that locker room, that cat was barking. Hey, Patrick when they Bev- had Pat Bev in there, when Pat Bev was in there and was really in his ear and doing the same thing Jimmy is doing to them guys down there in Miami, hey, he had a battery in his back that year. And since you brought that up, Damo, the same thing happened. The same thing happened. Two years before that, when Buckets was in the locker room, uh-huh. and he yeah, folded yeah. up like a lawn. He folded up like a lawn chair. That's because, right? That's because now, Buckets so, was going at him, and he did, right. and it was the behind the scenes that he did specifically now, to him that kind of, you know. Well, here's here's the, here's, the, here's the thing, though. With 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 Patrick Beverly in the locker room, quote unquote, putting that battery in his back, you still saw what that what happened when they played against Memphis. He still got out toughed. Now, mm-hmm. once again, I've I've, I've yeah. heard this saying. I've heard this saying a thousand times. You can put lipstick on a pig. At the end of the day, still a pig, <laughs> still a pig. So, no with that being said, when I think about when I think about when I think about cat, I think about a guy who's supremely talented. I think about a guy skill level is is at the top of the list. But at the end of the day, when you're going, especially in the Eastern Conference, when you're dealing with Milwaukee, when you're dealing with Boston, you're dealing with tough crews. You are going to get out tough when you got to do like Cat on your team. Why? Because he's proven time and time again when it gets tough, he cheeses up. Okay, let me let, okay, let me defeat your logic. So here's why that logic doesn't work with me. I'm gonna use your words, right? So that logic doesn't work because what are we seeing now in the playoffs? We're seeing guys like Roy Hachimura who had a bad reputation for being soft and not really being that much of a player with the Washington Wizards. He comes to a good team that's a contender. He looks like a completely different player now. This dude hard body. This dude going at dudes. Mm-hmm. Look at Caleb Martin for the uh, Miami Heat. He was with the worst team in the NBA in the Charlotte Hornets. Mm-hmm. Nobody thought anything of this dude. This dude come out here. He putting dudes in the casket. Look at look at look 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 at all the other players from Miami got. You you didn't we didn't know anything about. I forget the other guard's name right now. He slips off my hand as he's three. Gave Gave Vincent. Vincent. Mm-hmm. He didn't have that reputation. Nobody knew that about him. Look right. at him now. Then you can keep going on. Uh, all the way down the line. You can look at the other guys who are in the playoffs, who have been on teams that have came up big. Look at Malik Monk. Malik mm-hmm. Monk was with, two years ago, Malik Monk was with the Charlotte Hornets. Maybe his career was going to come to an end if he stayed over there in a few years. He would have been out the league. As mm-hmm. soon as he gets to the Lakers, you start seeing a turnaround uh, in his game, and then he goes right. to, to the Sacramento Kings this year. He's right. on a winning mm-hmm. team. This motherfucker, right. he's looking like the next best thing since right. Slice Rick. Yeah, so Max sometimes, to me, sometimes to me, it's all about your location and right. who you are around. Sometimes right. because, listen, I, the one thing I saw is, is that when Cat was around a guy like Jimmy, a dog, a guy that's going to push you, you understand what I'm saying? I like that. So maybe you do keep a Marcus Smart around for a guy like Cat. 
But mm-hmm. at the same time, I do think sometimes it's about who you are around and who who you are being influenced around on your team. Because again, you go back and look at Roy Hachimura. Right. They made the trade for him. Everybody's like, all right, yeah. I yeah. like it. I yeah, like I, it. No, no, no. We I like it too. But like it. Oh, yeah. most people, most people was like, I ain't they they seized at it. They're like, all right, whatever, man. You look at him think now, much of it. Yeah. yeah, you're looking at him now. This dude a dog. Rui the best player on the team. Bro, that, he, that, he, hey, he's a dog. Man. Bro. With, with, that be, with that being said, though, Ticket, we're talking about a Washington crew. They didn't know what they were doing with him. So you get with the Los Angeles Lakers, and they're they using him different. Cat's been the system in Minnesota. But he's they don't know the, what they're doing with him, though. Let's with, be honest. They don't really know. They done brought they brought Rudy Gobert in there, and that was my biggest red flag of, yo, they don't know what they're doing. They have a culture of losing up there. When Jimmy got up there, you could see on his face, yo, it stinks. It smells like loser, and he tried to fight it. You can see on Anthony Edwards. Yeah, but they, his, but his they, and loser. they ran him out of town. Well, again, again, that's because Jimmy was Jimmy was not the best teammate to certain players up there. He I, 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 dis- I disagree. Was- I think Jimmy's a great teammate, and those he's a great those teammate, teammate in the locker room. But I'm saying yeah. he was, but he did do things off the court to those guys, specifically Cat, that kind of ruined that relationship. The same thing as the Draymond punch in the face. You can say Draymond's a, a, a dog; he's a tough teammate. He's doing the good for the team. But when you punch a guy in the face, I mean, there's only so much you can do. Jimmy didn't punch him in the face, but he did stab him in the back, at least. From what the rumors and the reports were that came out of the Timberwolves camp about what Jimmy did to Cat, he stabbed him in the back crazy, and I don't trust you after that. And I can't get mad at Cat for that. That was kind of foul. What he, did, what he supposed? I don't. I don't, I don't know the story. I don't. I don't know. I don't know that story either. I don't know what the story is. I don't know that story either. But what I know is this: in Chicago, Jimmy was the problem. In Minnesota, Jimmy was the problem. In Philly, Jimmy was the problem. In Miami, oh, Jimmy's great. Yeah. Well, now I'm starting to think Chicago, Minnesota, and and Philly were the problem because they haven't yeah. done shit without Jimmy. Chicago, Chicago definitely, Chicago was definitely the problem. I, Philly, they came out and said that, that the, um, they screwed that up. They yeah, screwed he, that they up. They screwed that up. He, you they seen did. that when he talked to JJ about it? Yes. Uh, he screwed it up. For the people that don't know, apparently, and I'm just making real quick. Yeah. Supposedly, mm-hmm. supposedly the story was Jimmy uh, kind of took Cat's girl behind the okay. scenes. Like Jimmy. Uh, was a little too friendly and did some things that you're not supposed to do with a teammate. But right. Now, again, I'm going to say allegedly, but this was not something that... That's the story, though. Ever, that's, that's the story, story. and it hasn't, okay. been disputed. it hasn't been disputed. Uh, right. You heard stories that's, about that's Jimmy... That's the girl's fault, but whatever. That is the girl's fault, but at the end of the day, when you got a guy like Cat who's known for being soft, you know how that's going to get to him. Right. And every other, yeah. every yeah. other story, the stories in Chicago, Jimmy came out to bunk. The stories in Philly, Jimmy came out debunk. I right. still ain't heard Jimmy come out and debunk that story. So I'm like, all right, okay. it okay. might be something there. And, and then my acted, I, I don't know. But then, that, I mean, but that's that's not cool though. Like that's no, not, no, we, no, that's you're cool, right. You know, you're we can right. so we, 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 we can make jokes. We can make jokes yeah, about yeah, like, yeah, that. Like, you you what? Jimmy Butler, there's there's, there's females that's, all over yeah. Minnesota. Well, with 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 that being said, back to the basketball logic. So I'm 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 just not interested in breaking up this unit i don't think that they're that far away i think that they need i think missoula jumped the line he wasn't even he wasn't even if you look at the coaches he wasn't even in the front row of coaches he was sitting in the back but the well, problem yeah I, yeah i was but, really but sure but sure, but sure. They, they they were they were trying to get joe missoula there a while ago not for well, the head yeah. coaching job of course but he 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 made the decision to stay at the college because he had promised right. the kids he recruited that he was going right. to stay there that was so their they, agent's so they, Yes, that was Danny yeah, 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 yes, was. Was, they, were, they were really big on John Mazzulla for a right. long time. That was, so that was, that I don't, 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 don't really want to put Jimmy, this. Jimmy, Jimmy, I don't, 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 don't want to put Jimmy this. Jimmy already the killed Mazzulla once. I do. You, you I do want to put this. Go ahead, Tone. I'm sorry. I said Jimmy already killed Mazzulla once. Y'all forget? Big East tournament. Marquette versus West Virginia. I didn't know that. Missoula was on that West Virginia team. Jimmy was on that Marquette team. He already smoked. He already smoked John Mazzulla one time. Well, again, w, w history lesson. W so, so now, so now we're in a, so now we're in a position with this team where I think the pieces are there. Ticket is onto something. I do think you need more of a presence in the post as a big guy. I think you need more, more of that. I still think that you need a playmaker, but at the at the helm, that's where the problem is. Yeah. I think that's Nick Nurse's job. To be honest with you, I think yo, yo, Nick, but, I, I but, think that's Nick Nurse's job. Chill, and another, chill. and another thing. Oh, that, no, yeah, yeah, Ron. And, that, and another guy's name, and another guy's name that I'm going to throw out, and another guy's name that I'm going to throw out, and I caught a lot of heat for this, but I picked the phone up and I checked Nate McMillan's temperature. I see what's up with him too. Ticket, t- remember, me and you was the only ones coming up here and saying the Celtics are frauds. Remember that the right, deepest right. roster in the league, they got Jason Tatum, they got Jalen Brown, hey Bob, Al Horford, 
Oh, they got the deepest bench. Bro, this, keep, this, you this, can this. keep our hey, bro. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, they went to the championship last year. I'm just the, the change in energy is ridiculous. And I know I know they're getting smoked out That's right now. They play the games, Ron. Hey, Ron, wait a minute, yo! Right now, you, you I, don't think, I don't think I don't think anyone up here had Boston deep. going to the finals. Prior uh, yeah, to I, no one, I, no one up here. I, I'm, everyone, I'm everyone here I'm, had the Bucks, I'm, and I was here with Philly. So who? No, had, no, who no, 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 I never, I never, I never, I never once, you, I never once had the Bucks. I never once had the Bucks. And they were, they were the number one team. I was definitely with the deepest team in the NBA. The only person I know who was caping for Boston the whole year was Dub, and now he switched up. But everyone else, I was with, I was with, I was with Dub. I was with Dub on that Celtics train. I definitely was until. Until I seen what was going on in the playoffs, I seen Jimmy Grill Town Milwaukee, and I'm like, sure, okay, I see what's going on here. Showtown had the Bucks coming out of the East. Nah, but Grill Town was capping for Boston this whole all this time. That's because he likes Tatum. He's a Tatum guy. And Ron, and Ron, and Ron. I was, I was, I've always been big on the Celtics, but I've always been extremely critical of who, Jason Tatum. Right. So, uh, so let's so yeah, I was I was right with the Celtics, but I knew I knew I know at any mm-hmm. moment Jason Tatum can throw. And it what all was your slogan all last playoffs? Oh, we don't gotta talk about it. Oh, all right, still, but, but listen, uh, it's easy. I mean, hey, Al Horford still ain't it's, fall, though. It's the easy pick. It is the easy pick to pick the Celtics. So they go to the finals. Okay, a new coach, but they add a they add a piece that they need some scoring off the bench and brought like they should have been. Hey, they're in the Eastern Conference Finals. It's not like they should. And we can switch oh, up with we, 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 we and they're still gonna win in seven, so that's still and, good. And no, don't leave that part out, Mark. Exactly. Please don't that's leave that part out. Finals, so and and, and why, why are we why are we leaving out the fact that we've been provided with new information? I can't switch oh, no, up when I'm provided back. with new information. No, you can't, you can't. Right. But so also, this is what's I'm going also on. saying that to say how unbelievable this is to me. I don't I don't see why I'm the only one that's in shock right now that Boston is getting wiped out. It's just I know you're not I the only I one in shock. I'm, I'm in shock. They about to get they got they about to get swept. Listen, even, even, crazy. even the biggest Miami Heat fan will, if they're being honest, will say, "I did not expect this." He lied. If he said he did, he lied. Win. Even if he said he did, he win. There's no way they said they're, we're sweeping Boston. We're going to make any one of y'all. Blow up that There's team. no way. There's no, no way. There's, There's no way lot. you were serious. The series you isn't no over way. until a team wins four games. It's you're abs- you're absolutely right. No one thought they'd be up 3-0. That, how about yes. that? Yes. No one Sorry. thought they'd be up. All right, fellas. We, we got to move be up on. 3-0. Yo, this is crazy. They didn't. They didn't. No, they, 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 oh, they, no, they didn't. Jimmy Butler will tell you, yo, we don't care about what these guys say. And buckets, listen. We know that we know how much confidence you have. We know how confident you are in your unit. We know how good your unit is. But there's no way you're gonna sell me that you do you do start y'all was gonna wipe the floor with the Celtics in four. Keep games. in mind, you know keep in mind, keep in mind. This was so. a team. This was a team that was the seventh seed that lost the first play-in game. They barely made the playoffs. And had to beat Crazy. Chicago just to make it into the playoffs. Almost lost to Chicago. Oh, we were like, we we'll get left. that part. With, with, with four minutes left there, I think they were now 12. Yeah. They had them in the chokehold. <laughs> yes. Had them dudes in the chokehold. Oh, but, but Chicago are. have DeMar DeRozan, so we all knew how that was going to happen. And, and Miami surprise. has Kyle Lowry. That's right. All hey, right. One, of, one we, of them's we, a champion. So. We, hey, we hey, big dog pushing. hunting. Tell him again. Jalen Brown, come on to like the beans. Come on. Like as, the as you guys know, the show is sponsored by the good guys over at Underdog Fantasy. Shout out to them. If you don't know, it's a great way. To go ahead and get in on some NBA action with their Pick'em game. What you can do, download their app or go to their website. Uh, you choose a player, your favorite player or your least favorite player. Maybe you think a player is going to sell. Maybe you think a player is going to buy. Mm-hmm. However, you can win up to 20 times your money in one single night by just picking higher or lower. Let's say you pick Marcus Smart, for instance, in the last bet we chose higher and he went lower. Let's say, for instance, you're choosing, well, Jimmy Butler. He's had a historic playoff run. More than likely, you want to choose higher, and he's going to win you that cold, hard money. Underdog keeps it simple with the easy-to-use website and mobile apps. You pick between two and five players with their pick and entry. Uh, you put in your picks. You take home your money. What you want to do is use the promo code The Panel. That's the name of this show, sponsored by all the good guys up here. Use The Panel, and they'll match up to 100 percent of what you put in up to a hundred dollars so if you put in 50 they'll give you 50 you put in 20 they'll give you 20 you put in five they'll give you five basically you know how it goes chat you know the drill what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a couple people into the poll a couple different picks and you guys tell me higher or lower 
Also, what we're going to do later on in this show is, Chad, I'm going to give you guys uh, a contest. And then with us up here, Chill, Fluent, Mars, Ox, we're going to do our own. And we're going to see who's, well, more fluent. Moving along, uh, it's a lot of super chats that I want to go ahead and get around to. Appreciate everybody for uh, watching. Appreciate everybody for subscribing, for liking, and also donating your super chats. We're going to go ahead and get around to them right now. Oh, and by the way, right there at the top of the chat, right there, it's right there. That's where you can click the link and uh, you can go to the Underdog app or the website and you'll be able to use the promo code and all that good stuff. Wayne go crazy said he info Jimmy top two and not two. Once we beat the Nuggets, this will be the best playoff run ever. I still don't have it over Dallas in 2011, but it depends on how well he plays. If Jimmy Butler plays like out of his mind in the finals, then maybe. But I know he's not the best friend of all. But there we go. Pimp named Slickback said, "Can we can we just admit?" What many of us outside of the Laker crowd knew from day one, Denver is a better basketball team. Yes, they are. We'll never, we'll never get them to admit that. <laughs> we will never get them to admit that. <clears throat> we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Yes, yeah, we we'll def- we definitely go get to it. Okay, for, for, for all the Lakers fans out there, yeah, we're going to talk get, about we, you we, guys. We, we, yeah, we're going to get on that in a minute. Hold on. If, and yeah, for all the Jokic right guys, here. we got you. We got you. Now. Now. I don't want no. Hey, 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 Tick, has, has, Elder, has Elder Rufus came around to, to reality yet? Yeah, hey, actually, Elder Crazy Ass won $1,500 on Underdog. Mm. Check him out. Hey, if Elder could do it, you could do it. Well said, healthy Heat Jimmy equals Eastern Conference Finals minimum plus playoff riser. Same as Jokic in the West. Giannis has more help and drops. If Jimmy beats healthy Bucks in 2024, hmm. I'm not that is gonna... true. That is true. Um, three years Jimmy Butler's okay. been healthy, and three years he's been in the Eastern Conference Finals. So it's true. Super chat from Jay. He said, This is Captain Jay Stevens from Southwest Airlines. Flight 9235 from LA to Cancun, departing at 11 p.m. sharp this <laughs> afternoon. Thank you for choosing Southwest Airlines. Well, they still got it. It, it, it can't before? be 11 p.m. today. It, it that, can't be 11 p.m. Before? Is that before or after the Lakers parade? <laughs> right, see, what talk, see what I'm talking about? You can't they got eight more wins, baby. They got eight more wins. Mm. Tom, you said you're the news. They won't, <laughs> hey, they, 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 won't, they won't admit it until they're drinking pina coladas. Even then. So Quay White said, forget what Ticket and Elder said about D'Lo by benching him. Might be addition by subtraction at this point. And I swear if I see another D'Lo shooting after a loss video, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> to Quay, to Quay, you're just going to completely forget about the 15 and 5 that he averaged, the, the two That's series true. before this, right? You're just going to leave that out. Yes. So we're having a bad yes. set. So, so we're going to have a bad I'm series this year. And now all of us, you dudes is something yeah. else, man. Like yeah, one, man, and not, on, not, not only that. He just got on the crew two and a half months ago. Two and a half months ago, he just got on the crew, and that and was averaging fifteen and five in the two previous series. But he's having a bad series here, so get rid of him. And we're gonna add Kyrie Irving, who now, this is all this is the dude y'all talking about, Kyrie Irving, who really quick I'm gonna run down this. So this year they didn't make the playoffs. That wasn't his fault because they gave away all the defense last year. Swept out of the playoffs. He had that one game where he went 38. He was pedestrian at best for the rest of the series. The year before that, he gets hurt against Milwaukee. The year before that, he doesn't even play in the playoffs because he gets hurt. D'Angelo, by the way, took that Brooklyn team to the playoffs. The year before that against Milwaukee, worst shooting performance of his career. They get mocked by the Milwaukee Bucks. The year before that, in, in 18, they're in the Eastern Conference Championship, minus, Ky- minus Kyrie Irving, who didn't play the entire playoffs. But what we're going to do is we're going to go off of what? We're going to go off what he did with James seven years ago, and that's what we're going to do. Give me wait, a break wait, with this chill already. Town, chill town. Chill chill town. Already real do. quick. Real quick, real quick, real quick. No, 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 no. Real quick, chill time. Watch this. I, I'm gonna I'm propose something that I don't think anyone's thought of, and I, I guess I'm the only one because I'm delusional. I'm listening. I'm listening. What about the Lakers got neither one of those point guards? Who? So we out on Russ and we out on, on, on yes, Earth. yes. So, what if so we just, out on Russ what if and we, we take, out on Earth? If we can, what if we took D'Lo and signed and traded him for somebody that's not Kyrie Irving, and we got like more depth? I, maybe. Maybe I'm playing too much 2K. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. But I don't want either one of them. 
And I'm not saying this because of this series. I'm just saying in terms of trying to win a championship, if a guy isn't playing well the first two games and he's been a bad defender the entire playoffs and we have a guard who's cooking us, maybe we might need to just subtract a little bit of his minutes. I'm not saying put him in the Mobama territory of not playing, but maybe instead of playing 32 minutes, you play 25. You're going to get your wish tonight. Mo oh, Bama. Yeah. Oh, oh, so let me say, I was a great Look, look, uh, we can, we can uh, get swept. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, no, stop. We can get swept. Zoom, we, can, zoom, we can lose this five. <laughs> if Mo Bamba has a good game, I'm coming on this mug, blasting freaking Shaq West. I'm coming here ignorant. Because if Mo Bamba play well, people ain't going to hear the last of it from me, regardless of when or lose. I'm just saying. Dumb. I've never uh, met a uh, mobile. Oh, oh, Chilltown, oh, oh, you easy. Hold on, you easy to beat, Chilltown. This is why oh, you talk about that stuff about Kyrie Irving. Let me kick <laughs> your ass for one second. Please. First of all, you're talking about Kyrie Irving, who is a heartbreak kid, who is the man, the myth, the legend. He is the guy who came out this year and averaged 27 points on 50% from the field, 40% from the three, 90% from the free throw line. He's the same dude that went and took it to the Los Angeles Lakers this year in L.A. and smoked y'all ass three the hard way. He is a closer. He is a big-time performer. If he was a go to the Lakers, he wouldn't be asked to be the leader of a team. He wouldn't be asked to be – uh all this only thing you would ask him to do is is do what Kyrie Irving does, which is get buckets and close the deal in the end of games. That's it. So I don't understand what the problem is. You're not asking him to be the leader of the team. That's where he gets in trouble. Where you're asking him to be in a leadership position to where he has to lead other people. If he's going to a team where he knows he's not the leader, where he can just come in and do what he does, which is what they need, his skill set, that's not a problem. So when is that, when does that happen? Okay. He's the third option, and you have a good backup because he's going right. to miss half the season? Sure. Right. right. That's all I'm saying. Tone, that's all you're saying. Yeah. Because guess what? If you can get him to the playoffs, now you get into a game like you was in the last two games where Jamal Murray's going hot. Well, who's the other player in the NBA right now that can do what Jamal Murray's doing and can match that energy? Him, Kyrie Irving. Mm. He's the one dude hey, Vincent. that can break you down and match that same <laughs> energy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Kyrie Irving is one of the most gifted special players in NBA history. He's one of the only guys that right. can match and do what Jamal Murray was doing at that time. And you need that if you're LeBron James because you do need another guy who can break down a defense because the defense is going to ball on AD, and that virtually makes your team unguardable if right. you have a guy like Kyrie Irving in the clutch, who right. we know is clutch, who's proven right. at the highest level, who is in his prime, who will be highly motivated, who will be playing in a place where his idol, the great late Kobe Bean Bryant, played. Right. So he won't be acting a damn fool over there in L.A. So if you're thinking about that and you put it into perspective, he had his most successful years with LeBron James. LeBron right. is his buddy. LeBron is a guy who can talk to Kyrie when he's getting out of line, who can right. say, come on, Kyrie, let's do it like this, don't do it like that. And right. Kyrie will respect that. If he goes back, that already you already know he has a certain level of respect for right. even going back to LeBron James. So right. you put him in that situation, you're not thinking of a Kyrie who has a mindset of, let me go be an asshole and say, hey, man, we don't right. need a coach. Let me try to be the leader and all this. No, you're right. not the leader of this ship. You a mm -hmm. dude that's on here as an assassin, <clears throat> and we need you to do one thing. When it's on the wood, we need you to bring it at the highest level as we've right. seen you be able to do it. So now you got you still got LeBron James who's able to do his thing from a leadership position as far as, you know, running the team, doing it, doing those things up. You got a dominant post player in AD who's right. dominant defensively who can play in the post. I put you a guy rely like, on that ticket. I put a guy like Kyrie. No, no, no listen, I'm I'm kind of with Domo that I don't I, I, I don't necessarily want either, but if I have to mm -hmm. pick between D'Lo and Kyrie, there's a difference between a better player and a better player. Keep going, ticket. Keep going, ticket. I'll let you finish. I'll let you finish. The problem ain't going away. Jamal Murray ain't going away in the West. No, and guess not. what? Steph Curry ain't going away. But guess what was the answer to a guy like Steph Curry? A guy like Kyrie Irving. See, when you got dudes that can put it on you like that and LeBron's mm -hmm. getting older, you got Kyrie's in his prime averaging 27 points on 50, 40, 90 consistently for the last three or four years. So I want you to think about that, right? Last year, he played a lot of games. He played most of the game. You're going to load manage him a little bit in the season. He's going to give you around right. 60, 60, 60 games. Right. But when you come to the playoffs, when you get in these moments like the Lakers are in, where they're right. losing games because they don't have a closer right now, right. that's when you get a guy like Kyrie Irving that right. can break the defense down, that can do all these things that you've seen Jamal Murray doing. The one mm -hmm. other guy in the NBA that can do it like that is Kyrie Irving. So when you say that, it's kind of different because he respects LeBron. Him and LeBron won a championship together. They tasted the right. champagne together. So mm -hmm. when you've been through those wars, when you've been in those situations, now it's different. I ain't a kid no more. I'm a grown man. I understand 
the mistakes that I've made and the things that I need to do. I'm at this level. You need a guy. The Lakers had nobody to clap back when Murray took over in the fourth quarter in game two. They had no answer. Even though they was close, they had nobody that could match what Murray was doing to them in game three all in the first half. You understand what I'm saying? And then down the stretch, the Lakers didn't have nobody that could close. They've been depending on role players. One game, Roy Hachimura. Another right. game, Austin Reeves. Another game, Lonnie Walker. Another game, D'Lo. Another game, AD. Another game, LeBron. You can't win like that. You need a guy right. who you know that consistently down the stretch. And remember, Kyrie was one of the leaders in fourth quarter points in the NBA. Right. You need a guy like that who can go do that, bro. And right. I believe so, I do believe that. I believe that will work, Chilltown. I believe right. that's a perfect fit because he's played with LeBron before. Right. And, and he, he don't have to be the leader. He's not in a position where, yeah, come on, guys. Y'all listen to me. Follow me. No, 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 no. You're just here as a as a teammate to do your job. And so now – so now, so now we put in Kyrie Irving as he was a number two on a championship team. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make him a number three on a championship team. No, 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 no. You're making him a number. You're making a number two offensively, but just third in rank as far as the voice on the team. Because if, what you're I, LeBron, if, you're, if you're LeBron, you're taking a little step back and saying, man, I got a guy. So I don't have to play 35. I can play 32 minutes a game this year. Right. I can feel because guess what? Kyrie Irving, they try to do it with Russell Westbrook. He's the right. anti-Russell Westbrook. He ain't going to turn the ball over that much. He mm -hmm. got a jump shot. He can break down the defense. He got the midi. He's one of the greatest finishers at the basket in NBA history. Right. He's got great hands. So you're not worried about those same problems that you worried about with Russell Westbrook, which is why LeBron went and got Russ, with a guy like Kyrie Irving, the dude on the screen that said that, you, that's why your screen is black, because you know nothing about basketball. Get this buffoon right. off, off so, the So, so with, 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 with what you just said, Ticket, everything that you're saying – the history shows different. So the last five or six years in the playoffs, like you just mentioned, the 50, well, who 40, was he, playing 90, with? he was playing with buffoons and non-leaders. He was playing. So with again, KD, when we're talking, about, so we're talking about, so when we're talking about him in the regular season, that 50, 40, 90, those numbers didn't translate in the playoffs. In fact, no, his numbers went the other way. Really. I did. I heard everything that you just said. Ticket. No, I'm saying, numbers, you I heard everything that you just said, Ticket. So in the playoffs, his numbers went the other way. I understand what you, I, under, I understand what you, you, you just said it. So we so he's playing with a guy in Kevin Durant who when Kevin Durant That's got the not Brooklyn, a leader. We keep you keep, you keep saying, you, 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 Kyrie's you, trying to be the leader and he he's a part time dude at that time. Right. And, so and you're, you're putting him, you're not listen, chill tell me. I understand where you're coming from, but you're putting him in a different space, a different role. You're put you're not making him say, Hey man. I'm the guy who's got to be the leader of this team and lead these guys. He, no. he doesn't have to do the same thing in Dallas neither because it's obvious that Luka is the guy. Was, it's obvious that Luka is the guy. And like I just said, in Dallas, it wasn't the problem because they gave away all of their defense. That was the main problem, right? right. But but that was their main problem. Right, right. But when I think but when I think about him getting back with James, you know, take it sometimes when you break up with somebody, it's not a good thing to get back together. We should yeah, probably yeah. stay broken up. And the reason why we should stay broken up because there's a reason why we broke up. In the first place. Now, I understand that Kyrie Irving is older. I understand that he's, quote, unquote, more mature, even though he hasn't shown that. He's been problematic over the course of, over the course of time. Not only has he been problematic, it's wrecked teams. So why am I thinking him getting on this crew with James, who we broke up a long time ago? Why am I – and Anthony Davis, who also has somewhat of a fragile mental. Kyrie Irving could come in. One of two things could happen. He could either like – he could either warm up the building – or he could burn the building to the ground, He's and from the, the and, and, and and from the and, and from his history. I'm not really willing he's to bet gonna, that he's not going to burn the building. I'm, I'm willing does. to bet that he's going to burn not, the, burn the building to the ground. That's what I've seen. Here. He's not going to burn it to the ground because of two factors. For one, he had too much love for Kobe to go to LA and do that and, and act a fool in LA when he holds Kobe Bryant to such a high regard. Secondly, his friendship with LeBron James. When you notice or realize that you did something wrong and he admitted he was wrong in that situation, then you come back. You then can't come back and be the problem again. So him with LeBron James, I think that's a different dynamic. They understand each other. They understand how to play with each other. And now he's at a point where he can just go full throttle and do his thing. That's all he got to do. If you're telling me all Kyrie got to do is play basketball and you're putting him with LeBron, AD, and the Lakers and replacing him with D'Lo and guys like that, she so the pressure I got, so I got, I got pressure. You, Ticket. I got well, here's, here's I got what I'm thinking, Bob, because I think Ticket's stance is the pressure of the leadership is now off of him. Because the pressure mm -hmm. of the leadership is now off of him, we might be looking at a different Kyrie Irving. I'm not willing to I'm I'm, I'm just not there because I'm not you, sure. You 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 could be right, Ticket. You you definitely could be right about it, but with a with a guy like Kyrie Irving, I'm not gonna take that chance just because he loved Kobe Bryant, because you never know how, how that can go. It could okay. go like you're saying, like you're saying, it could go that way because of the love you have for Kobe Bryant. 
but it also could go, you know, a different way to where he idolized Kobe. He wants to be Kobe, this and that. He wants he wants to be the guy. He wants to he wants to fill Kobe's shoes. You know what I'm saying? Kyrie, Kyrie he's not your typical you're that great, person. You know you're what I'm that, saying? Bob, I'm going to tell you something about the NBA. When you're that great and you need what the Lakers need, he provides a specific need that the Lakers – that the Lakers want, which is a, a closer and a guy who can absolutely go get it, because that's what they needed from D'Lo. They needed they needed they needed D'Lo to be more of a guy who could score, put pressure on the defense, and and make these guys uh, uh, pay attention. Let's be honest, Jamal Murray ain't really had to defend nobody. Yeah, but I'm talking I'm talking I'm talking about Kyrie's brain. Though. I'm not, no, I'm not talking about his game. I'm talking you're, about his you're, brain. You're only, right? he not, he not, as he much not, as as much as you're seeing these negatives, though. There's just as much chance that he goes and realizes, hey, I screwed up. I should have stayed with LeBron mm-hmm. in, in Cleveland. Mm-hmm. And maybe this is his redemption tour. Because I guarantee you, it Florida, it's happen. a long season. It didn't happen. It's a long it season. Didn't happen. But if Jack and Kobe could go back in history and and they would have fucked it up again. And they would have had it. No, why not? No. Shaq, Shaq why? already made it clear that he screwed that up. Shaq made yeah, that one hundred percent. And, and, yeah, and he wouldn't. Do, yeah. and, and if he could go back, he wouldn't do that again. Shaq would have took a back seat to that dude. now took a back seat to that dude. I've made it clear. I don't want either D'Lo or Kyrie. But if I have to pick one, I'm picking Kyrie over D'Lo. And here's the thing: if he goes back with that mentality, if it's a big if, but it's just as big a if as you, where he's saying he's going to go and try to be the man. If he goes back with that mentality that I screwed it up in Cleveland, this is my second chance because I know the only time I had success, the only time I was looked at as this guy, and the only time I won a ring was with him. Yo, I'm going to do I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Being optimistic for your Lakers or whatnot. But we are talking about Kyrie Irving, bro. Y'all can say, y'all can say, oh, he learned his lesson because he did a podcast or he interviewed and he said, oh, I'm sorry. That's my big bro. I well, okay, so to Bob, let me ask you he a gonna, question. He gonna, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna go over there. He gonna, he, gonna, he gonna go over there, and he's gonna he's gonna come in. He's gonna be humble. He's gonna be talking to Rob Polinka like, yeah, man, I'm here, I'm here. And then come December, he's gonna be like, man, fuck this. I'm the man. Give me the ball. I need this. <laughs> I okay, think, okay, I can't Bob, do it. I can't do it. Bob, and then, it and then, Bob, and then, and then he gonna he gonna he gonna be in a condo somewhere, Jesus. somewhere in Northridge, sitting there. Jeannie, but you, know? you realize it was your fault. And she gives you a second chance. You're gonna be better behaved, man. Yeah. No, I'm yeah. not. Hey, hey, because Bob, I'm me. Mean? I'm me, and I'm, I'm gonna Bob. I'm gonna Bob. say all the right things. I'm gonna say all the right things. She's gonna unlock the door. She's gonna she's gonna un- she 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 already changed the world. She's gonna she's gonna she gonna, she gonna give me she's gonna give me the new Same key. On you. And, then, Same and, then, on you. And, then, and then you know where I'm gonna be sun, sun, Saturday night fluent. I'm gonna be at the library in Anaheim doing I'm the same hater, things man. I always oh, yeah, do. Such a hater, I'm gonna be right there why, with why you. Such a hater, <laughs> I'm not a hater. I'm a realist. Hold on, Bob. I'm a realist. Hold on, Bob. Y'all, 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 not, y'all, trying, y'all trying to give Kyrie. Y'all trying to give Kyrie. No, 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 no. Bell in the house. What up, Bell? That's not reality, Bob. What you're saying is not reality because listen, just think one second. Think one second, Bob. Everybody make mistakes. Everybody got their own little personal issues going on. We you never know what was going on in Kyrie's life at that time. Right. The whole world was going through something crazy. Through he was young, three or four yeah. years stretch. And then when he was younger, you a young guy, you come in an all star, you an all star game MVP, and then LeBron comes to your team, and then he's the guy when you're thinking you were going to be the guy. So that automatically has a conflict being set up right there. So now you go through that. You felt a certain way. You felt you was feeling rebellious at the time that you wanted to get away from this guy and prove that you could do it without him. You didn't prove it. So now, guess what? Oh, but, uh, ticket, don't stop there. Oh. You're you're putting up thirty a night. You're just as responsible for that Man. chip as he is. And everyone's saying, "Oh, LeBron did it by himself. He had no help." Of Man, course, this ain't no movie. This ain't no movie. Y'all, 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 He's definitely a better basketball yeah. player than I, I'm not. I'm not talking about that. He is, he is a better player. I take that risk because the Lakers' future depends on it. Because if you're still trying to win, if you're still trying to win in this next two year window, yeah, this window's like that big. You got, you're trying to win in the two year window, bro. I can't. I can't hit, shoot, miss. I gotta shoot and get a guy who I know when he step on the court. He gonna deliver the goods, and Kyrie Irving is one of those guys that when we're battling Steph Curry's, when we're battling De'Aaron Fox, when we're battling all these other these young guys, I need a weapon like that to go. I can't be fucking around with D'Lo no more, man. He ain't That's it. A fact. I can't yo, be messing with Fluent. Fluent. Don't bet your franchise on Kyrie Irving. Yo, 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 yo Delroy. 
Yo, how do you feel about Kyrie? My mic going? Go on either. You, you, you good. What do you okay. think about Kyrie and the Lakers? Good, good situation I, or bad situation? I think it's a great situation. I, I don't, I don't like the the Kyrie slander. Um, when it comes to like, no, this is this is what I don't get. Like, what did like when you say he gonna do go crazy? What did Kyrie do that make make like I said mistakes? With Cleveland, he thought he wanted out. He wanted out because of what they were saying. With Brooklyn. He didn't play because of COVID mandate vaccine. He he don't want to take the shot. That's that's a, that's his own that's power. That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly yeah. That's fine. That, that, that 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 own power. His own money. He lost. Other than that, other than him missing the game, going to his sister party, that was kind of crazy. Everything else. Why didn't he play? He got, he got hurt. hurt. He that got was hurt. Kind of crazy. Yeah, that one was crazy. The sister thing. That's it though. Mm-hmm. He got hurt. And don't and, and don't and don't leave out the the the. the the social impact. I think the guy got shot by the cops, and Kyrie Irving yeah. took two weeks off because yeah. he was having he, that. That was going on as well. So don't forget about Boston. Don't don't forget about Boston. Don't leave out yeah. Boston. He got but hurt he in, Boston. in Boston. He got hurt though, but he played. Yeah. He played bad, but he played. And, he played. But he got he hurt. Was up 2-0 and he mm-hmm. got hurt, and they, they should have won that. But he mm-hmm. played bad. So yeah, when he got hurt, he messed up all of these franchises. Like it's not messing yeah. up, Del Morton. It is problematic. That's the thing that that's, okay, okay. that's the thing. they didn't say Bob was like, uh, Oh, in December, mm-hmm. he's gonna be like, Oh, yeah. I'm the man. I, I'm like, Yeah, it, it but is it problematic? Problem. Is it one, one, or is it is it a string of unfortunate events and we just give put all the blame on him? Because he's people, the the men talk, people blame right, him for COVID. people blame him for the other stuff, but that's not his fault. No, it's not, Tom. But the, the when you talk about when you talk about these issues, these issues are, are things that he created. So we're 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 basing our we're basing our success going forward in the playoffs on you. You break down. That's you. That's who you are. You do stuff where you become problematic <laughs> toward the unit, right? You you become problematic to, toward the unit, and that seeps into the fiber of the unit. So now we have problems on the unit. That's because of you. Which also, when you get off that unit, they become better. Now again, is Kyrie Irving a great basketball player? I've said this before. I. When you're talking about a better basketball player as a bet as opposed to a better fit, those two things are totally different. I always use the example: Adrian Dantley is a better basketball player than Mark Aguirre. Mark Aguirre was a better fit for the bad boys yeah, than fair. Adrian Dantley. All right, fellas, we, we got to move on. I want to go ahead and uh, continue to run through a few more super chats, but then I also like we we talked about the Lakers, but we didn't talk about the Lakers and what's going on right now. Let's get We're going to get around to that. I got a couple mm-hmm. more super chats that I'm going to run down though. Uh, Doe. With the super chat, he said Tatum drafted into a good team. He's a great team. He has a great team this season and still gets excuses by us, media, and they still push him because of the MVPs foreign now. Because all the MVPs foreign now. They still push him because all the MVPs yeah. are far. I don't know if they still push him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah. I just said trade him. What are we talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that man ain't nobody no. over here. Jill's his biggest fan, and he said he he sucks. <laughs> and I'm a Tatum guy. Anybody knows me knows I'm a Tatum guy. But no, I'm not giving him a pass. Hit 44 said ticket funny as fuck. I go to the stream last night and it was low in Jalen Carter by themselves. LOL. Mars vs. Ticket will be a must see. If Jimmy pulls this off, nah, I'll be letting him go. Well, I well, I hey, go go against ticket hey, for if hey, Jimmy hey, pulls hey, it. Hey, I do not know. All this hey, dude, real quick, what? what's Mars that? What's, ticket. Yeah, what's, ticket. what's that going to do with me? Give me a break, hey. man. Hey, we say, Bob. Hey, ticket. Hey, who was was that you fell asleep on the stream the other night? Yeah, I probably did fall asleep. That's 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 a hard working man right there. Ain't even front, man. You have fun, man. Twenty four hours. We be having fun with loads in that cap and those, so that's why I fell asleep when he was talking that dumb. Hey, that, 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 that was fire, though. That was fire. <laughs> that was a fire stream. Moving Thank along, you. Tay Luke said, where would y'all rank Spo in all-time coaching? Would this also destroy the Bron never had a competent oh. coaching area? Oh, I don't know where that oh, is. First, first of all, first of all, first of all, what, what kind of narrative? Anybody, anybody that knows Spo knows that Spo is a great coach. And he was a great coach when he was coaching James. He was a great coach when he was coaching James. Did, so with that, with that being said, you think about the coaches, to, to, to answer your first question. So Phil Jackson, uh, Greg Popovich, Pat Riley, uh, Red Arback, Casey Jones, Steve Kerr. Then it starts getting tricky. 
Is Steve Kerr really Don, a better coach Don, than Don, Don, Don Nelson? I'm about to say, is, is Kerr a both spot? No, I, I don't got Kerr. He's, he's, he's a Mike Brown. I don't know. I'm going to say, team. I'm going. I, I thought you was about to say Spo before you got the Kerr. I thought, oh, Spo coming. I don't think I got Kerr above Spo. I think, I think, and I'm glad you brought that up, Ticket, because a wise woman once told me anybody can train a secretary, you can screw them up too, though. And he did a damn good job with that crew. Yeah, no, but the, 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 narrative, the narrative the narrative is LeBron never had any coaches, and they want to bring up Mike Brown and Spo and compare him to yeah. Phil Jackson. Well, okay, that's maybe <laughs> oh, that's a stretch. Easy, easy. Okay, but it's I'm not, not like saying Spo was a great he coach. Coaches. He yeah, he had damn good coaches. I don't, I don't think it's fair to even bring up Spo in the conversation, saying that LeBron never had good coaches. I feel like if you're arguing with somebody, having a convo or a debate with somebody, and their point is, "Oh, LeBron didn't have great coaches." And one of the names out their mouth is Spo. Okay, you're arguing with a clown. That person right. doesn't know basketball because Spo's like a great don't. coach. And well, he was there. Well, he was there. They don't, what they say is they, he never had a Phil Jackson. They, they'll never say – they'll never and, actually and, say Spo was not a and, good coach. And again, and again, I don't care if it's on national TV. I don't care if it's in a barbershop. Anybody that's not willing to put Spo's name up there amongst the great coaches, at least of this generation – is an idiot. I, I think they're an idiot. Spo would be Phil Jackson if he had Jordan and Pippen at, Pippen at that time as well. Exactly. Hey, they, they don't or, even want to or, 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 Mike Brown. They don't or, even want to praise Mike Brown, bro. They, they sad, man. Or, or Dell, if because don't forget, I mean, Phil Jackson had Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan for eight years. I mean, he only had LeBron and D-Wade for four. So if he had them for almost a decade, we definitely talking about a different spot. Carmelo Anthony just officially announced his retirement, by the way. So that's a quick sign. We, we yeah, already knew that. I'm about to say, what Gilbert say? Oh, he ain't know he he's retired. He just ain't know he was retired. Anyway, that's no, right. Y'all see, see the this Ain't no way that's what the coverage you're going to give to Carmelo. No, I mean, I thought somebody would go. I'm sorry. He didn't retire. NBA retired. He didn't retire. That was that was Nah, you guys. Yeah, and, 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 and by the way, and by the way, we got jerked. I mean, shout out Melo. Shout out and, I, and I'm saying it. Yes, I'm saying it. Don't tell me to pause or nothing like that. We got jerked to Carmelo Anthony in two years. He should be part of the thirty thousand point club. That's true. One hundred percent should be part of the thirty thousand club. Two years he lost right. out on his career. One hundred percent. He should be higher on all time scores. Yes, like, he's not yes he should. We he got robbed. Of two six years. Five. Don't forget when he was in Houston. When he was in Houston before they got off of him, I believe he was almost twenty a game yep. before he before he got yep. off of them. And it just went the other way. And then after that, he was out the league for two years. And we watching other teams. And when he gets on, when he gets on that Portland team with Damian Lillard, Damian Lillard is telling us we should have been had this dude. Right. This dude should have been on our team. I don't have a good. Re- I don't, I've not. Well, heard the, 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 the logic on the logic on him was he didn't want to come off the bench, or mm-hmm. he was he, he was he didn't want to come off the bench. He always wanted to be a starter. He didn't want to change his role. When in reality, we didn't. People didn't accept the fact that Carmelo Anthony is buckets. That's who he is. He's a bucket getter. And bucket getters need to be on the floor. Period. That's right. I, I, nah, I feel like that um post game interview we had kind of made it look bad, but still I think the NBA overreacted. When he was in OKC and they asked him, "Would you ever consider coming off the bench?" And he, me, and chuckled. Right. That looked bad and spearheaded. Hey, hold on. You, from hold that on. moment on, hey. from that moment on, hey, he, the NBA he earned it. Crazy. He yeah. earned that reaction. Hey. Facts. Nah, he didn't. Right no, 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 no. You do got to be for the team, but should Carmelo came off the bench at that moment in time? No. If that's yes. if that's no, what the team no, needed, no, if that's, no, if that's no, what no, if that's no, what the coach needed him to do, hold on, hold on. Not when you tell me that I'm coming to be a part of a big three. Then all of a sudden you want to no, you don't do that. And let me say this to you. This is the reason why going into the Lakers. This is the reason why I have a problem with you, Dom, with what you said about Darvin Ham. You called him a terrorist, bro. You can't destroy the asset. And then think you're gonna get something for it. Listen, if the Lakers are gonna move on from D'Lo, you gotta ride D'Lo out. <laughs> you know why? Because if you destroy the asset, D'Lo once again he's been a starter his entire career. So now, if all of a sudden, because he played bad in one series in three games, we're gonna bench him. How many players in NBA history that have been starters their whole series got benched based off of three bad games? No, think about I have to look. Think about, hold on, hold None. on. I want you to think. Hold on. I want you to think about that. So if the Lakers, if Darvin Ham does that. You have done two things. You put yourself in a bad situation because if you have no other moves in the offseason to get another guard, you're going to have to, at the worst bet, keep D'Lo. 
and signed him. Now you burnt the bridge with him because you've lost trust with him because you took did something to him that wasn't done to a number two overall pick his whole career, even when he's playing bad in Minnesota, which is bench his ass and bring him off the bench. How has he been defensively this entire Hold on, hold on. Just want to go back to the OKC thing. I just want to go back to the OKC thing because I just I want to clarify something. So Carmelo's 33 years old. Yeah. He's averaging 16 points a game, shooting 40% from the field. One of his lowest free throw shooting, like oh, under 80% for his first man. career. Hold on. And, and you're asked to help the team. We could use your scoring coming off the bench. It will make the team better. And you all think at 33 years old, having your, the worst season of, of your career because of your age, whatever, to say – to laugh at that, that's a good team thing. Right. People because of how they did it. It's how you do things fluent. It's how you do things. How does that get leaked out to the media before the coach even talks to him about that? How does the narrative be talking about everybody because of how bad he performed? No, you're not hearing me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I got that thing backed up. Hold on, hold on. Ticket, 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 ticket. The Carmelo question when he laughed in preseason, it was in the beginning of the year. It was before the season. It wasn't before the season. It was, it was before the season. That's what I'm I don't know. I'm asked. That was, was before the season. Before the season. Before the season. All them stats is after. When they asked him, he didn't even play a game with them yet. It was in training camp. So that's why he smirked it off because in training camp. So that's a more context. So, so at training, training camp, camp, someone in the media asked him, "Would you yes. ever consider coming off the bench?" It was training camp, correct? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Why, why, is that, why does that? Why does that and this come is the, up? And this is the same dude, Tone, by the way, who before he got before he got to Oklahoma, but, Oklahoma City when he came from the Knicks, he was twenty. He was twenty-two again. Not only was not only was he twenty-two again. Every team that he was on, where he was the man, he took that team to the playoffs. Every why last one of those teams. But look, fluent. Even if he laughed at that, understand? Could I say something? The fact yeah. that it mattered, that shouldn't matter because after that, he came off the bench in Portland, played well, and he came off the Lakers and played well. So that narrative himself, he played out of that laugh any regardless. Because on the Lakers, he played well last year. He averaged 13 or 14 points, and they could use his shooting uh -huh. now. The Warriors could have used his shooting now. After the fact, but we're, I, my question to, that no, started this all was why was he black ball, and that. it was because he wouldn't come off the bench. That's not so, true. He said that's he burned true. bridges. That's what I'm asking. That's, true, bridges no, when that's, he not, played that's not true, Fluent. Fluent. Fluent, that's not true. That's not why he was black ball. He was blackballed because he was oh, lied on. No, 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 no. He said, it. Was he said it on national TV. He was lied on and his position was misrepresented. All Carmelo Anthony wanted was clarity with the team on what his role was before he went there. They told him one thing, he got there, and then they tried to switch it up and do something else. When you have superstar players and star players like that, you can't – okay, let me give you an example, right? LeBron James is, is – we're starting to see him decline, right? If the Lakers go to him tomorrow and say, hey, man, come off the bench. Uh, we want you to come off the bench next season. Well, how you think that's gonna roll over with a dude who's been doing that all those years, those years in his career? Averaging thirty his fans games. gonna go crazy. He's gonna go crazy, right? And I'm not saying Carmelo is on a level of LeBron, but I'm saying when you're a dude that's been at that level, it's one thing called respect. And Carmelo said, "Look, if they wanted me to come off the bench, they could have came to me and spoke with me in general, and and we would have talked about the role, and I would have been open to that." I didn't have a problem with that. That's what he said in the interview on ESPN when he went and did the interview when they asked him about that situation. They didn't do that. They did everything in a in a snaky, sneaky type of way. So when you do when you do it like that to a to a player who's prideful like that, who's who's put in so much years of service and work in the league, you're di you're disrespectful when you do that. And this yeah, agreed. Like so so I, I why I'm still waiting to hear why was he blackballed? No, he was blackballed because the, the lie was put out there that he didn't want to come off the bench. That's okay. he and, and and lot, money lot, contract lot, nothing. And a lot no. was put out there, sure. and he was unwilling to adjust his game to 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 take a, a bench that role. Was, that was, was a lie. That was a lie. You can't listen when, okay, even so, when so, so if I can if I can recap ticket. So what you're telling me is he goes to OKC, he does whatever he does. There's that interview from the preseason. Right after that happens, there's some someone puts out a narrative that says he won't come off the bench. And they reference that look when he was asked at, in right. OKC and he laughed it off. And he gets, so and he's he not coming off the bench, so don't bother. So the, he gets blackballed for a time. Eventually he says, yo, I will come off the bench. And Portland gives him a chance and he proves that he will. Oh, wait a minute, don't talk. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, don't talk. No, 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 you missed the part. You missed the part you missed. Yeah. In OKC, here's the big part of why he got blackballed that everybody don't know. Melo that year, remember, he had a $27, 28000000 million deal that year. OKC wanted year. Melo to take a pay cut at mm -hmm. the end of that, that that last year he had on his, on his contract. Melo said, hell no, nah, I ain't taking no pay cut. No, they I were pissed about that. that. So they mm -hmm. ended up trading him because he ended up getting his money. I forgot whether they put him on a stretch revision or not. But they, they ended up trading him to the Houston Rockets, uh -huh. right? 
So when well, he got that's when he went to the Hawks, right? He went to the Hawks. Yeah, he got Hawks. He got moved to the Rockets, Rockets, right? Yeah. So when he went to the Rockets, the Rockets, he was presented as coming and being a part of the missing piece of a big three with him, Chris Paul, and James Harden. But yeah, when he gets over there, when he gets over there, it's a different story <clears> with Mike D'Antoni and and Daryl Moore and those guys. And and the way they did it to him, Melo even said he said just came in and told me your services are no longer needed. You don't do that shit to no Hall of Fame player like that, bro. And just got him out of there quick. He was giving. I, it was, I think it was like eleven. I think it was like eleven games or something. Like, I think it was like eleven games. Nine games. Nine games. How many? That's it. Nine. I want to say they had a bad record, like, and they blamed, and they blamed him and said it was his fault and put all the blame on him. It was. He gets to Oklahoma City. Yeah, it was. It was. It was completely there. And don't forget, Moore's been doing that type of shit. He been well, doing that squeeze back stuff. Hold on, and this is why I get on y'all for the stuff y'all say. I understand y'all criticism of Doc Rivers, but this is the type of buffoonery Daryl Morey got going on and Chill Town. This is why I cooked your ass three the hard way last week when you came up in here when me and Fluent was telling you that there's a team that'll pay James Harden. Now guess what, sucker? James Harden has been able to successfully. Now Don want to talk about terrorists. James Harden, the biggest terrorist <laughs> walking planet Earth. This fool had five bad games. In a, in, a, in a series against the Boston Celtics, he had two two years where he basically quit in a closeout game, gets Doc River fired, now he get ready to get a $200 million plus yep. contract. I did hear about that. I did hear, I did hear that that's possible. I heard that that's possible. They said I got an appetite for him. I heard that that's possible, but I'm like, heard, I heard, I heard that I'm like ain't nobody doing that. They didn't name the team. Hold on, hold on. The 76ers doing it because Daryl Moore is running the show. And also, they're gonna try. he's going to try to bring in Mike D'Antoni, like I told you before. Which, by the way, which, by the way, when you bring up Mike D'Antoni, because we also left out another part of that tone, because if you remember in New York, with Mike D'Antoni, it didn't work between Mike D'Antoni and Carmelo Anthony. It was a bad fit. Those two did not get along. So now yeah, you get, so assistant. now so now you move you, now you fast forward two years later with Mike D'Antoni at the helm in in Houston and in James not James Harden. I'm sorry, Carmelo Anthony is on that crew. It's going to go from bad to worse, which right. is what it did. So it was a number of different things that happened with Carmelo Anthony, and I can't stress enough. We got robbed two years of him. He should be a part of the thirty thousand point club. That's facts. Nice, all right, fellas, moving on to the next super chat. AJ24 said Missoula coaching is definitely a problem, but the most glaring problem that should be talked about is Tatum and Brown, terrible ball handling security, which bleeds into their ability to play make. Well, we've always talked about Jalen Brown as a as a subpar or as, a, as an average ball handler at best. Like Jason Tatum's ball handling has, has improved to above average. Jalen Jalen Brown, his ball handling is still whack. It's still wide. It's not tight. He's not getting by guys like he should. He's still throwing the ball either off his foot or off other people's feet when he's trying to make moves. That handle is still high, and it's a high turnover rate. So I don't think that I, I don't think that that's something with him in particular that's changed. I think Jason Tatum, it's gotten better, but Jalen Brown, I think that that's been to his detriment too. All right, chat. Uh, we are at that point in the show where. All the entries are in. You guys have jumped on the polls. You let me know which picks to make and which picks not to make. So here we go. We're going to start with none other than Anthony Davis. Now we're going to go straight to points and rebounds. Chat, I asked you guys, higher or lower on total points and rebounds. Now, as you can see, points and rebounds is 39.5. You guys said lower. Mm -hmm. call, I picked chat. lower for good, something. Good call, chat. Wow, that's crazy. Next person, none other than Chill Town's GOAT, LeBron Ramon James. <laughs> 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 I asked you guys higher or lower for points and assists. At 33 and a half, you guys said lower. Good call, yeah, twice, twice. Now we're gonna go to the other team. There he is, right there, Nikola Jokic. Total points, rebounds, and assists at 50 and a half. I asked you guys higher or lower. You guys said higher. Oh, oh so they're just hating on the Lakers. Okay, never mind. Uh, lower. Last but certainly <clears throat> not least. He's been killing the Lakers all series. Jamal Murray. I asked you guys, higher or lower? Just points. Just strictly points. 26 and a half. 
Chat, you guys voted higher. Lower. He's going to have a bad he's night tonight. Bumped, the Nuggets, up, man. The Nuggets lose this game ah, yeah. and, give, and give the Laker fans false hope, and they'll finish him out in game, in game uh, five at home. Listen, I told, you at the start ah, the yeah. I told you at the start of the show, today is a holiday in Canada. It is the May 2-4 weekend, Victoria Day. We take today off. Jamal Murray, as you know, is Canadian. He will take today off. It will be yes. lower. It will be it will be lower and they will lose this game tonight. We're gonna have and some Tom fireworks will come here. All the Lakers fans will come on here again. Yeah, man, we're gonna be the first team to come back yeah, from back, maybe they're gonna get they, they gonna get a mud hole stunt in their ass and game. Oh, I hate y'all Lakers fans. You're gonna be like the Red Sox. <laughs> all right, all right, Euro. What I need you to do is put 20, 20 in the entry. <clears throat> Oh, I just want oh, you oh. to say what's up with all that kid. You know what? Wait till we get this. Hey, uh, it was. It was. I, I, I was keeping it. I was keeping it real though. That it was, was, it was hey, like the beam all the. My fault. Go ahead. Hold on. Hold up, right quick, fellas. <laughs> Chat. I'm gonna do y'all solid. I'm gonna go ahead and click that that insurance button. As you can see up top on the payout <clears throat> multiplier, uh, we're getting time six now with the insurance. That means we can go ahead and lose one of these one of these entries and still win. Still get still get our payout. So go ahead, Euro. Submit that. Yo, uh, everybody up here. We're gonna run this same thing back, but I'm gonna go around the room and we're gonna vote and pick exactly what we want to do. So we'll, we'll we'll do that in a little bit. We'll we'll go ahead and make our own our own money. But chat, your your contest is in. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, but getting back to the Lakers, though. Oh oh wait 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 one more ho, thing. Chat. Ho, 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 ho. I've been mentioning a, a giveaway. Been harping on it. Been saying we have five hundred dollars that we're giving away to anybody that signs up with the panel promo code on Underdog Fantasy, and we finally have a winner. P Hauser ninety. If you're if you're out there, if you're in the chat, wherever you are, message us on Discord, or message me personally on Instagram, or message no message me personally on Instagram. Laron.com. Find me or message the Discord. Come claim your money. P. Hauser 90. You are the lucky winner of $500. Thank you for signing up. Appreciate you. We will be doing another giveaway over the next couple days. And this one will be for a thousand. That's that's and me, Ron. That's that's my that's my that's my burner account. That's my burner account. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Me, those winnings and and donate to the GTA Maverick shoe drive. A thousand dollar giveaway. Right coming now, in. My bad, bro. I'm doing that right Appreciate now, Fluent. Thousand dollar giveaway. Sign up in the next couple of days. Those people will be entered into a hat. We'll shuffle your name around. Pick out one lucky person. Yo, fluent. Uh, can you can you plug that? Uh, I'll put that it in the chat again? right now. I'll put absolutely, it in the chat. Right absolutely. Now. All right, y'all. Moving along. Moving along. Mm -hmm. Let's get into it. Let, let's let's talk about the Lakers. Let's talk about that last game, and let's talk about their chances of. Climbing out of this. Oh, hole. oh, this is easy. LeBron Ramon James. Once again, <laughs> once again, Lakers got a one point lead in the fourth quarter. Seven and a half minutes left. You're supposed to get that game home. What does LeBron James do? Jack a lot of records. Like I've been telling you the whole series. Jacking up threes. Jacking up threes. He missed six threes again last game. That throws the game off. So now you just got to play the AD that got you a point within the game. Then you get a steal. Roy Hachimura gets fouled, makes both the free throws. That puts you up with seven minutes. And what does LeBron James come back down and do the next possession? Jack up a three. Then what happens? Right off that rebound, here comes the Nuggets. Boom. They hit a three. Then what happens? Lakers come back down. LeBron drives, kicks it, turns it over. What happens? They come back down again. Right corner. Boom. Another three. Now they're up by five. They were down by one. And from that point on, the game was lost. Again. LeBron James, down the stretch in this series, have made the biggest mistakes which have cost the Lakers these games. If the Lakers would have continued to play through AD, like Chilltown was telling me yesterday, they probably would have been all right if they would have continued to play through AD, continue to play through Reeves, and continue to play through Hachi Moore. Those are the guys that got the hot hands in this series, especially Reeves. Reeves is shooting damn near 50% from the three and almost 60% from the field in this series. Austin Reeves has been great in the fourth quarters. And not only that, Roy Hachimura has been great. Now, he wasn't great offensively for you last game, but he was giving you the energy that you needed. And he was doing enough to get by. And AD was rolling. 
It was a shame that AD had how many points at halftime? 22? 22. 22 and he at the held half. 28 points. That's an indictment on the Lakers because he didn't get fed the ball enough down the stretch in the game. Now, AD did mess up himself down the stretch because he missed the alley oop dunk and then he got his own rebound and missed the stick back late in the fourth quarter. So that helped cause the game too. But the decision making down the stretch of these games, I can't believe. Out of all things I criticize LeBron for, I can't believe that his that he's shooting those shots because normally we criticize him for not taking the shots down the stretch. But the shots he's been taking, bro, have been killers for the Lakers, bro. Go look at the games, bro. He's been killing the Lakers this series, and nobody wants to call it out. Everybody wants to point at him, or they want to point at D'Lo, or they want to point at somebody else. LeBron James, you got to close the deal. You and AD have to close these games because if you look at all the games, you guys haven't done that, man, and that's been the difference, bro. Yo, Mars, uh, can you tell us what happened in Game Three? Um, oh damn, that game was a long time ago. Um, <laughs> from what I remember, I, I only watched the game once. Um, Jamal Murray was going crazy in the first half. Um, Jokic was playmaking pretty well. He was rebounding pretty well, but he wasn't scoring very well. Um, the Lakers seemed to be pretty comfortable within the game um dealing with denver's at that point i thought it was their best punch because Jokic didn't look look like he had it um they were de- Jokic was dealing with some foul trouble i was like okay this is a game where the lakers look comfortable um then there was a time in the third quarter i believe Jokic was on the bench i think he picked up a foul on anthony davis they challenged it, it didn't work and then kcp rattled off like three makes in a row and that was a time where I feel like the momentum really switched to um, mm-hmm. Denver. Um, that was that was a big turning point for me. And then down the stretch, that Jamal Murray 1-5 pick and roll with Jokic as the ball handler, the Lakers had no chance of stopping that. And that's, that's what closed the game for me. They tried like, it seemed like they tried to defend it differently every time. And every single time, Denver just got a great shot. And then the one time that they missed, Jokic got the offensive rebounds and then drew a foul because he ended up having, um, I think it was Dennis Schroeder switched on him due to that pick and roll. So I think that was something that the Lakers just had no answer for down the stretch. And I think um, I still have the series going seven games. Um, Denver, and se- <laughs> Denver, Denver and seven was my prediction. I'm going to stick to it. Denver and seven. But um, that that KCP little run was a huge turning point. And then that 5-1 pick and roll with Jokic as the ball handler that just seems to be unstoppable. But that's all I really remember from the game. I'm probably missing a lot of key deals because that game was a very, very long time ago. Uh, Damo, you being um, a Laker fan, okay. how do you feel right now about you guys being down 3-0? And if you do want to comment on last game, you can go ahead and tell us your thoughts. And oh, I was just going to say, first things first, all congrats to the Denver Nuggets. They're showing why they're the first seed in the West. They're showing uh, – Jokic is showing again why he's a three-time MVP. Well, he should be a three-time MVP. And the fact that this team really, really is good when they are healthy. MPJ's proved me wrong yet again. Another uh, decent non uh, – double agent performance by him, which that was my call from being a double agent. This guy, I thought he was going to be the Jordan Poole of the series for us. So shout out to them. KCP playing like the guy I seen back in 2020 that helped us win the championship. Uh, Bruce Brown, Lil BB, still doing his thing, fighting, uh, still doing everything he got to do. Uh, all credit to the Nuggets. I- I'm with everybody when I say it's wild how non-Laker platforms and non-Laker funded entities find a way to keep talking about the Lakers when the series is 3-0 in favor of the Nuggets. So I'm making my duty to make sure I give this uh, those boys the praise they deserve. On the Lakers side, I mean, look, I've come to realize the whole, and I put this in the chat. I get it. Y'all all are y'all all in on this. The whole NBA community is all on this mission to just ignore. Uh, the head coach and make me look crazy. So I'm not gonna blame Darvin Ham anymore. I'm with I I'm I'm finally in on the joke. I get it. We're not gonna blame the obvious the obvious elephant in the room. We're gonna let that elephant stomp. So I'm not gonna blame him. I'm just gonna say the Laker front office people not on the court. Um, so whether it's the assistant coach, the shooting coach, the guy on the bench right behind the head coach, whoever's making a head coaching, whoever's making decisions for the Lakers, Genie. Beanie, weenie, I don't care who. Whoever's making decisions, <laughs> I, I, I want to blame that person before I blame the players. Yes, LeBron James, who I have been very, very critical of, is shooting us out another game. I don't understand the, the reason for LeBron to take these Kobe Jordan shots, to be like, I need to be the guy going when we have Rui. When we're getting these great games from Austin Reeves. When Austin Reeves is playing as well, why is D'Lo also starting with them? I don't understand it, but hey, I'm not blaming Darvin. Darvin, I'm, I'm going to blame 
Marvin. I'm you're, not, Marvin. you're not blaming. You're not blaming Darvin. I, hey, no, I won't blame Darvin. Are you sure? I'm, because you sure? Because the line detector test determined that was a lie. No, no, no. I'm not blaming him today. I'm not blaming him today. No. Nope. Whatever happened, uh, th- like Mar said, that was a long time ago. I've had time to grow and reflect and realize I've been one of the problems in the Laker uh, community. I keep pointing the finger at Darvin when it's obviously his twin brother Marvin's fault or it's LeBron's <laughs> fault or it's whoever because blaming him isn't the way to go, and that's fine. I won't blame him. I'm going to blame every person that's not on the court making decisions for the Lakers. Cool. Uh, LeBron needs to play better or at least needs to make better decisions. I kept saying y'all can go back on this platform and hear me talk about the Lakers. We need point guard LeBron. We need LeBron to attack Jokic. You can see in the chat when the game was going on, I'm asking, why are we not attacking Jokic who's in foul trouble? Why do we just go away from that? Again, it's Marvin's fault. It's not Darvin. It's Marvin's fault because we just don't coach. Everyone can look at Joe Mazzulla and be like, oh, man, obviously they're not doing something over there. But when it comes to the Lakers, Nah, 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 LeBron's the coach. So LeCoach James is out there making terrible decisions. He's out there not attacking. He's out there one moment he can just blow to the rim and lay it up, and I understand fatigue is a thing, but if you're not going to do that, let someone else attack. Let someone else go. Let someone else lead. We don't have to fall back on you shooting threes at 38 with a bad ankle yet again. So I I, I went to sleep after that game with the white flag waving. I was ready to act uh, – Ticket, you seem like a Venmo. You seem like a cat. You, you seem like a a, a a Apple Cash kind of guy. I'm a Cash App guy. I was gonna sing. I was gonna ask for your Cash App because I was prepared to pay the money. I'm not gonna lie. I was prepared to just pay everything because I went to sleep with the white flag waving because we looked done. <laughs> and then I got an alert on my phone, and I seen a video of two tall <laughs> Serbian men pointing and heckling Jack Nicholson. And y'all can say whatever y'all want about me. <laughs> the delusion was back that moment. <laughs> Lakers in seven. There's no way you let them do that to Jack and think that something's going to be sweet. It's <laughs> one game at a time, one win at a time. Mo Bamba's going to play. I got holes I, calling. See, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Like I said, I'm going down with the ship. I'm going down with the ship. I'm not folding. I'm not going to fold. I'm going down with the ship. What this boy just said is going to be even more delusional because I got the Lakers winning tonight. So after tonight, this fool gonna be acting real crazy and really thinking the Lakers can do this. When they gonna they gonna win tonight. Oh, the Lakers gonna win tonight. No, I, I, got the, oh, I got the Lakers, win, no, I, got the Lakers win, I got the Lakers winning via blowout tonight. I think the Lakers gonna win big tonight, and, and that's gonna give you false hope because they are gonna go back to Denver and get their ass whooped. Because I don't trust Denver to handle their business like that against the Lakers. But the fact that they're gonna win tonight, bro. I got to hear all these goddamn Laker fans. Like, man, come on, go ahead. Mm, mm, mm. I will say, I will say, I, I will say, <laughs> I don't condone, I, I, I don't condone none of the toxic Laker fans. Listen, people, I get it. There is a bad subsection of Laker fandom that is just like, hey, we keep them locked up in the basement. When company come over, we keep them in a the room. We don't take them out with us in public. We leave them at home. We don't. That's a bad representation of what Laker faithful is. But that's the same thing with a lot of uh, high tier fan bases. There are disgusting Celtic fans. People don't like playing playing in Boston for that very reason. There's disgusting people. There are disgusting Warrior fans, which for whatever reason they were just. I, I feel like every disgusting Warrior fan was just a Kobe fan that didn't want to stay with the Lakers, so they just flooded the uh, to the bay. I, I, I'm convinced the Warriors did not have this much fans before. But regardless, Warrior fans can be toxic. There's toxic fans everywhere. I do want to apologize for the toxic Laker fans. We were pretty disgusting ever since trading Russ. There has been a lot of narratives being pushed agendas being pushed which being down 3-0 in the western conference finals i could sit back zoom out and and really say hey man look man i, I apologize for them on behalf of them i apologize i let i fed into it a little bit i've came on here and said some crazy stuff but yeah sorry <laughs> it's all good dog it's all good i want to hear from everybody else around the room on what you guys think will happen tonight fluent with you being a fan i think it's it's I, listen, yeah. I said it on Friday. Domo repeated it today. Give Denver th- their flowers. They have been the best team, the number one team since the beginning of the season, all season long. They're the number one seed in the West. They're a Jokic, I said, and Murray are playing the best basketball. They are legit. So give them all their love. I said it on TikTok, sports underscore fluent. I even went out and gave Denver their love. That being said, I'm with Domo on this one. You, 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 you heckling, you heckling Jack. You heckling Jack. Listen, the last time someone heckled 
LeBron. Uh, I believe they were down 3-1, and everybody said, no team has ever come back from a 3-1 deficit in the finals. How'd that go? So that's all I'm saying is you got to win four. You got to win four. So as a Laker fan, I fully expect them to win tonight. But I will say this. This proves my my what I keep saying over and over and over and over and over and over again. You're typically going to get stars starring. And it's all those other guys. Sorry, I know Vando's for there for defense, but he can't go one of whatever in two points. You can't have D'Lo going one for whatever in two points. You can't have only one guy off your bench scoring double digits. Not against this Denver team. Those other guys need to step up. Coach Darvin, Terrace Ham, LeBron, whoever, needs to get those guys involved, whether it's easy layups, dunks, whatever, open shots so that they can get, get going early. Those guys are the ones that are going to make the difference. You ha- you can't be the number one seed that's this good with two or three guys showing up. Everybody has to show up and everybody has to have a big game. Or we're going to be talking tomorrow about how the Lakers got swept. I don't expect it to happen, but that's what you're that's what you need from this team. Mm-hmm. Mars, would you like to tell us what's going to happen tonight? How the Lakers get their first of four? Um, the Lakers are going to win tonight. Um, because the series is going to go seven games. That's, um, not, ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. So, yes, I mean, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Why is it ridiculous? Yes, it is. Oh, my Den- 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 Denver and seven was my prediction before the series. Oh, so Denver and seven, it will stay until I am proven wrong. Um, I think, I believe um, Jamal Murray does um, slow down tonight. I, I feel like they're not good. I feel like they're going to aggressively defend him m- not more than Jokic, but they're going to make an emphasis to defend Jamal Murray tonight. Um, LeBron James is going to make like five frees. Um, it's not going to be sustainable for the rest of the series, but tonight he's going to make like five frees. He's going to be like five for eight. He's going to look at it. He's going to look yeah. at it. And then shoot. So he's going to make like five frees tonight. So um, I expect the Lakers offense to not be great, but they're going to make shots that they don't normally make. So that's how they win tonight. Um, but instead of talking about why the, the series is going seven games, I want to ask you guys... Um, <clears throat> If Denver does win today and Jamal Murray and Jokic both plays well, who wins the conference finals MVP? Jamal Murray. Mm. Amazing question. See that I do host some shows on this channel too. I know how to ask questions. Five, five. Mm. W I host. I think it's Jamal. I think it's Jamal too. Yeah, I think it's Jamal Murray. But I want to rewind the clock and I want to say this looks like a typical number one versus number seven C in the playoffs. And the number one team looks better than the number seven team. That's number one. When I look at what Denver has done, Denver ha- coach Mike Malone has has made no bones about who his crew is. He's got an eight man rotation. He doesn't have a nine. He doesn't have a ten. He's got an eight man rotation. And this is what I'm going with. I'm going with these eight guys. And this is how we're going to win. So Jamal Murray gets going early. Not only does, J- does Jamal Murray get going early, KCP being the defender that he is slows down a lot of what they're doing and gets their transition game going gets their transition game going and and throws guys like D'Angelo Russell off the track. But the reason why I had the Lakers in five, the reason why I had the Lakers in five is simply because I thought that Anthony Davis playing the way he was playing against the Warriors, playing the way he had played against Memphis, coming into this series, he was going to give Joker hell because Joker did not have to deal with anybody, any big man that could score like Anthony Davis. Now, the inconsistency of involving Anthony Davis in the offense Early and often, we're talking about Anthony Davis, who in the third quarter went four for four, rim running like he does, not just rim running like he does, burying Jamal Murray because they took advantage of switches where they would get Jamal Murray switched on to Anthony Davis, and he would just completely dive to the box, and James would fire it to him, and he'd get buckets. They just completely went away from that in the the fourth quarter, where now we got a one-point game, I believe it was about seven and a half minutes in, and Anthony Davis still hadn't touched the ball. Yeah, I think he had touched the ball twice at that point. He had not touched the ball. So a guy rim protecting like Anthony Davis does, running like Anthony Davis does, I thought that they would involve him more in the offense. I thought that he would give Joker so much trouble offensively, running the floor, playing defense. I thought that would be the difference in the series. The difference in this series has been Bruce Brown outplaying D'Angelo Russell, who basically tried to shoot himself back in the game he tried to shoot himself back in the game in game three where he missed the long ball, got it back, and cracked it again. And he didn't seem confident about cracking it, cracking it again. He just shot it because he looked at it and he had it in his hands. So I think that this Laker team, 
I think that they win tonight, but I think that Denver goes home, and I think that they end it. This this Denver team is the most complete team. Not only are they the most complete team, even though they've had stretches throughout the season where they were bad defensively. That was another reason why I thought the Lakers could take advantage of them because they had stretches where they were bad defensively, and Mike Malone even came out and said – how bad they were defensively. He had to switch up the roster. He had to switch up the lineup because they weren't getting anything defensively. And I thought that Anthony Davis would be the difference in this series. I don't think that any of those guys took advantage of who Anthony Davis was. The fact that he stayed healthy, the fact that they could have went to him more, Denver just looks like the better unit. And I think that they end this thing in five. Now, listen, I got, I got to bounce, but and it might be premature to ask this question, but I got to put it out there because I got to go. If the And I know we're talking Lakers and Nuggets, but if the Miami Heat beat the number one and two seed in the East and then beat the number one seed in the West and not just beat them, just like how much did they beat the Bucs in? Five? Five. They beat the Bucs in five, they're probably going to sweep sweep the Celtics this if they do the same ridiculous. thing to the Nuggets? This is crazy. It would be a great playoff run. That's what it'll be. It'll be a great it's playoff run. the greatest run. playoff run ever. I don't think it's better than 95, but that's just me. If, if if they sweep, if they sweep will beat Denver in five, the Heat would have the best team playoff run ever, in my opinion. And I agree with Morris. One, you got to sweep. You, Denver? Hold on, no, hold on, no. Yeah, if they like dismantle the Nuggets. Yeah, or or the Lakers if they make it. But chill, chill. What year did you say, yeah. chill? Ninety five with the Rockets. And who did they have? Who is their who best had? player? Hakeem and Clyde. Well, Hakeem. Okay. So you can't bring up talking- you, you, you can't bring up Clyde Drexler. And the reason why you can't bring up Clyde Drexler is because when they traded for Clyde Drexler, they actually stayed they they went this way. They were under five hundred. Well, but but Clyde, Clyde, Clyde almost had a triple almost had he a was, triple double he, in the he was playing, he was playing he well. Played he played well. Yeah. He so. played he, he did play well in the playoffs. However, but, but a championship team with Hakeem and an older Drexler versus an eight seed Miami Heat team with, with Jimmy, Jimmy Butler, Butler and a bunch of undrafted dudes. Jimmy Butler and the what ifs? I don't know. It was like, <laughs> yo, is Jimmy, 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 Jimmy Butler? The, 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 the Rockets did come back from three one that year as well. Though, I guess. You can't, you can't, you can't do Bam like that, like Bam. And well, no, but like, here's yeah, the thing. Yeah, you're right, yeah, Bam. I, I keep forgetting I, Bam. Morris, right. I understand. I understand it you're adds a little bit of an all league defender. I'm still going with Miami, by the way. And when you come back from three one, it's like, oh my god, they made an incredible comeback. This, this, and this. Jimmy ain't went down three one. Ain't nobody got more than one on killing them. That was the second year in a row that they did that. Ju- too, Juli- Julius Randle yeah. too. That was the second this, year. Oh, okay. And the but, fact, and the fact that it's go ahead, Julius. No, no, because I, I, I was going to go back to the Lakers, Denver. Y'all, y'all got it. So, yeah. but, so, Yo, so when perfect I, timing, low. Perfect timing, because I was going to. I was about to bring up your name, low. Right. So, I, 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 had I'm going behind, low. I had to talk, I had to talk behind a man's back, low. So yeah, yeah, low, 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 low. You need to. Uh, yeah, you're more. Fluent. You need to make it more fluent. I'm, I'm out. Are you leaving? Go, go ahead. What was you about to say? All right, fluent. Shout out, fluent. Shout out, fluent. All right, so what was you about to say? To well, it's, it, I mean, it, this this series comes down to just like what we was talking about before, like what I was saying last week. The fact that the the Nuggets are just better than the Lakers. They are. But this is this is this is the problem with the Lakers, though. They they shouldn't be down 0-3 right now. And I know every time I bring up the Lakers, the chat goes crazy. Bob's just a hater. He's mad because the Kings lost this and that. I'm talking about basketball right now. If Darvin Ham wouldn't have listened to Low and tried to play gimmick defense. Maybe the Lakers won't be down 0-3. What? It's, it's I told I told y'all before. It's time. It's time to nut up. Gut check time. Put your best defenders on the best players. Anthony Davis isn't Darrell Revis. Anthony Davis isn't Ed Reed. Anthony Davis isn't Ty Law. He needs to guard Jokic. Uh, 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 what's his name? Vanderbilt can play. Y'all just because he doesn't shoot deep threes, y'all saying he's a, he's a liability. You put you put Vanderbilt on the yes Mars yes Mars. That gimmick shit doesn't work in real basketball. This isn't 2K. Yoki, Anthony Davis needs to guard Jokic. Vanderbilt, guard Jamal Murray. With, with all, this, all this shit that they're doing, got them down 0-3 right now. Well, here's the thing. No, 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 to get to, to to you know he, he had his number you you got to give him a chance to get his get back you know what I'm saying let AD guard him AD is the best defender you got Rui had he's he's not he's not some some free safety like play basketball 
You know, that's that's I, that's that's just my that's just my that's my logic. That's how I see it. I could be wrong, but I think I'm right. You are. Low, they're down all three. So that free safety shit you're talking about obviously doesn't work. Chill, go ahead, though, chill. Mars is up. Who who who's been guarding your kitchen? They, they've been taking turns. Rui, Rui had some always guarding him. comes off the bench. So who starts on your kitch? Yeah, but Davis. how many minutes is, just just because just because he comes off the so bench. So he's guarding him. No, no, this uh, my fault, Mars. Oh, just because just because he doesn't just because he comes off the bench doesn't mean he doesn't play good minutes. In, in no, he plays minutes, too. and yes, he's on him yeah, in the and minutes LeBron, where AD LeBron, is, okay, is there. And LeBron, sure, and LeBron James guarding him. him too, and AD so also LeBron, guards him. Yeah, but I'm saying AD needs to guard him, not just guard him. Sometimes AD needs okay, to down, when down, down, be, down, down, down the stretch of game three. No, down, down the stretch of game three. I'm not talking three. about down the stretch. He was going. I said, I said he need to be his primary matchup. I'm not talking about. He is his primary matchup. That's what I'm saying. Listen, listen to what, listen to what I'm saying for a second before y'all get to yelling and throwing headphones and jumping and screaming and shit. Listen to what I'm saying. When Jokic is on the floor, Anthony Davis needs to be right there guarding him. I'm not talking – never should anybody else guard Jokic. Okay. When Jokic is on the floor, okay. Anthony Davis should be on the floor, and Anthony Davis should be guarding Jokic. That's what I'm saying. Like you. That's what I'm saying. I'm, like, not, like I'm you, not talking about, like oh, you. well, he, start, he started, so he does guard him. I'm, ta- I'm talking about get on there and guard him because that shit, that shit y'all were talking I'm, about. I'm just saying AD he, is his primary defender. Like he, I, is, okay. He has and I, I understand that, Mars. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. But I'm talking about if Jokic, if Jokic plays 43 minutes out of 48 minutes, Anthony Davis needs to play 43 minutes out of 48 minutes. Okay. guarding Jokic. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Which is which? which, which I, I I do understand that. But when I think about what Denver has countered with, so Darvin Ham throws uh, Vando on Murray. Darrow then throws. Schroeder on Murray. Then he throws Lonnie Walker on Murray. Everything that everything that he's doing when he throws these different guys on him, there's a counter to it. They run different action. Not only do they run different action, they get Murray in spaces. Who, by the way, is one of the better? I I, I didn't realize this about Jamal Murray. Who's one of the better tough shot makers in the game? I haven't seen a lot of guys that are tough shot makers, but Jamal Murray makes a lot of tough shots. Whether it's Vando covering him, whether it's Schroeder covering him, whether it's um, Lonnie Walker covering him, whether it's D'Angelo Russell covering him, whether it's James covering him, it doesn't make a difference. He makes a lot of tough shots. And the action that they put him in, the action that they put him in counters any of these guys that are covering him. Add that to the fact that when they speed the game up, that makes it even worse because the Lakers' transition defense, which I did not realize was as bad as it is, during the regular season, I mean, I thought it, I, I thought it was bad, but I think Anthony Davis cleaned up a lot of that because of the rim protector that he is. But the but, but the Lakers transition defense and 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 where they pick the ball up at is terrible. And you can't do that against it. The reason why you can't do that against a team like the Denver Nuggets is because they're so good offensively and they're going to pick you apart. You got guys like Bruce Brown running down the gut, dunking the basketball. You got guys like KCP swinging the basketball in transition to Jamal Murray. For, for stopping pops or to Joker for stopping pops, and when they get in the half court, it's even worse. I don't mean their defense. I mean, I mean the the Denver offense. It's even worse when they get in the half court because how much action they have and the switches aren't there for the switches aren't there for the Lakers. I think that I I, I honestly feel like the Los Angeles Lakers are an inferior team to the Denver Nuggets. They just better. They are. You're correct. Uh, low. A lot of things were directed towards you. Do you want to address it, or do you have other things that are? Do you have bigger fish to fry? Oh, why did, how did Ox just leave? He probably he probably doing something. He probably I'm not something. leaving. I'm, I'm right here. I'm just. Oh, right okay, here. Okay. I'm right okay, here. yeah, he doing something. Okay. Y'all eating, oh, rubbing right now. Fucking this sandwich up. <laughs> <laughs> um. <clears throat> okay, let me address the thing that Ox said. Wait, let me let me ask. From the beginning, low. From the beginning, low. Do you do you think do you think that um what am I trying to say? Do you think they should be playing Vanderbilt more minutes? I thought that in the beginning of the series, but I don't think that it matters now. I don't. Yeah, now it's too late. But I think I, that I, I, I thought no, that in the I, beginning. I, I, I thought that in the, to answer your question, low. I thought that in the beginning of the series for defensive purposes, but I don't think that now because what I'm looking at from Denver, how they counter everything. How they counter everything that they're doing, and the fact that Jamal Murray can make tough shots. I'm not even thinking about Vando offensively because when I think about at the end of games, when the games are close, which the games have been close, for example, with the Lakers 
in game three. I mean, we got a set, I think it's seven and a half minutes, and it's a two, it's a one possession game. So we got a ball game. So when you get to that stretch of the game, Lo, you're talking about your stars making plays. I'm not really concerned that much with guys like Vando in terms of offense. I think about Dennis Rodman and guys like that. But earlier in the series, I thought that he should be playing more because I thought defensively he could affect what Jamal Murray is doing. But Jamal Murray is just so good. And that and that Denver offense is so good. And, they, and he makes tough shots that I don't think it matters. But a guy, a guy like Vando, he still mixes it up on defense. Like, I, I get what you're saying. As far as Jamal's gonna make uh, tough shots, but he's still—I mean, he's still what six eight long. Athletic. And it doesn't—and it doesn't matter, Big Ox, because he's still making shots. It doesn't matter because they still getting whatever they want. So as good as so as good as he is, as much as he can mix it up, whether he's going, whether he's trailing him on a pick and roll, whether he's whether he's going under the screen, uh, as I believe it's called drop coverage. None of that and still closing out and getting to him. None of that makes a difference because he's still making tough shots. He's still making wide open shots. So yeah, but, but, but chill, we, we don't we don't we don't know what that would look like if you stick with it. And that's what I was saying about Anthony Davis. It's the stick. It's the the coach has to be have some some form of stick with it. You know what I'm saying? You got like like bo- like boxing, yes, Mars. Yeah, no, that was a good Mars. word. I was impressed by the <laughs> word that you made. Stick with it, stick with itness. I like, yeah, like that. Was, like, that was a good like word. In, bo- in boxing, when you when you just riding that jab, it, 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 the first couple quarters it might not look like nothing, but but I mean not quarters, my bad. Rounds it doesn't look like nothing, but by right. by round seven, you done got stuck in your chin so many times. Like you, you feel that? I'm 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 of I'm of the mindset that a lot of times coaches get get they see something in the first quarter. Like, like, um, so I, I coach, but I, obviously I don't coach at like, you know, college. I, I coach AAU and stuff, you know, like teenagers, right. high school and stuff. I'm, I, I, I put my, I put my, I put that Jim Beheim two, three extended zone out there. And I might, I might have a kid that's just blasting me the whole first quarter, but we're going to stick with it. Eventually we're going to, third quarter, we're getting steals. Fourth quarters, we're getting steals are turning to layups. Sometimes you got to stick with it. Uh, Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt can, can guard him, make it harder for him. And by the fourth quarter, third quarter, maybe he gets his hand on a couple of those balls. But it's better for him to be out there. I'd rather you cook him than cook Dennis Schroeder. I'd rather you cook Vandy than kick, cook Austin Reeves. I'd rather mm-hmm. you cook Vandy than cook uh, D'Lo. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 just how I feel about it. Sometimes, and on top of that, it turns into other things. Maybe maybe second chances on offensive rebounds. Maybe mm-hmm. maybe securing more defensive rebounds. You know what I'm saying? It's like I, I just I see it a different way. I, I it's not it's I don't know. I, I've already said what I said. I, I can't really go too much deeper in it because it's really not that deep. It's really the just do, put, your best, put your best put your best defenders on them. You said the Doc, you said River, the, the Doc Rivers approach. Stick with your game plan. Eventually, it will work. Well, it's not not, not, necess- not necessarily not necessarily, but uh, I, I give I, so yeah to a certain extent to a certain extent. If 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 you. I just think that if they would have done that, they wouldn't be down 0-3. So, Mars, every every series isn't the same. So, sometimes when Doc Rivers tried that, it didn't work. And he he tried it, but sometimes it will work. I think this is one of those exceptional ser- those exceptions where it would have worked to stick with your game plan. I understand. I, I, I look, I, 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 said, I, I said this to Ron. I said this to Ron uh, the other day. And y'all, y'all can y'all can kill me. Y'all can laugh at me about this. But at some point, if I if I was um, Darvin I would have been out there with uh, with Anthony Davis, Rui Hachimura, Vanderbilt, uh, Rui, and, and either Austin Reeves or Dennis Schroeder. I would have had that lineup out there at some point. I just would have tried it. Like we we going we, we gonna go with Vandy, Rui, uh, Ad, and Brown all at the same time and see, and see what happens. We got you. I, I, this like I was saying in the uh, Phoenix series about uh about Monty Williams. I might not have to have all the answers, but we got to try something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got to try I, something. I personally don't think that's too bad of a lineup either. And and I do think Vandy gets overlooked at by the fact that he can't shoot. But I think he has other intangibles that are all right. On top of that, it's like Vanderbilt. I don't need you out here shooting anyways when we got Anthony Davis, who's supposed to be the best player on the court or second best player on the court. Undoubtedly the best player on our team. We still got LeBron James. And then we got other guys like Reeves that can get money. We got Rui Hachimura that's been killing this series. It's like Vanderbilt. What do I want you out here shooting the ball for? Do anyway? you just ignore how Vanderbilt gets defended when he's on the floor? Like, does that no, just not? No, no, does that, no, no, does that, no. Is that just something that's no, like, oh, oh no. well, it's fine. We don't need him to well, shoot. Well, you, got, you got a coach. When you he's got being coach left wide well, open, you got, people you are just got, leaving coach, the side of the court. You got a coach around that, Mars. Like, like I said before, when me and Lois talking about that, I think last week, 
I'm I, I might put him in um a, a high pick and roll dive to the rim because he, maybe he can't shoot. But he, he can't can play score. around the rim either. He, Mark, he's been around the rim on, in this series bro. and he's hit nothing but backboards. Like he has no touch. Like that's, mean, that's my my issue with Vanderbilt well, isn't that, that he can't that, shoot. That, is that you can't case, put him anywhere on the floor where he's viable offensively. The only if value if, he has on offense case, is dribble handoffs and crushing the offensive glass. That's but it. you can still you can still look. I might not be able to, and that's why I'm not a, a high level NBA D1 coach or something like that. I might not be able to do it. But Darvin Ham has to coach around that. He has to figure out a way to make that make him valuable to his team. Van, Vanderbilt he doesn't bring enough defensive. Vanderbilt doesn't bring enough defensively to have to do all this schematics to try and figure a way to make. Hey, it you you have to. That's that's your job. If, as if, coach. He, if he that's if he if he were, if he was if he was prime Kawhi Leonard defensively. I'd agree. You figure out a way to get him playable on offense. He's not that. He's a good defender, and he, he can give you solid minutes defensively. He doesn't give you enough defensively to have to work to give this many workarounds to fit him on offense. Is he? Is he? Is he at opinion. least? Is he at least some form of lob threat? Some form. No. Of, he, can't, he can't catch the ball. I'm asking, Lo. He can't. He Lo, can't. No. Obviously, obviously, Lo, Obviously, Lo, You don't have all the answers because what you told him to do didn't work. Darby he can't, Hammond, he can't you, catch the ball to be a lob threat. Either, okay, let me so, let me say let me say uh, this. Let me, let, me, let me say let me say this. Um, because Ox is just like, um, uh, I don't know if you're. I'm you're, just like talking real basketball. I'm not just talking. No, nah, if, if you're if you're if you're if you're if you're purposely are trying to, I appreciate that. You if you if you're purposely um misremembering or just don't understand what's happening, then I guess. I just don't. Understand they did they nothing. did the tactic that you were referring to in game one. It was the best offensive game that they've had all series long. They made the adjustments in games two and three. And it's some of the worst games that Jokic has played all postseason long. And they've been relatively close while doing so. Two is what, it, what ended up happening in game three is that they attempted to do what I was saying about having Rui out there, but they took Darwin, messed up the rotation, and left a lineup with Rui and LeBron on the floor without AD. And then Jokic torched them. With a post touch where he got right around um, Rui, and another one where he got to the lane, and there was no other considerable big on the floor. Nothing, no. nothing there. Nothing. So then they did what I thought they were going to always be able to do, which is they went back to putting AD on Jokic on the stretch of the fourth quarter, and then they pulled out the trump card that I knew they always had, which was playing Jokic and Jamal Murray in inverted pick and rolls. Lo, just talk, bro. You I'm not, I'm not I'm not fired, bro. You don't got to you don't got to try to slow talk me, bro. No, I'm I'm you saying I'm saying, I'm telling you what I'm telling I'm telling the chat what happened. They they understand, that, Lo. We not dummies out here, bro. I don't think so because I I have been saying this for 5 months and y'all caught y'all kept claiming I was speaking I was speaking dumb, right? So apparently y'all don't. They start running inverted pick and rolls, which I said 4 or 5 months ago. There was no answer to that. Now that we're here, you're starting to realize there is no answer to that. The reality is that Jokic is just that good of a ball player. Where you, the there is actual an oh, you can you can we can stop we can stop we can stop coaching and playing on the computer with analytics and just play <laughs> basketball. Like no. this has like, nothing well, to do I, with I can... analytics. There's nothing I said about analytics. This is this is the, the scheme that I refer that I reference to. Has been the most successful scheme against Jokic, not only in this, not only in this series, but even during the regular season. The season, the the big matchup that everybody referenced to when Jokic um when the Nuggets lost to the Philadelphia 76ers in Embiid is when um Doc Rivers went into the second half. He did exactly what I'm talking about right now, putting somebody else on Jokic and having Embiid roam. That's literally what they did, and they saw success. They saw immense success to it. Matter of fact, the reason why the Sixers lost, they blew a 3-2 lead, is because of that exact same scheme. The um, Boston Celtics, Joe Mazzula, decided to put another big out there and had Rob Williams roam while Grant Williams or Al Horford was on um Joel and B or Marcus Smart. Oh my god. Or any or anybody. That 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 scheme has worked. It's not like this is some miscellaneous scheme. Also, this is the thing that also bothers me. This is a scheme that has existed for decades now. It's a scheme that worked on Dirk in, in during his prime. It's a scheme that worked on um David Robinson in his prime. It's a scheme that Dennis Rodman was utilizing as well when he was in the Pistons. This is not a new scheme. 
And this is not me back, making you, things you, up. This you, is something you, that they you, started you talking about when they weren't playing basketball, low? Because according to you, that wasn't real basketball, right? Oh, so then let me say that as well. Right, low, right, low. The, that, different, that the, different, the, different, the difference is back then, because the reference I'm making in, co in contrast to now is that offensively, you can't get away with just putting out a number. But that's that's a that's a Vanderbilt argument. This is not like a Vanderbilt argument. But if you want me to talk about that, yeah. I mean, I'll, um, I'll, I'll, I'll say it on the open gym. I'll say I'll say in open gym. I'll say it here. Um, you can't play Vanderbilt in this series because we play real basketball in 2023, not 1990s basketball where you have illegal defense and nobody can nobody can really help too much off of a non floor spacer. So I can just put a non floor space at the top of the key, and now you can't help off of him. That 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 archaic style of defense that not, doesn't exist anymore, where anybody can, now can roam off of their man because non-offensive threats cannot play significant minutes in today's game. You cannot do that anymore. I'm wow. sorry for the people who keep but referencing why? things because, because of illegal defense. Because illegal defense, because of legal defense they changed the rules. You can't do that anymore. So when you have non-floor spaces on the floor, um, and, and literally, unless they are either A, quality screen setters, B, can shoot a three, or C, some type of passer or playmaker, if they're none of those things, they cannot play significant minutes in today's NBA. The scheming, the schematicking, the, the different adjustments that are being made today are way more complex than anything you've ever witnessed in your life because the rules that are set in place, as well as the advancements and what we see offensively from players. That's just an irrefutable fact. Okay. Well, well I, no. I, dis I, dis I disagree with that. It's nothing to disagree. No, no, no. Yes, there is. There is because there's I, literally I, nothing I to disagree with. That irrefutable, Everything that, that I just <laughs> said is not an opinion. It's an irrefutable so, fact. No, 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 no. It's, yeah, you're, no, you're disagreeing your, your with your word. Your word is not right law. You're you're refuting with two plus two equals four. I, There's nothing I agree right with there. that irrefutable fact, Low. Nothing irrefutable. On top, on top of that, I just want y'all to know that I told y'all from the jump that the Lakers could not possibly win this series. I just, you know, I, I do, but I just still think that Darvinham could have tried something else. You know what I'm saying? But once again, Lo, I refute that refutable fact. That's nothing not, refute. Not, nothing <laughs> refute. What, what do you re what do you refute about it? He's refuting two plus two equals four. That's what he's refuting. Two plus two, two plus two. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it doesn't equal four. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but no, but look, I, what, what I'm what I'm saying is, I do believe that I do believe that Vanderbilt can play significant minutes. I just think that uh, I just think his coach got to do some coaching. That's his job. He got to figure out a way to hit, he got to figure out a way to get his best on ball defender. Because y'all were the ones who convinced me that he was one of the best all ball defenders uh, in the series. I didn't even know until I started paying attention after y'all pointed that out to me, and I wanted to thank y'all for pointing that out to me, but I didn't know, and now that I see it, I'm like, well, why isn't he out here guarding Jamal Murray? The problem that we me, well, he can't, he can't play significant minutes, and I disagree. That's the problem that we have, the problem that we have, the problem that we have with, with Vando is that he doesn't need to be bombs away as a long ball shooter. That does not need to happen, but he needs to be able to knock down an open shot to at least keep defenses honest, and he doesn't do that. That's the problem that we're having with him. So, in the words of Jalen Rose, the he with us, that's him offensively because we don't really get anything from him. So, if you see him standing at the long ball line, I'm talking about the entire defense is on the other side of the floor. They're daring him to shoot the basketball. Now, if you would think that he would take one dribble in and knock down a 17-footer. If he could do that on a consistent basis, then that would be good for the Lakers because now the defense can be honest. And to add to that, when you got illegal defense, what it is today, as opposed to what it was in 1990, where Olajuwon was in the paint, Olajuwon can't stand in the paint today like he did in 1994, or like Anthony Davis is, is roaming. You can't do that today because of the zone. That's why you can't do. Back then, you could do that. You can't do that today. You have to be at. You have to be at. You have to be within arm's length of your defender because the game is so spread out. Guys can't just stand in the paint like that anymore. So when you got a guy in the dunker spot, well, he right there. So I could still I, I could stand there today as opposed to back then. So with that, with all of that being said, Vando, I think he's viable defensively. I think the problem is offensively, if we could get him to make a shot on a consistent not a bunch of shots, but if he can make one specific shot where if we put like Bruce Bowen, Bruce Bowen could knock down a corner three. That was his shot. If he could knock, if 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 Vanderbilt could knock down a specific shot, whether it's on the whether it's at the elbow, whether it's at the corner, sixteen feet away from the basket, if he could knock something like that down on a consistent basis, 
then he would be more of a threat. And I think that that would be, I think that that would help the Lakers. But we're in a position now where we're looking at a Denver Nuggets team that's just better all the way around. They're better. That is true. That is true. They are better. But y'all telling me that Vando can't be used as a slasher behind defenses, uh, be, behind guys that y'all say will leave him, that they won't pay attention to him, I think it's nonsense. If you got you got a guy like LeBron James playing in, in, in Mars and Low, y'all told me that LeBron can't play in the high pick and roll because he can't get around, he can't turn the corner. He got to play in the mid post. Okay, so he's playing in the mid post. Why can't Van, why can't Vanderbilt be on the on the on the um weak side short corner? Why can't he cut? Why can't he cut to the open spots? There's because been there's been can't. play there's been plays where he's been there and he's either hasn't caught the ball, he's fumbled the ball, or he's just missed the layup. Like he's just not he's not good off it. I don't know. I've watched it happen. He, he's not good around the rim. He can't make mid range jump shots. And even if he could, he would have to shoot at a ridiculous clip for people to actually care. Um, and he can't make he the corner. He can't make the corner three. So, like, no matter where you put him offensively, he can't catch lobs because for some reason his coordination seems to be all over. His small hands. So there just seems to be no matter where you try and put him offensively, he's just it's not gonna work. So that's that's the issue with him. Like and he's a good he's a good player to have in some series, but there's gonna be series like this where he's just unplayable. And that's and you're and you're literally asking Braun, who is an all time great passer to consistently make some of the tightest passes and windows imaginable because a man who's defending him would be literally on the weak side block knowing that he doesn't, he can just literally, Vando can be over here and I'm on the block. So even if Vando cuts, he's cutting right into me, which has also happened, which not only happened to him, but also happened to Rui a couple of times as well, where Rui gets the ball, he gets the ball, he turns around, he flash, and Vando's man is sitting right there. He's trying to do a hook shot and he's getting blocked. When you have somebody who's who is a non-floor spacer, bro, it's like it's literally you're making it ten times more difficult, especially when they're literally doing nothing. It's not yeah, like he's a passer, a playmaker. I, dis- I, 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 dis- I disagree. I think I think you flash open spots. You don't have to necessarily shoot it. You can swing it to the weak side. A lot of times, especially um, and when you got that open spot in the middle of the court, you don't catch the ball to score. Sometimes you catch it instantly, swing it. He can move the ball. I'm, what I'm saying is he, he might not be the answer, but I just disagree with him being unplayable. I just think you got to play basketball. Everybody doesn't have to score 20 points to be able to be in the game, especially if you're a defensive specialist. You have to find a way for this man to be on the court. And once again, I will reiterate that maybe I don't have the, the, the knowledge to figure out how to make him viable on offense, but an NBA coach should. And they they should figure out a way to keep keep that man on the floor. I also I want to be clear when we say offense, it doesn't have to be scoring. Um, he just doesn't do anything well. So even when it comes to passing and playmaking, he's not he doesn't do that well enough either. Like it's this this just what do you mean? He can't he he can't catch the ball here and swing it to the weak side. And yeah, everybody no. can do that. Well, well no, well, that. yeah, but he he has had the special awareness to understand like where the help it came from for him to understand what to make which one to make the right rate. Well, doesn't make does, the right doesn't, don't don't the coaches know where the help is going to come from? Uh, the, the help, the help always they can't, rotates. They can't hold your hand during the game. Yeah, I mean, in no, the middle of the game, they'll hold, rotate. Hold his, hold his hand, but that's what film is for. Yeah, but they, the way that they rotate is going to be different depending on where the positioning on the floor is at. So sometimes it may be the corner. Sometimes at the top of the key. Sometimes I'm gapping two two shooters on a weak side, and so now you just make a pass, and even if you make the right pass, because I'm gapping two shooters, I can still close out on the other one. And then now you swing it over to maybe a Dennis Schroeder, which is another problem that's happened where Dennis also was not that good of a three-point shooter. So now he's getting swung. But then if Dennis tries to penetrate, well, v- Vando is still right there. Like you're you're the things that you're asking for to make it work are like peak level passing and playmaking, which you don't the, have to be a peak level passer to catch the ball and swing it to the weak side, though. So it's move, you just gotta get the defense moving. Hmm. I mean, you just gotta get you just gotta get the defense moving, bro. It's 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 really it's really simple. All right, y'all. We we gonna move off of uh, Jared Vanderbilt and the Lakers' woes and struggles on the offensive end. What we are gonna talk about is a good question that Mars asked. He asked if or when the Nuggets win this series, if. who's gonna win the Western Conference? Uh, just what what is it? The Magic Johnson Award? Yeah, yeah the, the Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson who's Award. who's gonna win the Magic Johnson Award? Now, I just want to kind of set the table. Uh, obviously, it's between Jamal Murray and Jokic. As of right now, they're both shooting 45.5% from the three-point line. Mm-hmm. They're both shooting 52% from the field. Jamal Murray's averaging 35, seven rebounds, five assists, and three steals. Damn. Uh, Jokic is averaging 27, 14 rebounds, and 11 assists. Uh, I want to I wanna go around the room and ask everybody, as of right now, who's winning the Magic Johnson Award? Mars? 
Oh, um, Jokic has been the best player in the series. I would give him the the awards. Okay. I said Jill. I said I said Jamal Murray before, but I'm thinking about everything. That, <clears throat> sorry, everything that Joker does. I think Joker wins the MVP of the Western Conference Championship. Uh, oh, go, it, go ahead, look. Uh, yeah, it's uh, or yeah, I think Ox is about to answer, and I, I mis misunderstood this as well before. It's specifically the just for the Western Conference Final Series. That's not it. the entire. That's, 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 mm-hmm. not, yeah. not, oh, not so so it's, it's, it's just for the fi- oh, they, they, no, they should make it for the whole playoffs. I, they I should make it for the whole Western Conference Championship. That's it. It's just for the last three games, though. That's that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Or the if last just, four games. Excuse me. Just the series. If if it's just for this, if it's just for the series, then I think it's Jamal Murray. But if I I don't think it should be that way, you know. Once I don't make the rules, but I think it'd be I think it would have to be Jamal, especially uh, especially for that fourth quarter uh, in what game two. Game two, yeah, yeah. That was, that was um, I, I'm not. I wouldn't be mad at Jamal Murray receiving because he's been playing uh, fantastic. And who knows? It may come down to who has a better game four or five, if they're able to push this to a game five. But um, so far I, I do have Jokic. I just think Jokic has been a much more impactful player than Jamal Murray. Even when he's not scoring, he's just significantly better um, facilitator and quiet as kept, which I know people are not going to give him his credit. But also he's been a uh, noticeably better defender as well than Jamal Murray. But, you know. 35 and 7, damn. I mean, if you're just looking on a, if you're just looking on the surface, that sounds ridiculous. I mean, 35 and 7. And like I said, the fact that he makes – he doesn't just make shots. He makes tough shots. <clears throat> I mean, he saved them in game two with that 22 in the fourth quarter. He saved, he 100% saved them in game two. And the, the shots that he was making, I mean, those were tough shots. So 35 and seven is pretty incredible. But everything the Joker does and his ability to rebound, his ability to defend. Joker is not a great defender. Not at all. Joker is not a great defender. But the fact that he goes in there and he mixes it up. And what he does on offense in terms of just distributing. I ain't even talking about overall playmaking, but just distributing alone. I don't think that's bad. I don't think that's been matched. Hey, but chill, you said on the surface level, even when you're watching the games, you're like, damn, Jam- like, I got to give him his credit. I didn't realize Jamal was really this good. And I'm going to go to, obviously, we, 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 we know that he won that game, too. No, stop but looking like, like, like he's been doing this for seven or eight years. He the last, the la- the last he time he was in the play- in, he, the last time he was in the playoffs, he did this. So I don't know but, why. Like, no, he, 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 you he you keep saying the last time he was in the playoffs, that, he did this. After that, we still, you know. And then cut, also the low. Also the after low. After it, he, this yeah, is his first time back in the that's playoffs. That's the point, though. Coming off an of injury, we yo we doubted KD coming off an of injury. We doubted Clay Thompson coming off his ACL in uh, right, 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 Philly, sir, right, Philly. So that's but and that's right what I'm saying. Soul, you, right? You're gonna doubt people when this they isn't come in off Achilles injury. though. It's, it's <laughs> but, an AC, it's an ACL, but I'm I'm just saying though. Still, we haven't seen enough of Jamal Murray to be like we know that this dude's gonna do this on the west on the biggest stage that he's played on. So right, I'm like, Mar- bro, I didn't I, I didn't expect him to come. Here's the thing: I expected Jokic to ball out. Right. I, I, I expected some of the others to get down. I and why is that? Ramon? Why, why did you expect? Why did you expect Jokic the ball? The three time in, or two time MVP Pop, right. could have been three. He's right. what a lot of people say the best offensive player since. Right. But most importantly, Steph Curry. So like five years. But, yeah, but not, most not importantly, <laughs> you've seen him in the playoffs in the last couple exactly. of years. Yeah. As opposed to Jamal Murray, I mean, Lo, you talking to us like this is a no brainer. Like he's been doing this for the last five or six years. You said that the last time we saw him, he did it. That was three years ago, coming off a major injury. He tore up his ACL. We didn't know what he was going to look like coming back. And Lo, it's not no way you look like coming back. Expected this, Lo. If you say you expected this, did you expect this from Jamal Murray? Against us, thirty-five a game. Thirty-five a game, Low. That's yes. Me. Low. You make, what because you because the way you because the way that he low. scores. First of all, like I, be, I told y'all last time, I was low. Here, I think that he's trolling. I think he can play better than this. So you think? He I don't even think this is. I don't even think this is the best version of him. Low. So you think oh, he could? You think you think he could be no 40, 40, 40 you, you think he could be forty forty plus against, a game in this series? against specific against us, the Lakers against yes, let's take everybody play, else off the table. He could be We're playing talking better. Specifically about the Lakers, you think that he could be forty plus a game against? Yeah, I, I like last game where he went basically like like five points in the in the second half. He would thought it out could have been doing better than that. They 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 again. It took him up until the fourth quarter of game three. For them to finally start running inverted pick and rolls, I have been saying that that's something that they can always be doing for five months now. They waited to the end of a game three to for them to finally pull it out. They haven't even ran their real sets yet. 
you keep saying and inverted really pick, you, are you saying inverted pick and rolls where Joker is not a primary ball handler as opposed yes, to Jamal Murray? Yes. Well, they've been doing that. That's not news. I mean, they what, in this if series? I'm not, if, if, not not in this series, but oh, if I'm not yeah. mistaken, there's plenty of times where Joker is is running the pick and roll with the four man. With Aaron Gordon. So that's been a Why are y'all calling that inverted pick and roll? I'm going to start pick and roll. Because the primary ball handler is the guard. He's a, he's the big man is the guy who's – and, and the big man is the guy who normally either picks and pops or picks and dives. But if you're doing it the other way, you're inverting it. You, you, now you got the you got the big fella handling the basketball, and you got the guard now picking, popping, or picking and diving. Hmm. That's the idea. Yeah. But, I mean, again, Lo, we, 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 we could talk all day about how good Joker is, but – this Denver team, all the way around, everything that the Lakers have done, everything that the Nuggets have done, the Lakers try to counter, and the Nuggets have a counter for that. Everything. Mm-hmm. And, it, and, and, and I'm thinking of things that they could do possibly. The only thing that I'm thinking they could possibly do is just keep playing, and maybe this thing will turn around. That's it. <laughs> That's where I'm at with it, Moss. That's where I'm at with it, Moss. Just keep playing, and, and you know, chill. this thing could turn around. If Jamal Murray playing like this, it's nothing they could do. Dude came out in what he scored in the first half? 30. 33. 30 in the first 30, 30, half. And then in the, in the second half, it's like he, he disappeared in the third quarter. Disappeared more to the fourth quarter. And then came out and closed the game with a big three, a couple of layups and stuff like that. Bro, if he's killing like this, it's nothing you could do. Like, yeah, you can you could possibly counter Jokic and what and everything he brings to the table. But if Jamal Murray's playing out of his mind too, then it's like, bro, it's just <laughs> – it's nothing you could do. You could possibly counter your Possibly, Jokic. though. I said possibly. Oh, it's a chance. y'all are hilarious, if, look, man. If it's, just Loki, if it's just Jokic going crazy, you might have a chance. But if Jamal Murray's doing this, too, playing at a, at an all-NBA level, hey, just book your tickets. Get get the little floaties. Get some light vests. Get Buy, buy some buy some uh, beat shirts, whatever. Just get ready to go to Cancun. So, so right. what's, what's the narrative if Jokic wins a ring, finals MVP, whatever, with a team that has zero people who have ever been an all-star, zero people who have ever made an all-defensive team, zero coaches who have ever won coach of the year, zero players who have ever made the all-NBA team? What's the narrative with Jokic if he wins a championship Yo, ticket, with this team? Ticket, ticket told me he'd be top 12 all the time. So that's what I got to go Because a lot of people care about those all-stars and stuff. So what's the narrative with Jokic? I do. Lars, I'm, I'm one of the people that do. But I'm not giving Jokic this narrative with the no all-star thing. Because Jamal Murray, first off, he's still relatively young. Second off, he was deprived of a couple years. No, I'm, I'm going to get to it. He's, he was deprived of a couple years due to an injury. On top of that, we're seeing the level he could play at right now. So I don't want to hear that he's not playing with no All-Stars when he's playing with an All-Star caliber player. Who right now, at, in terms of point guards, I don't know a point guard that's played better in these playoffs than Jamal Murray. Well, Respect, respect Gabe Vincent. But I don't know, yeah. <laughs> Gabe Vincent, man. Well, oh, man. <laughs> uh, he's not a he's not a he's not an all star. He just he's he's been great um in these playoffs though. Well, he's been great and he's he's a playoff performer. So all in all credit to um Jamal. But um no, I still but even even if he is an all star, even if Ron wants to say he's an all star, I, I guess. Um that's still relatively lesser talent than most players have when they're winning a championship. Is it though? So if you look, if you look at if you look at, at yes. Jamal Murray, where is where is Jamal Murray in yes. the pantheon of point guards? I think he's in the Jalen Brunson, Darius Garland. I think he's in so bottom ten at best. Yeah, yeah he's, I, he's I, the bottom I, half I, of the top ten. I, like you'd I, I be think reaching that... if you tried to get <clears> six. I think he's like yes. no, right? Eight to twelve. So, so that that's where he is in the pantheon. Now that's why I said that. I, that's why I had Joker as the league MVP this year because I looked at all the other guys and what they were playing with and what Joker was playing with. That doesn't mean that Jamal Murray was whack. He still was playing at an elite level. But what Joker was playing with, as opposed to what Giannis was playing with, as opposed to what Joel B was playing with, it was different. It was completely different. And with Joker winning the NBA champion, if Joker wins the NBA championship this year, if he if he wins the NBA championship this year, if he wins the finals MVP, so that's he won he won the he won the league MVP two times in a row. The next year, his team won the NBA championship, and he was the finals MVP. Well, we'll start the conversation where he's the best player on the planet. We'll start the conversation with that, and the reason why we're starting the conversation with that. The reason why we're starting the conversation with that because we do the same thing with everybody else. If you rewind the clock back. In 2001, in 2002, who won the league MVP? Tim Duncan. Who won the league MVP in 2002? Tim Duncan. Who won the NBA championship in 2003 and the finals MVP in 2003? Tim Duncan. Who was the best player on the planet? It was Tim Duncan. 
We did the same thing with Kobe Bryant, moved the clock forward. He won the league MVP in 2008. They won the NBA championship in 2009 and in 2010. He was the finals MVP. He was the best player on the planet. We did the same thing with LeBron James. We're going to do the same thing with Nikola Jokic. The exact same thing. We ain't cool KD the best player in the world. We didn't call KD the best player in the world when when he won back to back championship. He, he and I'm glad you brought that up, Miles, because he won back to back championships and he won back to back finals MVPs. Did he win the league MVP the year before that? No, a couple of years before that. You're yeah, a couple of years before that, but I'm talking about a pattern here because we did the same thing with Giannis. Giannis won the league. We, we did the same thing with Giannis when he won the league MVP in back to back seasons and then won the NBA championship and won the finals MVP. So LeBron and KD, was the best player. And, and, and KD was and KD was in the conversation as the and KD was in the conversation. I didn't think he was the best player on the planet. You thought it was I did not think it. I thought it was. I, I still thought it was James, but he was very much in the conversation that that he was the best player on the planet, especially considering that he had won the Finals MVP in back to back seasons and they had beaten Cleveland. So that if Jokic, very much if, you, if, you, if Jokic doesn't win, or he do, or they do win and he's not Finals MVP, is he still the best player in the world? To you? Or is it only if he wins and wins Finals MVP? I think that Finals MVP, Mars. I think that seals it. I do. I I, I think that. But I, I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm not you're saying that. Troll, not. Mars. You're I'm, not saying, I'm, I'm asking saying, the questions that need to be asked. Oh my god. I'm not saying that. Champ dub host for Mars. To answer your question, Mars. I'm not saying that he's not, but I think the Finals MVP seals it. You're such a troll, Mars. I can't. I can't. I'm I can't. asking the important questions. Man, man. That's not Mars. You're such I think, I'm, I, I'm I, I, I think to, 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 to put it in perspective, Mars, I think that if he wins the finals MVP, I don't think that – I think that if he doesn't, there's a conversation. But if he wins it, considering what he had just done – and the, and the two league MVPs, I don't think that there's a conversation. It has to be that. Oh, it, Chilton, it would be definitive. Yeah, Chilton, let okay. me ask you a question before Lo say something, because uh, I've been listening. Um, who do you think is leading the the, the uh, Nuggets right now in this series? And points? That would be that would no, be Jamal no, 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 Murray. No, 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 no. Who do you think is like leading the team right now? In the, oh, who's their leader right now in this series for the Nuggets? Who's lead, who's leading the, the the team right now? I still think Joker is their guy. I do. You you miss you miss it already, ticket. We, we answered the question of who would win fin, uh not finals um Western, Western Conference, Conference Championship finals, MVP. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I still think I, I still think Joker is their guy. I do. Okay, well you you you're a cap and ass Negro. Why? <laughs> Again, uh, you haven't watched what Jamal Murray's been doing. I've and absolutely watched what he's been Jamal doing, and I can't fight the thirty-five Murray, and seven. I will Jamal not fight that. If he does not do what he does in the fourth quarter of the other game, they lose. If he doesn't come out and set the tempo in the last game, they possibly lose that game. So you he want has, to take this? So you want to take this? He has controlled the series with his ability to <clears throat> demolish anything the Lakers have put in front of him. For the most That's part not true, Ticket. That's not true. That's not true. Because basically what you're telling me is you're telling me his ability to score has been the difference. He had five points in the second half of the game on, yesterday. Come on, come meanwhile, jo on, meanwhile, Joker, me, meanwhile, meanwhile, Joker, meanwhile, meanwhile, Joker, meanwhile, I'm glad you brought. I'm glad you brought up the impact. His impact why, in the first half. Why did you keep saying his impact in the first half? It wasn't like they blew him out. I mean, we got, we got, we got. We got, we got I, I said, the, I told him the exact got, same thing. We got a one possession game. Ticket like was seven down. and a half minutes on the clock. Joker gives down. them 15 points in the fourth quarter okay, and, okay, and three or four more rebounds. Chill. Let me ask you a question. If Murray doesn't come out like like that, because the rest of the team was flat. The rest of the team, you can look at him. Jokic was two of eight from the field. The rest of the team was flat. Nobody was doing anything except for Jamal Murray. He was really the only one that was doing something in that first half, right? So if he doesn't come out barbecuing the Lakers like that, right? Do you think that the Lakers had a better chance of going in a halftime controlling that game? They did. They they would have had a better chance. And okay, not so just not, on, not, not, not. So what I'm saying is, is this. I'm sorry. I believe, I believe that if Jamal Murray doesn't do what he did, mm -hmm. I think that the Lakers potentially crush Denver in the first half, especially with the way Jokic was playing. And the fact that he was in foul trouble in right. that game, right? right? So, without his his performance, what does that say? What does that do to the? What does that do to to the uh, 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 Los Angeles Lakers right. without his performance? Right. Without, oh, to the Denver Nuggets. Right. It, so I, no man's land. Hold on. There in no man's land because, going, because KCP didn't have it going. He mm -hmm. didn't get it. He didn't get it boom until late this, late in the fourth quarter. Right. Or oh, in the fourth quarter, excuse me. Right. Michael Porter Jr. Damn sure wasn't doing nothing. He was playing like garbage. Right. Bruce Brown was nowhere to be found in the first half. Mm. And I know Lou Lowe's looking at the stats right now. He ain't going to say nothing. <laughs> so, 
So yeah, mm -hmm. look up as much as you want. Write it down and take a picture, Deacon Low. I'm on mm -hmm. your ass, boy. So like I said, at the end of the day, right. Jamal Murray have been the driver, and this is the type of shit that used to happen with Kobe and Shaq. When Kobe was out here goddamn cooking, carrying games, all this other stuff, but you hand the finals MVP to Shaq because he was the most legend dominant. Mm -hmm. but, the, but and everybody says, oh, well, Shaq carried Kobe. Well, no, no. If you realistically look at this, Jokic has been bad in many parts in this series. To the first two games, fourth quarters, and in the whole first half in game three. The whole right. first three quarters pretty much in game three. He was bad. And then he came on in the fourth quarter. I give him that in, la in the last game. Right? right? But Jamal Murray had pretty much already did the damage to the Lakers, and he'd already set a, a mindset that had the Denver Nuggets – so I could so with, with that being said, ticket, I could use the same logic that you yeah, use. I've, I've already told, I already okay. talked to him about this. I've talked to him about this already. My, my, my question, my question is going to be awesome. Same, I, 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 I could use the same logic. In fact, not not only can we use Jesus. the same logic, you're Jesus. the one who Jesus. used that logic with Jokic in Game One when, when he Thank had you. ten rebounds in the first quarter. That Thank was the, that, that basically. That's set one the game. Hold on, hold on. I said for the majority of the series, I didn't take away that. All you brought up, all you brought up was Game Two. That was it. I know. I brought up Game Three too, sucker. No, you didn't. You I only said brought up we one did game. in the first half of game three and in the fourth quarter of game two. What the hell is wrong with you? So you so can, wait, wait, ticket. Can you not argue what Jokic did in the first half of game one? That's one got, game. I'm, I'm about to finish it. I'm about to finish it. What he did in the first half of game one, where he dominated them on the board so much so that you said you you said that at the end of that game, if they continue to get dominated like that, they ain't got no chance. Then in the third in game three, where even after Jamal Murray had the avalanche of points of what he had in that first half, they were only up by three points. But they act, were, oh, wait, yes. I let you talk. I let you talk. I let you talk. And then after after that first half, they didn't Jamal Murray didn't go scoreless in the third. They didn't lose the lead. And then it took Jokic's fourth quarter. Where he had 15 and was basically generating every single point what that they had to generate. Yeah, he had seven. seven. He had yeah, seven. But hold on, no, low, low, low. No, no, that's but seven. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not. I'm not saying that Jamal were, Murray went scoreless. Points, but the but the two shots that he made in the fourth quarter came from Jokic. He he us he, he he facilitated both of those shots. He got easy looks because of Jokic, right? So because of Jokic basically generating almost all of the points that were scored in in, in the fourth quarter, that's the reason why they were able to pull that off. The capping ass. Boy, you a capping it, man. Go ahead, man. Why, 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 why is people? Why, and there's nobody capping here. These are the bro, facts. See it. this, man, bro. You see what you're talking about? What are you talking it's about? We said he had 15 man. points last night. Open the fourth quarter, man. Yeah, 15 in the fourth. You think it's Joker? Think you think if we take them 15 points that Joker had in the fourth quarter off the board that they win last night? They no, don't. They don't, don't win. Do you talk about? I'm seeing the same thing you see. Get your the same ass thing you see. All you keep doing is talking about everybody lying. Your, your word ain't the Your word ain't the gospel. You watch basketball just like you do. You some glasses. You don't need to give me no glasses. You just blind. fine. You blind. I I'm see just fine. The 15 oh. points he had in the fourth yeah, quarter. Man, Take them points off the board. The Denver Nuggets lose that game. They're losing. They're losing that game. You what are you talking about? Also, also, also he's not he's not he's not gonna tell y'all how horrible Jamal Murray was in the first three quarters of game two. He was egregiously bad. Right. And you get time out. But what I'm saying is, is that the, for the most part of this series, Jamal Murray has been the bigger player in this series. No, he has These not. Are I, 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 honestly, I, I agree with Ticket. I'm Y'all like, so you, you, ass, yeah, you, you got lying ass. Bro, man. So, it, up to, it was, so, it was, so, so, so in the fourth quarter of game two, going into the fourth quarter of game two, that, 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 that 22 he had. He was pedestrian at best. He was he was, he was terrible. He was pedestrian at best no, going no. into the fourth quarter. Lotus and he got going. I ain't done. And he got going, making really tough shots. But didn't Lotus Lotus very much tough shots. Didn't one hundred percent. Yeah, so because he trolling, that, that means he had a bad game. He was trolling. <laughs> what was Jokic doing, nigga? Up into that, oh god! A uh, Jokic in game in game two had a bad fourth quarter, but really he just allowed Jamal Murray to cook. In but game one and game two, Jokic had bad fourth quarters. Okay, so again, if you're telling me Jamal Murray can have three straight bad quarters in game two, but then that makes up for how bad he was, which if you want to say that's fine, but all to make it seem like Jokic wasn't playing good in, in basically all of game one except for eight minutes that he played in the fourth and all of game um two except for the – how many minutes he played in the fourth? He played the whole game. He played the whole fourth no, quarter last night. Been watching basketball. He played the whole fourth quarter last night.
No, I'm talking, I'm talking about um game. I'm talking about game um game two. The nine minutes he he played in game um two in the fourth quarter. Right. And then if again, if you hold the fourth quarter that valuable, then undeniably last game um Jokic had a better fourth quarter. And I, I don't even think that should be up to now, he did, and, and, and of course the, the only and, reason why they was in the game and the dude who has been the most impactful in this series right has been Jamal Murray. But and can't I you think, argue? Can't you argue that for Jokic from the first two games? No, no, no. But ticket, can you can you just answer that? No, can you saying, not argue that for Jokic forget, in the first two games? Did. Murray's had games of double figure rebounds too in this in this series. But I let me give y'all last even more. Hold on. I do. I think it was game two. Last even more. I think he just had one game. Hold on. Yeah, this game two. That's it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Hold on. What was what was his stat line last game? Hello. Uh, I mean, thirty-seven points. How many rebounds and assists? Thirty-seven, six and seven. He he didn't have oh, double digit. Oh, oh! You said oh, double digit. You said double digit. What are you? Are you? Are, are did you he really just? Did he not just say double digit? Are you really? And not and not only that. Are you really Those sitting here telling me that thirty-three, six and seven is more impactful than one? No, 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 no. Okay, no, let's say no, okay, let's say thirty-seven. Are you sitting here telling me that thirty-seven, six and seven is more impactful than twenty-seven, fourteen and twelve yes, for the well, series? Is that what you're saying? Oh, here's what. Hold on, what is Murray averaging for the series? 35, 7, 35, and, 7 and, and what, 3? 5, something five, like that? Five, 35, five. 7, and, and y'all motherfuckers, up, man, y'all niggas. Don't, hey, don't forget man. the three steals, Hey, hey listen. Ron, <laughs> three steals, y'all three steals. Hey, Ron, three, three three steals. When, they hand, when, they hand the, when they hand the West Conference MVP to, to, to got dag on uh, uh, Jamal, Jamal Murray, Murray. Mm-hmm. I'm going I'm to come on here, I'm going to destroy this nigga low. I'm going to destroy his ass. <laughs> the, other, the, other, the other player that we're talking about has double the rebounds, double the assists as well, more blocks. Yeah, okay, guess and, what? The voters, the voters see what's going on with Jamal Murray. Huh? We see it too. Ticket. Nobody's discounting nah, what Jamal Murray. I'm about to say no one's discounting. Nobody. No, no one is discounting that Jamal Murray has been a better score. No one's no thirty five. Yeah, he averaging no, thirty five yeah. a game. Nobody's that. Nobody's just crazy. that Jamal Murray has been a better score. Really? He averaging thirty five a game. game. But, but if you if you actually know basketball, if you know basketball, it's more than just scoring. Which is way more than just scoring. In a way, in a way, in a way that um Jokic is being defended. He's getting way more attention than Jamal Murray is as well. So I would hope he would no, score bro, more. You got glasses. You can see the game. You trolling. Chill Town got that Joe Missoula vision. He got that cocky ass. You know what he doing. Nah. Cut your ass out. You capping, nigga. Like I said, I, 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 like I, like I said everything, everything the ticket says is the guy. They get Murray. Everything the ticket. They get Murray none of us. I don't know basketball. I don't I know what I'm talking about. I told you reason why 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 everybody is. Period. Long, long, long story First of all, that's a rumor. Let, can, can we get to the bottom of that? Well, that is a well, rumor. You come on like, here telling us like low, that's the gospel. Let me, sure, let me make sure. Let me make sure. Let me make sure I'm clear. There is an appetite for a two hundred million dollar no, contract. It's James an appetite. Hard, does that mean that? Do, does that mean that that's going to happen? Yes. As low. An appetite. As low. Is that what you're telling me? I don't even know what's low. going on right now. Wait, low, James, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, Ron. Hey, low. Is James Harden getting two hundred million this offseason? Uh, if Philly's desperate enough, probably get your so. ass down, uh, grill. What? Town. <laughs> if, get the if, hell out of here! If Philly's desperate enough, yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, let me, only let me, only let me. a only a dummy is giving James Harden that money. Not yeah, saying right. he's yeah. not, yeah. not saying he's not gonna get it. Yeah. Yeah. Ticket, yeah. ticket. Yeah. ticket. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying this. I'm, I'm not saying he's not gonna get it. Ticket. I'm not saying that. Punch all that I'm ticket. saying, all I'm saying is that if he do get it, get it was a way, dummy yeah. that gave it to him. That's hey, all. Hey, I'm hey, well, it's two dummies out there. One of them's in Philly, and the other one. Hey, shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out to Jay the activist. I I know Jay that they don't understand how often Jamal Murray's been setting setting up. And also, you're getting quality looks because they're not either a de- they're not they're not they're not defending him the same way you're defending that's Jokic cool. or B. That's just oh you th- you think that they're defending Jamal Murray the same way they're defending that's Jokic? Last game. <laughs> of course they're not. You can't you can't okay. defend uh. Jokic the same way. You can't. But I'm if you play, if you play who who getting who's getting more? <laughs> how about that? How about that? Bro? Who's, who's getting, getting more defensive more? attention? Oh, Jokic is always going to get more defensive attention. Okay, man, I think you could that. damn near put Jokic on the floor with anybody in the NBA, and he gets more defensive attention because he's okay. better than all of them offensively. So yeah, you can say that, but that which is the point. That, that, no, and I get that, but that still doesn't take away from everything Jamal's done. 
I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to. No one knows taking away with it. Thirty-five a game. You can't take anything away from anybody averaging thirty-five. Not taking away averaging thirty-five a game. Like, what are we talking about? We're putting in context the 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 point discrepancy. Where of course Jokic isn't going to put up 35 a game because he's not being defended that way. He's not being defended in a way in which he's going to be able to put, get off 35 points a game. And because he's not being defended that way, it's the reason why he can then turn around and average 11 so, assists. So That's why. Is out there against no defense and dropping all these big. Nobody said saying he's that. playing no Nobody defense. I know, no, 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 I know you get emotional about it, ticket. I know you get emotional about it, ticket. I know. Is Jamal Murray been hitting some of the toughest shots we've seen? He's starting game one. Hitting them tough yes, ass right. threes on LeBron yes, and everybody right. else. He yes, came right. in the game too late. Then he came to game three, cooking your ass from the beginning. Cut this mm-hmm. shit out and, and finish in the fourth quarter with seven big points. So cut it out, man. Uh, all right, right so we, the, we the, got, the we seven. Got a- wait, 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 I'm gonna be good. The seven points he got was yeah, a bro, wide open three that he got set up by Jokic, and then when he cut to the basket, Jokic passing the ball again, set up by Jokic. These big, oh, the, oh every, it was all set up by Jokic. But you got it. You got it. All right, y'all, move, moving along, because we're not going to know until tonight. Tonight will really determine – well, it won't determine if, if they lose because it will still be more games. But tonight will really tell us a big tale because the thing about it is Jamal got to keep balling too. Jamal has to turn in another monster performance for him to get that finals MVP or the Eastern Con- Western Conference. Western Conference, MVP. yeah. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. In the meantime, we got a lot of Super Chats to get to, uh, 142 to be exact. Hey, so Jesus. All right, well, reason, I'll man. catch y'all later, man. Put <laughs> your ass on, Deacon Low, with all that hate. Hey, man, shout out to Jamal Murray, shout out to the Nuggets. Oh, yeah, y'all should talk more about their defense. Their defense has actually been really great. I, I got a video coming out on Low today, y'all. Y'all, y'all worry about it. Right. I know did some dirty slander to Jamal Murray. I, I got his ass, though. Don't worry. No, never slander. Shout out to shout out to um the defense because they've been playing great, 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 great defense. You know, people don't want to admit it. Really great. What you got? What you what you got, Ron? Big Tony said, "What what are the Lakers a seventh seed? Have higher expectations against the first seed. Meanwhile, Boston, a second seed, is getting dominated against the eighth seed. Is it because the Lakers got a thirty eight year old LeBron? It's because the Lakers are the Lakers. That's yep, why. That's why. That's why. And people are delusional. If but Boston, but Boston is by far the most disappointing." On team in the playoffs this well, year. Well, you the same. At dude, first, I thought it was gonna be Philly, you're but no. Nah, so the box just gagged notes. I got you well, on tape. Giannis was in the no, second no, round. No, said, oh man, they, this team going all the way. I, you just said it in the second round. Don't say you didn't say that. I got you on tape, who, who, who? You said the Lakers are going in the second round when they was whooping up on Memphis. You was like, oh man, they going all the way. I got your ass on screenshot saying it too. Even don't I don't see that. In the private chat with a, with a group, don't lie. Even 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 I, even I don't believe that. Even okay, I, I got you. Don't oh, you talking talk about when I? Are you talking about when I was in the um in the, in the, in the chat tech chat? Us, in the private chat with us, you told us with, in the second round when the Lakers was walking through the Memphis Grizzlies, you was like, "Damn, these guys going all the way." You mean the Warriors? Uh, you mean the no, Warriors? He said the Lakers. Yeah, the Warriors. Excuse me. He said they going all right. the way. That's not what he said. Oh uh, well, I got him on screen. Right here on my phone. You taking a screenshot of me? You taking a screenshot of me trolling? I guess. No, you ain't trolling, nigga. You was happy. You was staying serious. Yeah, I was trolling. All right, man. I catch y'all later. Yeah, Yoki Murray. Yeah, Yoki Murray is a symbiotic relationship. It is a symbiotic relationship, similar to Carmelo and John Stockton. But people just look at numbers and they want to make arguments off of numbers and not actually watching Mm -hmm. basketball. But all right, I catch y'all later. Oh, you leave easy, low. I wasn't. I wasn't ready. I wasn't done cooking you, low. AJ24 said, also, Brown being a quote-unquote great defender is just solely off reputation at this point. That's what, def- that? that's what defense is. It's all reputation for most people. Jaden Brown's just another person. I don't think people call him great anymore. That's what I was about. That, that was where I was going. That's what I was going, Miles. I, mean, I don't even when he, what, They ducked the matchup. They've been ducking the matchup with Jimmy. I mean, he took the he took the he, he took, Jimmy to dudes like Grant Williams, man. man I don't respect them. Right. Guys, he he, he took the he took the matchup with James Harden, but then when when Jimmy Butler on the floor, instead of right. instead of demanding that matchup, he he won't do that. Moving along, indoor voices said, "Y'all think the Lakers are done?" Adam Silver creating a bronze best goat case as we speak. Three zero comeback. That's undisputable. Let Silver cook. That's why it's going to seven games. Let the conspiracy <laughs> theories. Let the conspiracy theory stop. Five. They're gonna let him. I think it's five. I'm with. I'm with ticket on this. I think they win tonight, and I think they end it in Denver on Wednesday. It's yeah. over in four. Well, all, all, only thing is, play the series. If you got an injury, that's it. Seven game series. 
Abel Shaw said, I don't give a fuck if Jimmy wins a chip with this squad and who he beat along the way. He should be considered to be the best player in the league. That's fact. No. Last no. night, I said, if you win the chip, if he wins this chip, the way he running through the teams, you can't you can't take it away from him, bro. He got to be at the top of the food chain because he did something that a lot of other guys couldn't do. I don't think KD could do this. I don't think Kawhi with this team he got right here could do this. He and I'm talking move. about all the way across the board. I'm talking about motivating. I'm talking about leadership with this type of team he got right now. This same team. Well, ticket. Look at look ticket. Look at look at look at that Brook. You think that Brooklyn team that KD had, even when Kyrie Irving got hurt, you think that Brooklyn team was better than this Miami Heat team? Uh, the way they're playing right now, no. Because they play two together right now. Right now, everybody's locked. So up. not not even right now, ticket. We talk like like when the playoffs start. Kyrie Irving gets hurt, right? Let, let, let Kyrie Irving is Kyrie Irving got hurt. The way that that Brooklyn team was rolling, they lose to this Heat team. Mm-hmm. Bro, the Heat team, bro, they, they, they bro, they walking through everybody. Yeah, they are. They would have yes, walked through the Knicks if, if if Jimmy didn't get hurt in game two. Yeah, that series is not coming back to New York. It's all right. Over. So you mean to tell me if you were to the playoffs, they beat everybody in five or four? Bro, that's insane. Percocet says, shout out to playoff Jimmy. Do you guys think he's playing even better than when he carried the heat against the Lakers in the bubble? Yes. Mm, I, do. I don't know. Because in the bubble, he was getting 35-point triple doubles. In one series. Ticket, oh, he averaged 37 against the team that everybody thought was going to win the NBA championship. He averaged 37 against the, uh, the best yeah, perimeter defender in the game. Yeah, but I also two and a half games that series, too. So. Yeah. But he him. was, but he was going up against the best defensive player at the. Oh, on he the just, oh, he dismantled his ass. And he smoked him. So, he smoked him. a tribe called Lynn said, "Start bench cut best Nuggets of all time: Alex English, Carmelo Anthony, Nikola Jokic." Start. Uh, well, we seen Carmelo. We seen Melo right here. We've seen Melo at this point in a, in the Western Conference Finals, mm-hmm. in a Game Six against Kobe Bryant and the Lakers. Mm-hmm. Uh. But I was also, see, also, that. also seeing Alex English, and then we seen him in the game five against the Lakers in the Western Conference Finals in '84. Right, but I'm start, I'm start, we starting Jokic, bench mm-hmm. Melo, and cut uh, Alex A- English. English. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody there with that? I'm cool with that. Yeah, I have no problem with that. All right, TMF Willie said, "What's up, y'all? I'm in a heated battle with my homies right now in the group chat. Can you can you please explain to these mofo's?" Why watching highlights makes you a casual? Mar- watching highlights doesn't make you a casual. Like anyone can watch highlights, you can just enjoy watching the highlights. Judging players and saying this player is better than this player based on the highlights is what makes you a casual. Because if you're only judging someone based on the good times, you're not even judging a player. You're just judging the highs of a player, which is that's just not objective. That's just so. What are, so so what am I judging them off of, Mars? Mm-hmm. I'm judging, judging them off the highlights. Yeah, you're just judging them off which the is, good movements. Which, that's which, not that's not how you judge is, someone. Right, which is mean I'm judging them off what I'm watching, which is the highlights. So that makes yeah. me casual. Yeah, but just watching the highlights just to enjoy the highlights is fine. But that's different. Highlights, yeah. Right. If you're just watching the highlights and you ain't really saying, uh, "Yo, he good. Yo, he good." That, that's what. As opposed to, "Yo, he better than him" because of pop, 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 and the highlights. Yeah, no, that's different. Yeah, I got yeah, it. We, we, are, we all hey, watch highlights. Hey, hey Mars, let me ask you a question. Who who has Murray been guarding this series? Um, it was Austin Reeves, and then it's been Dennis Schroeder, and then he's obviously had possessions on LeBron, but he's been matched up with Austin Reeves and Dennis Schroeder. That's what I was. So thinking. the most time you would say Reeves or Schroeder. Mm-hmm. And I'm saying the most time would you you would think it was Reeves or, or Schroeder? Oh, if I had to, um, I think hey, Ron, I got a bounce, sh- yo. I think he's been right. on Schroeder. Well, I think he's been on Schroeder. I got a bounce, bro. Oh, Fellas, I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right, you think chill. he's been matched up on Schroeder more? Yeah, I think he's been with, I think when Schroeder's <clears throat> been on the court, I think he's been on Schroeder more than he's been with Reeves. Okay, well, that means that he's been locked Schroeder out of this series offensively. And that means that he's been playing better defense than Jokic. All right, go ahead, Ron. Next super chat. A pimp named Slickback said, there's no way Philly is trading Embiid to Boston. Those teams are historic heated rivals. No shot in hell that goes down. It don't matter. The Lakers and the Celtics have made trades before in the past. So that don't make no sense what you just said. Go ahead, Ron. Mr. Rudy Poole said, Trey Young for Brown. Celtics get their point guard, and Atlanta gets their skilled all-star wing while sliding Murray to the point guard. Easy work. Celtics got their point guard. They just got the wrong one in the starting lineup. And the right, and, and, and You know what I'm saying? They got the wrong one in the starting lineup and the wrong one on the bench. 
Any other comments? Anybody else? Lonnie Williams said Brown for McDaniels and Towns. Put Cat at the fourth next to Williams. Nah, I put him at the fourth next to uh next to Big Al. Big Al can stretch the floor and that force that, that gives you more balance right there. I'm not I'm not mad at that because cause cat cat gonna want to be out there shooting anyway. Facts and Williams hurt too much. No, 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 I'm, I'm talking about with like, I, I like it. I like it with Robert Williams because Robert Williams is actually gonna be you know what I'm saying? Doing something, you know? He only gonna play 35 to 40 games. He's hurt too much. Oh, Robert Williams? Yeah. Yeah, I mean he do be hurt. That's a fact. Sh- Shonen Goat takes. So y'all complain about coaches getting fired, but then turn around and want to fire a first year head coach. Make it make sense. I don't he complain never, about coaches getting fired. He should have never oh. been the head coach. He should have never got the job. I agree with Lola. Lola said last night should have hired an experienced head coach if you're gonna get rid of Ime for that job. Experience because you got a championship team, a championship level team. Why would you why would you bring on another rookie in that situation when you, you got expectations? Go ahead, Ron. Uh Jake D'Antoni, Mike D'Antoni's nephew, if you guys don't know, he said Cat would make the Celtics worse. He's soft. They can do better than that for Brown. Did Roy Hachimura make the Lakers worse? But Rui ain't soft like Cat, though. No, no, no. Rui had a reputation of being soft in Washington. I mean, I don't, rep, sometimes reputations can be deceiving. I've right, never no, seen, so right, no, seen Rui be oh, soft. I'm saying, hold on. So that's what we're saying about Cat. I want to see Cat in a better winning situation to see how he, you know what I'm saying? So, Tigger, are you saying that Cat's are not soft? No, I'm saying he. I want to see him in a different situation like that. Yeah. The same way I got to see Roy. The same way I got to see Malik Monk. When Malik Monk was with the Charlotte Hornets, Michael Jordan was slapping him beside the back of his goddamn head. Oh, uh, that, that happened one time. At least, I, <laughs> hey, yo, he slapped him beside the head, crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, Malik uh, turned around. Malik turned around, couldn't do nothing, man. It was Mike, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was wild. <laughs> All right, so Johnny D said, I'm not one for conspiracies or anything, but if both the Celtics and the Lakers come back from being down 3-0 to make the finals, mm, man, what y'all think? Only Boston are coming Boston. back. Only only Boston are coming back, so only one of them will do it. Neither, neither one of these teams. Oh, yeah, no, right. Look, the, 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 <laughs> the, the Lakers will the Lakers do, do it before Boston, and they're not doing it. Boston, Boston heart is out Hey, man. Hey, hey, I ain't gonna tell y'all what Mars is over there capping on his channel about the other day. This fool was over there capping. He said something about Chris Paul. I think I ain't hear you, Mars. He said Chris Paul was better than somebody all the time. We'll get you. Uh, no, no, I'll say on here. I had Chris Paul over Yanis and Kawhi. All right, right, Ron, go ahead, Ron. 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 Go ahead, 
So I mean, if anyone yeah, disagrees I, with that idea, that's fine. But that was I mean, the explanation, yeah, basically. Yeah, I'm asking, bro, but I, I get what you're saying. I get what you're going with. <laughs> that, was, that, was the, that was the <laughs> most basic way I could simplify it. Y'all got to go listen to Mars channel. Mars be saying this crazy shit. Go ahead, Ron. <laughs> Mars, I'm not going to listen to that. I'll support your channel, but I don't support that. <laughs> <laughs> Avase said, what about JB, Smart, and Horford for Siakam, Van Fleet, and OG? Damn, I, that's, that's all right. That's, that's way too... I, I would know. do that, though. I would. That's too, that's you think Toronto's food. giving up too much? Mars, you think Mars? Toronto's giving up too much? Smart. No, I, I think I think getting back, like, what do you need Fred Van Vliet for? Like, I just don't see the point of getting Fred Van Vliet. That's why I wouldn't do it. It's just like, I don't, I don't want him. So I agree with that. Go away. Donovan Samuel said, I'm surprised that Boston is getting smoked. But if you think about Boston, if you think about it, Boston has been playing with fire the whole playoffs, and it seems like every series their flaws have been more and more exposed. This is why I would. This is why I said I had Atlanta taking it to them dudes. This is the reason why I was saying teams that got a lot of guard play, good guard play, is going to wear Boston ass out. Because if you got multiple guards that can put pressure on them, attack them, and shoot the ball, they in trouble. And that's what they faced so far. They faced a lot of, in, in, in these series where they struggled. The only thing is Philly didn't do it enough. They didn't play that way enough with their guards to really fully expose the Boston Celtics. What the Miami Heat doing? Kid Arcane said, chill, I asked you if the C's were frauds. Answer change. Uh, chill's not here, so I'm going to get his stand-in and co-host to answer that. Are the Celtics frauds? Yes. 100%. LeBron, LeBron James, the greatest player I've ever seen. <laughs> 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 Sebastian Lopez said, "Imagine defending two number, defeating two number one seeds, and sweeping the defending Eastern Conference championships in the same playoffs. Literally the best run ever for Miami." Has a case. Hey the Ron, after- if I, if, hey Ron, if I, if I if I ain't fixed up, bro, if I you know what I'm saying, if I if I ain't went through a uh, wardrobe and makeup and stuff, bro, don't put me in the tight zone, bro. I'm over here looking raggedy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I'll keep you out the tight zone. That nigga Bob crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Ron, what is it like hanging out with this nigga every day? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Ticket, you gonna see PC weekend. <laughs> uh, what is nigga Bob is crazy, man. <laughs> okay, wow, well, your ass weekend. is crazy. <laughs> we gonna have a good time, PC weekend, Ticket. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga say t- <laughs> 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 The African sci-fi scholar said D'Lo should know what comes with playing with your king. All the blame and zero credit. Wear the scapegoat jacket now, partner. LOL. Yeah. Sky five. Tequay White said, my chat had nothing to do with next season. I'm saying D'Lo needs to come off the bench until he finds himself. He's too inconsistent to keep him in when he can't do when he can't do, can't do the it. only thing when he can't, can't do it. Do it. The only thing he's asked to do, or when he can't Ron, do, the only thing he's Ron, asked to do. Who, who are they gonna play if they bench D'Lo? Dennis. <laughs> there, there you go, right there. Yeah, I mean, it's nobody else. They keep asking Darvin Ham why he ain't benching D'Lo. Well, you put Schroeder in, he's doing nothing this series. Let me see. Shane Howard said, "Can we all agree Jamal Murray is the key factor in the series, or do you guys believe it's still Joker?" You heard what Mars and Lowe said. What'd I say? Yeah, I was capping for Jokic. Saying someone's the conference finals MVP and saying someone's the key factor are two different things. Well, is shouldn't the key factor be the, the, the MVP? Two or? two completely different things. Okay. But, no, so, no. All right, Mars. No problem, Mars. Yes. Hmm. Mars, you like a young Carmelo too in that hoodie. Low key. You Thank like you. a young Carmelo, nigga. <laughs> you like a young Carmelo Anthony. Look, that's, that's, that, that's, that, that's that Oak Hill, Melo. That's Oak Hill. <laughs> like Melo, bro. I swear you do. <laughs> Smooth Savage 28 said, why would Kyrie leave just to go back to LeBron? Kyrie wants a dual leadership role whenever he joins or wherever he joins. That's why he wanted to be in BK with KD. And it failed, and he's never going to get that again. He know he ain't getting that in, in Dallas with Luka. So don't make no sense. Jay said, I swear y'all talk about Kyrie like you know him personally. He's not your typical person. He's immature. Like, what the fuck? How do you know that? You talking like you know 
I stay away from talking about players other than on the basketball court because I don't know them. Thanks, Mars. A pimp named Slickback said, yo, is Mars good? Mars I'm all right. good, bro? I'm all right. You straight, fam? I'm all right. <laughs> Mars- John-, <laughs> good, uh- John Wick one game said Kyrie wants the max. If the Lakers sign him to the max, they lose Austin Reeves. He'll need to take less for the Lakers to keep the players they want. Mm. We'll find out. Sweet Chili Heat 45 said, where do you guys realistically see Damian Lillard ending up next season? Portland. Portland. <laughs> he going to retire in Portland. I don't know why y'all think he's going so well. Jadeen Anderson said, I think with the loss of the LeBron era, I think with this loss, the LeBron era is officially over. It's time for the upcoming stars to shine. It's been over since 2020. You guys just ain't got the message. How do you have an era when two people have beat you more times in the finals than you beat them? Hmm. Tim Duncan and Steph Curry. Man. And KD, technically. Like, how do you have an era? Don't say that, Mars. They're going to hate you like they hate me for getting on LeBron. It's just a question. Man, I better be careful, man. I ain't going against LeBron on YouTube. Man, you are yeah, I, I just asked. I just asked the question. If someone has the answer, it'd be great. I just asked the question. <clears throat> Mars have a whole army of dudes going against him. No, I just want. I just want to make sure because we talk about the finals losses. That's why you guys told me Kawhi is better than Chris Paul. But when I talk about LeBron, it's a team sport. Just interesting how that works. But it's fine. Thank I you. I agree. Chad. Yeah, chat. You just really just went against yourself there, but it's fine. Anastia said, "Hey, Ron. I was. I've been watching the finals yesterday. How is Shaq doing?" The end of the match was heartbreaking. It felt like a script scripted 2K event. Uh, in case you guys don't know, um, you know, one of one of one of the founders of Players Choice. His name is Shaq. He plays for Olympiacos in the Euro League. Um, they were in the championship game yesterday. They lost to a, a, a dagger with three seconds left. Game winning shot. Uh, but it was a good game. Shaq bought out. He had 14. He 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 did his thing. Um Team bought out. They they was really up all game, and they kind of just folded in the last like two minutes. Lost the heartbreaker, right. but you know it was it was a good season, good run. And I mean, you know, obviously, you know, if you're not first, you last. But you can't you can't frown on being second place in the best league in the world. Is there is, there, is there a failure or a step to success? You say it's a failure. I mean, the team's a Greek team, so I'm. A, I'm gonna go with Giannis. Giannis. Yeah, go, go yeah, yeah, yeah. Giannis. It's a step to success. I mean, that was I, that was a hell of a game. That was a hell of a game. And that, but and, and they lost to legends though. There was legends on that other squad. El Chacho. You said El Sergio Chacho. Lua. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Chacho. El, El Chacho. Oh, I thought you said El Chapo. They ain't he in jail. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I'll stop not, about something. Not for weird. long, not for long. They, they're gonna get him up out of there to, again. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Believe that. Donovan Samuel said, I'd be on board with Kyrie, even though it's a huge risk trying all the cap space with the aging LeBron and an injury prone AD. But since winning since the winning window is small with this group, I'd take the risk. Got to. They done if they don't get somebody like that. Eli the Misfit said it's hard to win consistently with PJ Tucker. In my opinion, his non-shooting is a liability. Hence, why Miami is playing better and it's also more consistent space. Maybe Philly still would have won if James Harden and Joel B stepped up. So I, I disagree with that. Donovan Samuels again said, "With this Lakers series, I went from not concerned after Game One to." Protect home court after game two. Now needing a prayer after game three. <laughs> it's a harsh reality to admit that Denver is just a better team. All right, after this sweep, graveyard shift going up tonight. <laughs> C-Town said off topic, I don't want to sound like a fed, but I think I seen a Ron-like human at a local chicken shop last weekend. What were you ordering, Ronnie? You gotta, <laughs> hey, you you gotta tell me where it was at. Was it Ezel's Ron chicken? Got the, Ron got the some for the honey. Facts. <laughs> they know that too. <laughs> some for the honey. Hey, see, tell you gotta tell me where it was at, and I'll tell you what I ordered. 
A nasty is said for Damo and the panel. How does the current Lakers organization rank on the all-time basketball terrorist list? That's they ain't crazy. bad. They made the deals <laughs> to help them get to the Western Conference Finals. They all right. All right, fellas, we got a couple more we're going to get to. Cash Out of Boo said, as a big Celtics fan, I'm, I keep JT and JB, but it's it's high time. Boston, it's about time Boston gets somebody to replace Al, somebody like Christian Wood or Nas Reed. No, I like I, I like Nas Reed. Nas, Nas Reed is a, Nas Reed is a good one. You can't you can't replace Al's leadership in the locker room either. So I keep Al around as a C and just let him finish out his contract. Assad Muhammad said AD averages 29, 14, and three blocks this series. He needs more touches. Simple. How many more touches you okay? <laughs> Jay the activist said the problem with Vando is because he joined so late. They didn't really have a chance to adapt Man. to the fact that he can't shoot. Same with other role players. I don't give a damn where, when he joined. His ass ain't keeping up with Jamal Murray. His foot speed ain't finna change. I don't care if he joined the beginning of the season or at the end of the season. His foot speed ain't gonna change guarding dudes like that. Go ahead, man. Jadeen Anderson said, by the way, MJ is still the GOAT regardless before LeBron fans say something. True. Check tap into Mars Talk Sports this week to see who is the Mars Talk Sports guy. There you go. W Don Wick said, "Been saying, been say, we been saying Jokic hasn't had help for two years. Now he gets help this series and one went away. But we downplaying his impact. That's not fair on Jokic. Not for anyone's downplaying his impact. Last super chat of the day." From Doe, he said, LOL, I mean the USA media, Ben Push and Tatum, top five hype, not you guys. Last year it was Ja for MVP, now it was Tatum. Foreign players taking over. I don't watch the NBA media, so. All right, fellas. Well, on the way out, what y'all got to say to the people? Talk to them. Um, subscribe to my channel. Even if you don't <laughs> like the videos, just like the videos anyway because apparently it helps me and if you don't want to help me <laughs> still like the video just i need a I'm... girl from bk or the boogie down <laughs> Compton long beach okay, <laughs> town, atl or the dirty south she can be from watts my <laughs> part of town hey. it's a legendary let's go legendary. baby Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Hey, Let's Ticket. Go, this, baby. Ticket, this person wants to know, do you like their profile picture? Boy. Oh, you, you like this profile picture, Ticket? That fool must want the rock bottom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, C-Town chapped in. She said it was Ezels. You was looking handsome, sir. Oh, well, thank you, baby. Oh, hey. Ron got the honey. Look, look, look. Ron got something for the honey. And you know it. Uh, and y'all get y'all get ready for that twenty four hour potathon. It's going down as soon as I get monetized, man. Y'all be ready for that. Everybody, at some point in that twenty four hours, I want y'all to jump on, tap in. You know, you don't got to stay for long. Just come show love on the potathon. It's going down. Y'all be ready for that. Y'all yeah. know what it is. Same time tomorrow, we gonna be right here talking about how the Lakers got smoked out the playoffs. Back.